Well, good morning, everybody, and welcome to the latest organ marathon here on Beauty and Sound. Um, just going to have 12 hours or almost 12 hours of hymns made up entirely of your requests. So it's about five past ten, actually it's seven minutes past ten here on Sunday morning. So thank you, thank you to those of you who are watching right now, very dedicated. Um, there's a timer on the screen which says 11 hours and 50 minutes. I can't go, I can't go for more than 12 hours because the video will disappear, basically. So we need to finish in good time. If you feel shortchanged, I'll give you an extra 10 minutes next week <laughs> at Virtual Church. So what I need to do is click this button here and that should start the timer. <laughs> there we go. And let's go, let's, let's, let's just make a start straight away. So today is Christ the King and um, what better hymn is there to sing on Christ the King than crown him with many crowns, the lamb upon his throne. Let's start with um, this wonderful tune called Diademeter.
Okay, I don't know actually whether that one has been requested. Yes, it has. I, I started that one, it was my own sort of um, thinking. I wanted to play that one because it is so appropriate for today. Actually, it was requested by Philip Powell. Just a quick note on uh, how today is going to, I'm going to multitask because I've got a mouse and I'm just controlling all of the key, but the computer and stuff. On that note, Philip Powell has asked you to do a special arrangement. The printer's being extremely slow, so I only have the first page in an hour or so. We might get you to play it again, Philip Powell's arrangement. Okay. So how today is going to work, basically, um, I just need to make sure that the stream is working okay. I've got this, um, the new BIS requests form um, open on the, on the iPad here. So there's a link in the description for the video. That's where you leave the requests. Uh, chances are, if you leave the requests in the live chat, they might get missed today because there is so much going on. Um, that we'll just need to make sure that they all come into this uh, requests form. Now, what I, what, I, what, what I, was, I was about to do was just go back into my Hauptwerk um, and just have a quick tweak of the audio. Apologies if you get a quick um, a, a click. I'm just going to tweak the audio a little bit. I heard a click in that in that um, in that uh, hymn. I, I, I think I've got the audio set to too high, basically. You'll probably hear, it, hear the clicking, that's the audio reloading. Okay, we're back in business there. Um, so every two hours, there, there were going to be various organ pieces. These organ pieces are all going to be um, voted for by you. Caroline will put, the, put a poll in the chat so you can vote for your organ piece, uh, as, it says, as it says on the screen now. So Bach, uh, Baroque, English, a trumpet tune or tuba tune, a French, and then the final voluntary. So I'm not going to do much talking today. I'm just sort of getting it out of my system right now. <laughs> okay, so let's start at the very top of this list. I'm going to do sort of a lot of turning around. Apologies for that. My hymn books are all down on this side. So I need to grab the hymn books down here. I'll chip in at various points to say hello and anything that comes to mind, uh, but by and large, I will just carry on without, um, without break going into uh, the hymns. I probably will actually, uh, I probably will just announce the, um, the requester of the hymns just to make it a bit more personal. So the next hymn is, um, has been requested by uh, Piano Man 2947. It is for all the saints who from their Labour's rest.
The next hymn is uh, You Who Dwell uh, in the Shelter of the Lord. And this is a request from Jim Wilson. Okay, it's called, I think it's called On Eagle's Wings.
Um, right, so the next hymn is Will You Come and Follow Me? It's a request from Maureen, Maureen Daniel Brave Boy. Is that, your, is that your full name, Maureen? Um, tune is called Kelling Grove. Sometimes this tune is dotted, um, like this. But I'll actually play them all um, straight today. Interestingly, I played this uh, last week in Romsey, and I've always played this um, with the dotted rhythm, but we had it last week straight. And I think, you know, it, it depends on where you were, um, which church you went to, uh, different traditions and different congregations. I've always known this as a, a dotted rhythm. However, um, various churches, including Romsey, um, don't dot it. So we'll not have it dotted today. So will you come and follow me for Maureen? Next hymn is um, a request from Andantino. It's actually appropriate for Remembrance Sunday. It has that sort of, um, well, it's a tune associated to the Dam Busters, obviously in the Second World War. God is our strength and refuge, our present help in trouble, and we therefore will not fear, though the earth should change. Guys, don't feel as though you need to stay around for the whole 12 hours. I would be thrilled if you did stay for 12 hours and I would be staggered if anyone was able to do that. I think that's more stamina on your part than my part. Feel free to drop out, drop in just to um, see where we're up to. 
you know, go and do your gardening, go and do whatever you need to do on a Sunday, but just feel free to pop back, see how things are going, to say hello. Um, I wouldn't wish this upon anyone for 12 hours. <laughs> but if you're inclined to stay for 12 hours, and please do, it'd be great to have you. It, we are live, so anything can and anything will happen. <laughs> Let's see. I'm really interested to know how many hymns we can get through in 12 hours. I hope someone's counting. <laughs> I've lost count already, to be honest. I think we've had three, four, three or four. I can't remember. Okay, so we've got people in the chat. It's good to have a, um, a, a dedicated number of people uh, with us so far. I guess most people are at church, um, real church, and or slim bed, because it's Sunday morning, and in America it is very early in the morning. So I'm sure more people will join us throughout the day. God is our strength and refuge, our present help in trouble, based on Psalm 46. It's a wonderful sort of hymn that you would have at the great memorial services um, in our country. We're very um, good in this country at remembering and doing sort of memorial type events, being very solemn and good grand processions. That's the sort of hymn that you would have at a service like that. And indeed, I've played that hymn a number of times at services like that, um, at um, Remembrance Day, um, which was last week. Um, Daniel Kubaki, who I've not seen yet, he is over in America, so he'll probably be fast asleep, um, has requested, stand up and bless the Lord, ye people of his choice, stand up and bless the Lord your God with heart and soul and voice. The tune is called Carlisle. That's a place in, uh, in England, up on the northwest, the, a very fine cathedral, um, or what's left of it, it's the the choir part and the, the, the crossing um, are remaining. The, the nave, the main part of the cathedral was um, either fell down or it was knocked down or destroyed for whatever reason. 
but what, it, what what's remaining is rather beautiful. It's a red sandstone, beautiful walker organ, well worth visiting if you're ever in that neck of the woods. How, that's, anyway, that's why this tune is called Carlisle. It's by Charles Lockhart, and it's five verses. It's a wonderful melody that, isn't it? A really, really wonderful. Actually, it's quite fiddly for the organist in the uh, last two lines with those, that ascending motif and the pedal goes quite high. Um, I think for some people that might be quite challenging, including me, actually. It's sticking in this hymn book, that's handy, isn't it? They're going to have a hymn requested uh, by Julian Goldring, um, Lux Eoi. That's a very funny Latin word, isn't it? E-O-I, literally E-O-I, A-O-E or A-O-I. <laughs> Alleluia, Alleluia. Hearts to heaven and voices raised. Sing to God a hymn of gladness. Sing to God a hymn of praise. The words are by Arthur Sullivan. Thank you very much, Julian, for requesting this one. That's interesting. I know what's caused that. So let me bear with me a second. As I said earlier on, we are live and anything can and will happen. For some reason, um, whenever Hauptwerk, the Hauptwerk computer is connected to the internet, which it was, it does really weird things. I think either someone's hacked my machine um, and doing weird stuff in there, or or there's a, some sort of driver confliction. Whatever it is, 
it should, really shouldn't happen. Being connected to the internet should not affect some software on, on it, on the computer. It's very strange and very, very irritating. I really wish Hamburg would sort that out. So let's just carry on. Let's go back to verse one. Uh, Julian's apologies about that. Hopefully we will have no more glitches because I've just disconnected it. Just try again. I think I had the core on it, didn't I, on the hoofed work, along with some very mellow flutes. Well, that was very exciting, wasn't it? That was even more spectacular than the previous glitch. It's like having a ghost sat here or something. <laughs> now, let me just have a look at my MIDI. Um, see what's going on with this MIDI. That's very strange. It shouldn't, it hasn't done this in a very, very long time. Hmm, okay. So the organ is now. We let's make sure I am disconnected from the internet. I am disconnected from the internet. Okay. Okay, well let's um no, I I think you're right, Eric. I don't think the organ likes this particular hymn. Very strange. It, it does it in exactly the same place. I'll tell you what, let's use a different registration to see whether <laughs> whether it whether it's the registration. I know it's not the registration. But Okay, let's, let's go again. What do they say? Third time lucky, third time's a charm. Come on, hallelujah, let's, let's all sing hallelujah, if we can get through this hymn.
Well, hallelujah, hallelujah, we got through the hymn. <laughs> very, very strange, isn't it? I'm, I've, you know, I've done a lot of testing and sort of trying to isolate the problem, and I'm 99% sure that it's not the organ, it's not the cable which connects the organ to the computer, because I've actually changed the cable. Um, I've got, I've got a, a new, higher quality cable. It's either a software issue on the computer itself, um, or it's the audio interface. One of those two things. One of the reasons we're doing the, this organ marathon, as, it's, uh, as it says on the screen, is we just need to um, acquire one or two things to go alongside the new organ. So the new organ will sit pretty much in this exact spot, actually. It's just going to be about four feet to the left. <laughs> so it's in the middle of this wall. And we'll use these speakers because the speakers are uh, fine. But the audio interface is quite old. It wasn't particularly expensive. And it's, it, it does MIDI and uh, audio output. And I suspect that the, the interface is struggling to keep up. So we need to invest in a higher quality audio interface, which will have uh, more, this is very boring, but a very uh, more outputs for the speakers because we need to acquire a couple of floor standing speakers to go in the corners of the room, one over there and one over there, which will provide the ambience um, to the, you know, the acoustic ambience. These speakers around me here actually provide a lot of clarity, and a lot of close detail, and the ones behind me over there, which you can't see, um, provide the, uh, the rear of the cathedral or the church. But I need to have some just a bit, little bit closer to provide the, the more immediate ambience. So help me out. Thank you very much, King Loudrup, for your donation just now, and to Heidi as well. Thank you very much indeed. Yes, I could, I could do with some motivation after, the, after those rather um, irritating and surprising glitches. Right, let's go back into the hymnal, 1982, for a request from Charles Maurice. Charles, are you with us? Possibly not with us right now because um, I think you're over on uh, state side, as, uh, as you say. But you'll join us later on. I'm going to play your hymn because I'm actually working through these requests in order so I don't get out, uh, out, of, out of order and miss hymns out. Okay, so um, Earth and all stars, loud and rushing, sorry, loud rushing planets, sing to the Lord a new song. O victory, loud shouting army, sing to the Lord a new song. Then the refrain, he has, he has done marvellous things. I too will praise him with a new song. So six verses of this one. I think I, 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 I remember playing this in my um, marathon when I played the complete hymnal 1982. And I was particularly um, taken with this hymn. So there's lots of sort of clashing cymbals and um, pounding hammers. So let's just um, let's just um, enjoy a little bit of word painting, shall we, if we can.
I've never um, performed or sung or been involved with a hymn where the words are loud pounding hammers, engines and steel. Loud pounding hammers. I'm not sure engines and steel would have been written by Charles Wesley. I'm not sure he would have known really what engines and steel were. Perhaps they had engines back then, but a very early concept of an engine. Certainly not a combustion engine anyway. I like that hymn. Thank you very much, Charles, for requesting that. Let's go on. Let's keep going. Let's keep going. Um, oh, right. I need to go to a carol. <laughs> We're going to have a sort of a, a, a preemptive Adventy Christmassy carol. It's everyone's favourite. This it always goes down really well. Loki comes with clouds descending. Once for favoured sinners slain, thousand thousand saints attending. Swell the triumph of his train. By the way, I was in um, Bury St Edmunds last week. This week, sorry, this 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 the week in which we currently are. This week, earlier in the week, uh, recording the organ at St Edmundsbury Cathedral. This is one of the hymns I played because it's we're having a Christmas uh, virtual church from St Edmundsbury Cathedral on a wonderful four manual, um, 60 or so speaking stops. Um, a Christmas virtual church on that organ I think would be spectacular. This is one of the hymns that I played on that organ. Luckily the organ uh, does uh, loud and thrilling extremely well. So. Look out for that. There's a poll in the chat. Um, please vote for your first organ piece today. Uh, three organ pieces by J.S. Bach. Um, I can see there's been quite a few votes already. So you've got the Passacaglia, the G minor, or the D major um, to choose. So it's over to you guys. I'll play those at midday. So that's just in, in about an, an hour's time from now. I'll play those. So you've got lots of time to vote. Lo, he comes with clouds descending uh, for David Turner.
Whew. Oh boy, isn't that one? That's one of the best hymns for Advent, isn't it? That it's fantastic. Just a quick question: Is the audio okay? Was there any um, clipping in that? I just heard one or two noises that I um, wish I hadn't heard. One or two little clicks, basically. Hope, hope that just because I'm hearing them in here, you guys can't hear them over over the internet. If I am, what I can do is just turn the organ down in Hauptburg. If you are, sorry, uh, I'll turn the organ down, but I, I think you might not be hearing it. Right. <laughs> let's go into, um, let's come out of Advent for a moment and go into um, another uplifting hymn. Tell out my soul the greatness of the Lord. Uh, this is a request from um, another one from David Turner. David, you've had two requests today. You're doing very, very well, aren't you? Um, I'm actually I'm working my way down the list. Got quite a few to go, which is lucky because we've got quite a while to go as well. Keep voting for the um, organ piece. I can see you've got quite a few more votes have just arrived. So well done. I don't actually know what the um, winner is at the minute. So let's, um, I don't know, maybe, oh crumbs, what have I done? I don't know what's going on. I don't know what the winner is, I'll have to find out later on. Um, okay, so tell out my soul, the greatness of the Lord, unnumbered blessings give my spirit a voice, tender to me the promise of his word, in God my saviour shall my heart rejoice. The tune is called Woodlands. And I think we'll actually have a little bit of a combination of Rawson and McVeigh for this um, for this one. <laughs> See if you can tell who is who.
Now I heard quite a little bit of clipping there in the audio, so I am just going to make a little adjustment to my settings here. I don't know why it's doing that. Rotterdam is normally rock solid for a virtual church. It's one of the reasons why I like to use it regularly, because it actually works really well. Did you hear anything in the, um, in the audio just then, in terms of clipping? Very odd, very odd. We need to get this um, as smooth as possible. We've been doing this for, gosh, it's approaching two years of live streaming. Two years. You ought to think, you, 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 you should think that we ought to be a bit more slick by now. <laughs> so did you, yes, did you have any, any issues with that? Uh, audio is starting to clip, there we go. No, it's not, it's not RAM at all. I've got, I've, got, I've got thousands of RAM, basically. I've got 128 gigs of RAM, lots and lots of space. Yeah, so there we go. So I've just turned the audio down in Hampwork. Um, but I, haven't, I hadn't turned it up previously, so I don't know why it's doing that. Hmm, think, think about that. Gremlins all over the place, I think, on, on, uh, on YouTube this weekend. Um, our dear friend Fraser had issues on Friday night with his stream. I think there is a, a YouTube gremlin. I'm going to blame it on YouTube anyway, even though I, I know it's not YouTube. <laughs> um, okay, uh, where are we going to in next? Uh, now, I don't know whether this next hymn will be as successful simply because I think I'm not convinced it's going to be the right hymn book. Let me have a quick look. 598. Uh, da, da, da. 509. Before the throne of God above. Excellent. Well done, Benjamin. Benjamin Yao is, um, has provided me and us with many timestamps over previous weeks of all of the hymns that I've played. So Benjamin, I owe Benjamin a lot of favours. He's made a request and it is, Before the throne of God above, I have a strong, a perfect plea, a great high priest whose uh, name is love, who ever lives and pleads for me. My name is graven on his hands. My name is written on his heart. I know that while in heaven he stands, no tongue, no tongue can bid me thence depart. No tongue can bid me thence depart. So this is quite a quiet hymn anyway, so you shouldn't have any audio clipping at all in this one. If you do, I'd be very, very surprised. Benjamin, you are in. Hello. Hello. You're very welcome. Um, thank you very much for all of your timestamps in the previous, over the past few months, actually. And I'm very happy to play this hymn for you.
Thank you very much indeed, Benjamin, for requesting that. I used to, um, there was a time in my life when I used to play that hymn quite a lot um, because it was sung regularly at the church where I was director of music. And it was quite, it was quite nice and uh, the congregation really enjoyed singing that one, as did the choir actually. Um, right, the next hymn is oh, we haven't got the rest. okay so um i can't have that one because it's incorrect basically <laughs> let's go on to the next one then um it was leader on o king eternal to the tune lancashire but completely the wrong um hymn book or the wrong hymn number or whatever let's have a look see if it's in in here, I, I, I recognise the tune Lancashire, but the words lead on, O King Eternal, lead kindly lights, lead us Heavenly Father. No, maybe someone else can um, correct that one. Um, it was lead on, O King Eternal, to the tune Lancashire. Um, what where what hymn book is that in, and what hymn number? You know the hymn books I've got. Please, please help me out there. It's I've got the wrong hymn. It's, um, someone's put in the wrong hymn book, or the wrong number. Uh, Maureen, Daniel Brave Boy, he's getting another request. So, please, please do feel free to sponsor these hymns. You know, if, if I play your hymn, please do feel free to offer me a sponsor. That would be, that would be really, really uh, massively appreciated. Crimmond, a wonderful tune called Crimmond. I think you want Crimmond. Yes, the, Lord's, it is, the Lord is my shepherd, I'll not want. He makes me down to lie in pastures green. He leadeth me um, the quiet waters by. So here we go, Maureen, this one is for you. Wonderful um, hymn based on Psalm 23.
one of the most famous hymns actually um, in the entire hymnary of any hymn book. The Lord's My Shepherd is one of the most famous psalms. The words are so, so comforting. Um, it's one of, the, one of the all-time greats, isn't it? Number 499 in the NEH. Thy kingdom come, O God. Thy rule, O Christ, begin. Break with thy iron rod the tyrannies of sin. This is a request from Cheryl Hart. Um, Cheryl, are you in with us? Yes, you are. Uh, thank you for your email, by the way. Um, I haven't really been at home much since you sent it, so I will get back to you very, very soon. In short, very happy to help. Um, if you'd like me to go down and do what you've asked, then yes, I'll be, I'll be in touch um, shortly. The tune here is called St. Cecilia, and the words are by Lewis Hensley. Five verses of Thy kingdom come, O God, thy rule, O Christ, begin. You know, something very strange happens in, in hymn playing, and this is a, a phenomenon that I've experienced whilst watching some of the greatest organists in the entire land playing the most simple of hymns. If you make a mistake in a verse, you will... <laughs> I've seen it before. That mistake is often repeated in the next verse. <laughs> and um, often, much cursing is, um, <laughs> ensues. And I, I did the same thing in verses 1 and 2, I played two A's rather than B, A. This is what I did. I don't know why it happens, but it happens, it happens to the very best of us, people far, far better than me. Um, and naming no names at all, but luckily I feel relieved and reassured that some of our greatest organists have made um, very, very, I don't know, simple slips like that in repeated verses. <laughs> anyway, thank you very much, Cheryl. Um, let's, let's go on. Where are we going to next? Um, oh, James. James Mossop, you've requested an absolute banger 
over here and we're going to have a, a quick detour uh, over into um, Easter. What is the greatest hymn for Easter? A little ditty by Handel. You all know what it is, I'm sure you all do. I'm gonna play it and you'll, I don't even need to announce what it is, you'll know it. As soon as I play the first chord, you'll go, oh yes, I know this one. Anyway, so James has requested this one and three verses plus a refrain. That's a bit of a clue. course with the obligatory key change into the final verse. <laughs> I hope you don't mind um, the key change. Everything okay with the audio? I was still, I was still on track now to have improved audio. I just heard a little clip. I'm actually, I think I might have just discovered what the issue was. I think I know what the issue was actually. I'm just going to no. Well, yes, I think I found it. I think I found out what it was. So, but basically I use, um, so the audio comes out of Hamburg into um, a, basically a mixing software, which then goes into the audio interface and comes through the speakers. The audio mixing software, I was using, um, what was I using it for? I was, use, I was streaming, um, oh, it was um, organ Compline. I was using a new organ, a French, uh, organ and I turned it up in this in the mixing software. I think that's what the issue is I've just turned I've just turned it down in the software in the mixing software We should fingers crossed 
um, completely eradicate those um, clips. Oh, um, Volkmore, Volkmar, thank you very much for your, um, for your motivational donation and this wonderful concert. Well, that's very, very kind, thank you. Um, right, let's have a go at um, uh, Jerry Martin. Jerry, Jerry, I, I, I just saw your name pop up a minute ago. Yay, modulation. <laughs> just a very straightforward modulation. That's basically a 14-year-old uh, could have done that. Basically, it's just a, um, a perfect cadence into, in, into E major from E flat. There's no, nothing more fancy on this occasion than that. So the Veritas hymnal is up next. Number 86. Uh, um, Hang on, well, not paid, the number 86. Hail Redeemer, King Divine. Priest and Lamb, the throne is thine. King whose reign shall never cease. Prince of everlasting peace. Uh, the tune is called Rex, and it's by uh, Grattan Flood. Thank you very much, Jerry. We've got half an hour left of voting for our first organ piece. It's one of the three great pieces by J.S. Bach. Uh, make sure you cast your vote. How many? Oh, we, yes, we've still had votes. I think actually I can see, I can see the winner. Can you see the winner? Or, or the current leader, should I say? Okay, here we go. King of Redeemer, King Divine. Please do chat away. Please do let me know who's in. Please do let me know what you've had for breakfast. Um, I, I had some Weetabix today. I thought about what, sh what should I have for breakfast um, to keep the energy levels going. Uh, it's normally special K with red berries on the weekend or shredded wheat. Um, very, very rarely is it full English uh, at home. Uh, Weetabix, I just thought, might give me a little bit of lasting energy. Let's see if that works. There's been quite a few slips from these old sausage fingers so far today. Um, so possibly the Weetabix has had a little bit of a negative impact. Hail Redeemer King Divine.
Thank you, Jerry. Thank you very much for requesting that. I, I love all of the hymns in this book. It's one of the it's one of my favourite hymn books. It's become it's become one of my favourites. The, the hymns in it are just so wonderfully chosen, and they're all very classy. You know, really wonderful, um, solid hymns of good harmonies. Um, I'd, I'd recommend if you're wanting to uh, reach out, uh, branch out, and broaden your hymn repertoire, have a look at this hymn book. The Veritas Hymnal. Who's it published by? It's an Irish hymn book. It just says uh, Veritas Publications, Dublin 1975. Commissioned by the National Commission for Sacred Music and approved by the Irish Church Music Association. Edited by Jerry. <laughs> Um, three, uh, Threadgold, not Jerry Martin, Jerry Threadgold, father Jerry Threadgold. So yes, check out this book. It's also wonderfully finished as well, a wonderful uh, cover and with gold uh, inserts there. Jerry, you've requested a, a few hymns. Uh, we'll get back to them. We'll, you requested four, so we'll, we'll spread them out through the day. Oh, thank you very much, Ben and, and Jerry. Thank you for your don donations. Thank you very much. That's really, really kind. So let's zoom forward to um, Theo46. Ooh, who's requested. I always get nervous when people request from um, Hymns Ancient and Modern because there are, there are quite a few versions of um, Hymns Ancient and Modern. And I just worry that it's, a, it's not the same hymn book. Let's have a look. 512. Come on, please, please, please. Oh, as Christ is the world in which we move. Christ is the place. No, it's not the right one. It's not the right hymn. Um, Theo 46, if you are watching, um, or if anyone can help out, the hymn is, uh, is, the first line is Christ is the place, and the tune is called Touching Place. Um, it's not the hymn number that um, has been put in the in the form, unfortunately. So we'll have to um, go on. Oh, Thomas Burt has requested a bit of a um, a bit of a uh, controversial hymn, should we say here, uh, number five hundred and thirteen in common praise. Is it really in here? Yes, it is. No, five hundred and thirteen in common praise. There it is. There it is. Thomas Burt, are you with us? If you are, please do shout out, say hello. Um, Thomas has requested, um, Lord, the light of your love is shining in the midst of darkness, shining with a page turn in this one, unfortunately. I'm, I'm sure I'll get through it. It's called Shine, Jesus Shine.
So, shine, Jesus, shine for Thomas Burt. Not seeing you in the chat, Thomas. So, if you are in at some point today, please do give me a shout out and say hello. Okay, the next team on the list is uh, from Aaron, Aaron Fleet, who's put, um, O God of Bethel, by whose hand? Um, but has, has put, he doesn't know the hymn number. It's helpful if you do know the hymn number, if I'm honest, because it saves me from having to go into the index and um, it slows down the, the flow a little bit. So just have a quick look at the index and find it. It's 536 in here. O God of Bethel, by whose hands thy people still are fed, who through this weary pilgrimage hast all our fathers led. The tune is called uh, Martyrdom. Um, there we go. Yes, I know I, I did hear the audio clip at the end. I can't work out why it's doing it. Can't work out. Very, very odd. There are things happening today on this stream which have never happened before. And I'm just scratching my beard a little bit whilst <laughs> trying to work out why on earth uh, it's clipping. Because it wasn't, it's not loud, it's not too loud. I know that. And normally it clips when it gets, the audio levels get over into the red. If it's a CPU spike, it is a completely different sort of sound. Hey ho. Um, okay, O God of Bethel, by whose hand? I think you're probably right, uh, Raphael. The, the computer is probably scared I've been replaced. Uh, but the, the thing is, when it does funny things like this, it just, it just goes to show us all that we need to replace it if we're going to increase the usage of the organ and the computer for live streaming. I think actually, because there were quite a few weird glitches earlier on, which people who were in the, in the, um, in the chat about an hour ago maybe even more than that, would have seen the organ doing really strange things. It was like a disco, all the lights were sort of fly, uh, flashing. You know, we can't possibly have that, can we? So it's one of the reasons why I do marathons like this, to be able to upgrade the equipment in this room. Basically, it, it, it ultimately um, creates a more 
pleasurable, smooth and seamless environment for you. And makes me feel much more calm when things just work. <laughs> um, I'm still wondering why the audio is clipping. Um, it's very odd, I don't, I don't know. But it does it when it's loud. So Hampwerk, you, you Hampwerk people in the, in the audience and the congregation will know that there is an audio level in Hampwerk that's knocked right down. The, 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 um, the mixer, so the audio interface mixer is turned down as well. Um, I can see that on my screen. Yeah, that's turned right down. Uh, what else is there to check? No, I don't know. <laughs> Glenn Snyder has requested, um, come ye thankful people come, raise the song of harvest home. All is safely gathered in ere the winter storms begin. Our music is called St. George's Windsor. St. George's Windsor. St. George's Windsor Castle, which is where um, the Queen's main residence is. There's a beautiful chapel in St. George's Windsor. And I'd love to go and record the organ there. That would be a real treat. I know the organ is pretty well, um, so it could happen. It could happen. Okay, so let's have a go at this one. This is a, a wonderful hymn for the uh, season of, of um, harvest. So come you thankful people, come.
Okay, so we have just about 10 minutes left of voting uh, for your first organ piece today. What's it going to be? Is it going to be um, Passacaglia in C minor, the G minor, uh, Fantasia and Fugue, or of course the D major Prelude and Fugue? One of which are particularly easy, and I, something inside of me is just saying, why on earth did I choose three of some of the most difficult pieces by Bach. I should have gone for, you know, those eight short preludes and fugues and a manuals only piece or something from the old book line. But I didn't, I went for the hard ones. I know you guys are really fussy and um, like to see me suffer, <laughs> musically. 436 in my favorite hymn book, the N-E-H. Praise my soul, the king of heaven to his feet thy tribute to bring. Katie, thank you very much for requested this. Katie has just put down uh, um, to praise my soul the king of heaven. Yes, fair enough. Then under the tune, she just put the normal tune. You should know by now, Katie, that there is no such thing as a normal tune because wherever we are in the world, people have different tastes and different different sense of normality when it comes to a, a tune choice. Um, this tune is called Praise My Soul and it's called, it's by John Goz and, and I know what you mean, it is the normal tune. I don't know, are, are there any, is there another tune which goes to, to these very famous words? I don't know. Four verses of Praise My Soul, the King of Heaven. There we go, to praise my soul, the king of heaven, to the normal tune. I think we have time for one more hymn, and then we'll have to go into our next organ piece. And I say one more hymn because the next one's a bit of a longish one. And it's, it's, it's played at a very specific tempo. 
I pull that wire there without it flying off? <laughs> yes, it's played at a very specific tempo. Do you know which one I mean yet? I, I always mention this hymn, the tempo of this hymn um, by Ray Vaughan Williams. Um, it's on the iPad. Let me just fire up, fire it up. Oh, crumbs. How am I going to find it on here? Uh, I haven't got it organized. Ooh, I should have renamed it. Let's just type in. Oh, no. Oh, dear. Oh, dear. Oh, dear. How do I find it? Okay, well, I'll tell you what it is. It's um, all people that on earth do dwell. I know it's on here somewhere. Um, oh, I should have, I should have, I should have um, added a title to it so I can easily find it. Um, if, if I can't find it uh, now, we'll have to have it um, afterwards. Um, no composers? So many scores. I'm, I'm, I'm basically looking through my um, four score uh, music library and I, I, I can't find it in here, unfortunately. Um, which is very strange because I played it not too long ago and I'm sure it was from this, this um, from the iPad. Uh, one last look um, on the main page. No, well, you'll have to, you'll have to, um, <laughs> oh no, I found it. It was, it, it was under Vaughan Williams. <laughs> I should have, I don't know why I didn't look under Vaughan Williams to begin with, that was daft. All people that on earth do dwell um, to the, he says, very slow, uh, crotchet equals 66. Um, well, let's see, I, I'm pitch black. I don't know why I'm pitch black on the screen. I'll, I'll adjust the lighting in a minute. <laughs> um, let's have a look, make sure everything's in order. So all available trumpets. Well, luckily, we are, we are in Rotterdam, and luckily, um, Rotterdam does trumpets pretty well, doesn't it? So we'll have all the available trumpets um, at the beginning. Yeah, you'll, this, is, this is a lot of fun. So join this piece, if you haven't already, uh, cast your vote for the next piece, which is um, one of the pieces by Bach. Here we go. All people that on Earth do well, um, and it's a request uh, from Keith. Keith, sorry to keep you waiting.
Well, that was, of course, all people that on earth do dwell. Raphael, thank you very much indeed for your donation just now. Um, I'm very, very, very honored and flattered that you um, seek inspiration um, from uh, my videos. Um, one of the wonderful things about having the new organ and the new setup is um, I will be inviting um, professional organists to come and give um, organ recitals, obviously, on the organ, but also organ master classes and workshops. So you'll be able to, to tune in and um, see from over the shoulder, really close and super high quality um, organists um, of all ages um, going through a tuition process. So I can't wait for that. I'm going to learn a lot as well. So bring it on, I say, bring it on. The sooner we get on with that, the better. So let's plug that back in so it doesn't go flat. Let's um, now ask Caroline, um, what is um, the winner of the, um, the organ piece? One second. Caroline's just going to let me know um, what is the winner. I think it's a Passacaglia. Whilst she's doing that, I'm just going to quickly adjust the lighting on this camera. The, the, the problem is with it, it's, it's focusing on, you can see the light there, that, it's focusing on that. And, um, and, and yes. I'll have to adjust that in a minute. So the Passacaglia is up next. Passacaglia and Fugue in C minor. Oh, yay. The hardest one out of the three. Brilliant. 419 votes. Okay. Passacaglia won with 49% of the votes. Oh, wow. So actually it was a, it was a, a runaway oh, win. Had, you know, nearly 60 votes. Okay, all right. Well, Would that's... Would you like page turner? Uh, no, I'll be all right, thanks. Sure? Probably no, not. I know, but she might jump on the organ, which is a bit of a shame, isn't it? Okay. So let's, yeah, let's see. <laughs> okay, so here is the uh, Passacaglia. It is called the Passacaglia. Uh, and that's what he called it himself. It's not Passacaglia and Fugue, it's just Passacaglia. BWV 582. If you like this piece, or if you're so inclined to, um, perhaps a little uh, coffee in the, in the chat might be really appreciated. I'm going to have a sip of um, real coffee right now. No, oh, I've just told everyone that I'm, I'm pitch black on there. Um, moved, I know, but I, I need to go onto the camera and make change the setting. It's, it's... Do you want me to put an arm in front of the camera while you do that now? No, thanks. Okay. <laughs> okay, I'll do it in a minute. Okay. Okay, here we go. Wish me luck because I haven't, I haven't practiced this at all. <laughs> What's the worst that could happen, right? <laughs>
Well, that was the Passacaglia by J.S. Bach, on the whole, <laughs> as requested by uh, you. I need to get up because the cat is actually laid on the keyboard which controls the um, streaming computer. And I kid you not, that is dangerous. No, that's utterly, utterly the worst place you could possibly lie in the entire room. Don't lie on that. That's surprised. Are we even still online? I think we're still online. It wouldn't be the first time that we've been taken offline by a cat. <laughs> right, well, after that bark, I'm just going to have a very quick um, uh, comfort break. And I'm also going to adjust the camera so I'm not sitting in darkness in here. So I'm just going to quickly pop to the loo and I'll be back very, very shortly. Right, camera is lighter, that's it. We're now in the, in, the, um, in the middle of the day rather than in the middle of the night. I hope you enjoyed that bark. I hope you enjoyed that. That was basically what happens when you don't practice it. And that's a hard piece. So keep your requests coming in. We've got, a, uh, we've got quite a few more to go, which is um, a bit of a relief, <laughs> um, but keep them coming in. And oh, make sure, by the way, when you go onto the form and select a date for, um, you know, when, it, when you're requesting it for, put today's date. It's 21st of November, 2021. There's, there are one or two um, variants on that. Someone's put 11th of the 20th. I'm not sure how you've done that. Um, and someone's put the year 20, uh, what was it? Um, 2,200. <laughs> 2200. Zero, zero. I'm not quite sure how you manage that, uh, but it has to go in today, otherwise it it gets filtered out. Um, right, let's go back into some hymns then, shall we? Now, where are we up to? The head that once was crowned with thorns. I think that's a good one for Christ the King. This is a request from Mary. Mary is in with us. I've seen Mary uh, chatting away. Um, number 170 two in in here it's called saint magnus so yes any requests you want any hymns you'd like me to play um pop them in the bis request form there is a link in the description to this video um and it will and it automatically appears on my ipad right here so i can see them all very high tech stuff Okay, here we go. The head that once was crowned with thorns is crowned with glory now. A royal diadem adorns the mighty victor's brow.
Moving on into um, the NEH now, uh, Lord Jesus Christ, number 297. This is a really nice um, hymn for communion, a really appropriate hymn, very gentle, very atmospheric, meditative. It's called Living Lord. Lord Jesus Christ, you have come to us, you are one with us, Mary's son, cleansing our souls from all their sin, pouring your love and goodness in. Jesus, our love for you we sing, living Lord. Thank you very much, Alfie, um, for requesting this. Alfie, um, Alfie Beston, if you're in the chat, please do say hello. It's wonderful to see uh, who's in the chat, and particularly, uh, it's, it's really wonderful to see those people who have made requests um, to, to know if you're currently with us. Okay, well, the new organ, guys. The new, I'm, gonna, I'm going to see the new organ on Tuesday. I think it will be the last time I see it before it arrives here at BISHQ. The most recent pictures that I've seen of it um, look amazing. There's a bit of work to go. Um, and actually, Renatus sent me uh, a message last night, quite late. It was about 10 o'clock they sent me a message asking me to confirm the uh, engraving on the stop heads. Uh, so I need to go through that, through all of those, uh, 180 odd uh, stops to begin with, um, to make sure they're all accurate. I did see one, <laughs> did see one. it says, and this would be, this would be, this would have a really wonderful effect for the Norman Cocker tuba tune. Tuba, six foot. <laughs> hmm. Anyway, so let's go, let's carry on. Uh, Lord Jesus Christ for, uh, for Alfie.
beautiful hymn. Um, and as I say, it's really, really effective in communion because it just has that um, really sen uh, a sense of quiet about it. You know, cleansing our souls from all our sin, pouring your love and goodness in Jesus, our love for you we sing. It just floats along, doesn't it? it just floats along. Uh, Petra, thank you very much indeed for your donation just now. That's uh, very, very kind. Thank you very much. Uh, Sam, yes, <laughs> I know Dude Lounge does, does indeed have one of those uh, shamards, which by itself is extraordinary. Actually, it, uh, I haven't really used it much, although I did use it. Only, I played something extremely loud on that organ, and it was for the final chord, and I can't remember what it was recently. Um, and John Hosking, when he came round to give a recital here, used it um, only, you know, in the final sort of chord. Uh, chord. It really, it really adds a, a colour. Um, I can't see any reason why I'd ever use it by itself. And interestingly, I think this is, I'm right to say this, I, I don't think, I might be wrong now, correct me, I don't think it's an extension. I think it's, I think it's, uh, it's it, it is its own rank of pipes. There we go. You'll know more about that than I will, Sam. Okay, so, um, Ian. Blessed be the tie that binds. It's a tune called Dennis. I don't know whether it's Ian Garden or another Ian. That's all I have, Ian. Uh, common praise, number 507. Let's see if it's the right one. Nope, common praise, 507, is Lord of all hopefulness, Lord of all joy. Ew. Okay, well, let's just have, um, this is why it's so important that you get these, um, these entries in the form correct and accurate. Uh, and now Dennis, the hymn tune isn't even in there, so we can't have that one, unfortunately. Let's go on um, to uh, Orgel Haas, the hymnal 1982. Now, these ones are normally correct because there is only one hymnal 1982, isn't there? Number 440, uh, blessed Jesus at thy word. We are gathered all to hear thee. Let our hearts and souls be stirred, now to seek and love and fear thee. By thy teachings, pure and holy, uh, drawn from earth to love thee solely. Drawn from earth to love thee solely. Um... The tune is called is called Leipster Jesu. I wonder, I wonder whether you'll recognise it from the um, the famous organ chorales that Bach uh, wrote based on this tune. Okay, so here we go. Um, three verses. I'll have a sip of my coffee before it goes too cold. Ian, no, I didn't think it was you because I think I, I thought you'd get it right. <laughs> I thought. You, um, oh, okay. Well, NEH79, we'll, we'll go there after, after this one. Thank you, thanks for that, that's really helpful. Oh, that's your request. I've just noticed your previous message, that's your request. Don't, don't jump the queue. <laughs> are, you, are, you, are you in here somewhere? Yes, there you are, you are, you are. We'll, we'll, get, we'll get there, we'll get there.
such a wonderful... Um, uh, there is much simplicity in that hymn, which I think is what makes it so special. It's, the harmony is rather standard, straightforward. You know, it doesn't really stray very far from G major. Go to the dominant, there's a little bit of um, a flattened seventh, which takes us to C major, but actually doesn't go very far at all. It's really beautiful. And I played it fairly slowly because of the the, um, the chorale that Bach uh, um, wrote based on this is played very, not very slow, but slower than some of the others. And it's the most wonderful effect. It's the one in canon. Um, and I just think, you know, that give, possibly gives us a clue as to the sort of tempo that they would have sung the hymn. Um, you know, there are some, some chorales in the Olga Buchlein that you could almost play as a, as a sort of a last verse reharmonization if you've got the speed right. Some of them you can't. And some of them will just completely throw the, um, the congregation well off course. Um, Noel Rawson is actually rather standard compared to some of those exciting, um, lavish chorale preludes on the, Orgel, on the Orgel Buch line. But some of them you can. I wonder whether you could do it with that one. Hmm, possibly. Okay, let's go on to, let's wake everyone up. Um, King Laudrup has apparently e emailed me a high quality scan. We'll have to, um, hmm. Now, I, I, I can, let's have a look then. Like, go into my email and find it. When did, you, when did you request it? 21st. Oh, so you requested it today. Okay, well that's good. So hopefully it's sitting in the email uh, account. Nicely. Uh, clearly laid out. Um, have you really emailed me a copy of it? Um, I can't see it. You, re you requested it on the 21st, which is today, and you've emailed me. No, you haven't emailed me yet, have you? King Loudrup, are you in? If you are, I'm looking for your email of I bind myself I bind unto myself this day. I can't find it in my inbox. Could you um, either send it or send it again? Um, because I'm struggling to find it. We'll go on to the next one, um, which is, um, it's, uh, I bind unto myself this day. Apparently it's been emailed, but I can't see it in the email inbox. Okay. Could you have a look? I, I, recently? Well, uh, yeah, today apparently. Um, okay. So I've asked, I've asked him to send it again, okay. uh, so hopefully um, he will. Um, whilst that's coming through, we'll go back to the NEH and we'll have um, Jesus shall reign wherever the sun. So 388. Doesn't bode well for Iceland then, does it? Um, Four verses of this hymn um, uh, by Isaac Watts, and the tune is called Truro. You know, you, you all know about Truro now, don't you? The organ at Truro, because I, it was the first organ uh, that I went down to record for the recording uh, series, followed by uh, Guildford, and then Gloucester, and then just recently St Edmundsbury Cathedral. So Jesus shall reign wherever the sun. This is um, a request that's coming from Nick, Nick Maguire.
a very short and sweet, perfect um, as the office hymn, perfect for the office hymn at uh, Evensong, and then before going into uh, a psalm or the Magnificat, depending on where you put the office hymn. Sam, you've asked me about Edmundsbury, how did I find it compared to Gloucester? Much more sensible, much higher, it's loud, it's still very loud. Nicer console, I would say. The console is a wonderful Harrison. Um, so it's a much, um, I think it's a much better finish than the organ console at Gloucester. The organ, Gloucester, organ console at Gloucester was um, left much to be desired, actually. It's fallen to bits and need, that needs a lot of work, the console. I think the console needs to be completely um, binned, basically. Um, but yeah, very beautiful, clear acoustic and um, some really wonderful colours on the instrument. But you have to wait and see. It's going online in a couple of weeks um, and I'll, I've, 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 I've done the usual thing of announcing it and walking around and uh, to show you where the microphones are. Uh, organ demonstration given by Richard Cook. Organ recital given by Richard Cook and then the virtual church given by, by moi. So lots to, um, lots to get your teeth into, as it were. You'll be very familiar with the organ after the series. But I liked it. I did like it a lot. Mine eyes have seen the glory of the coming of the Lord, number 449 in the complete Anglican. This is a request from Raphael. Raphael was in much earlier on. He's actually literally on the other side of the world. Um, I don't know where, what time it currently is down there. I actually have my world clock installed on here now. I can see it's uh, it's 10 to 12 at night uh, in Sydney currently, which is very exciting. So I, I guess um, I guess Raphael is, is still here. Excellent. Well done. Well done for staying up. <laughs> is it is it about midnight where you are? You've been waiting for this, haven't you? Mine eyes have seen the glory of the coming of the Lord. He is tramping out the vintage where the grapes of wrath are stored. He has loosed the, fate, uh, loosed the fateful lighting, the lightning of his terrible swift sword. The truth is marching on da ba da ba da ba da ba da ba da glory glory. Let's have a go. This is a great hymn. Very, um, I might just take the edge off the tempo a little bit, actually. I actually like it's a little bit steadier.
There we go. Mine eyes have seen the glory of the coming of the Lord. It's often known as the Battle Hymn of the Republic. I guess the first line is entirely appropriate to Advent. Mine eyes have seen the glory of the coming of the Lord. Thanks very much, Raphael. You can probably go off to bed now if you want. <laughs> Although it's only, it is only, uh, you're two hours behind. Oh, okay, so it's not, that's not too bad. It's about five to nine at night at the minute. Perfect YouTube organ viewing time, I think. <laughs> um, magnify Oprah or Oprah Magnify. I think I've seen you in the chat. Oh, yes, you are. There you are. You have, you've got a mass. Uh, well, are you got? Oh no, that was Daniel Kibaki. Daniel, I played your hymn earlier on. Um, uh, one, uh, the Carlisle, to the Carlisle tune. I have to go back and have a listen to that. Um, and the next hymn is for Oprah Magnify, CT, um, who is uh, in, are you in Ukraine? Fantastic. You've asked for, happy are they, they that love God. Oh no, this is the, um, oh, you haven't given me a, you haven't given me a hymn number, or, oh no, oh dear, I have to look myself. You have to find the hymn numbers. This is the deal, isn't it? I've made, I've made a, a, a request form for everyone to use, and I've been as clear as possible. I've given you links to all of the hymn books, so you can actually go off to a website and have a look at the index of the hymn book, and find me the hymn. I don't know that work for you, all you can, all you need to do for me is just find the hymn tune, the hymn number. There we go. It's number three hundred and sixty-nine in the NAH. Three hundred and sixty-nine in the NAH. It's worth the wait actually, because this is a really nice tune. Happy are they, they that love God, whose hearts have Christ confessed, who by His cross have found their life, and neath His yoke their rest. Uh, the tune is called Binchester. That's not a typo for Winchester, it's Binchester. No idea where Binchester is. Um, the composer of Binchester is William Croft. Can someone in the chat maybe look on Google Maps to find out where Binchester is, if indeed it is even a place? I've never heard of it. I've heard of Bista, but not Binchester. Okay, so here we go, um, Oprah. This one is for you, five verses of this.
A wonderful tune there. So Binchester is in County Durham, all the way up north, which is actually where this organ is going in a week or two's time. This organ is going to Durham uh, to the new owner. Um, very lucky 16 year old um, in, um, aspiring organist. Uh, so I'm very happy that it's going to a lovely um, and worthy cause. Viscounts have been out twice now actually to fix the organ. They've been around to the house twice. They've come down from Bicester and replaced everything that's faulty on it. So all of the bulbs and the, all the stops work as they, as they ought to. Um, they've also replaced um, this D on the choir division, which I rather foolishly broke as I was, I think, swinging my leg over, uh, over the organ bench and snapped the D and I glued it back on. In fact, There's the, um, there's the offending note there. So actually the, uh, there is a spare note, a spare key that goes with the organ. <laughs> good, right, we're making, um, making good progress now. Oh yes, John Jordan. You've requested one of my favorite hymns. Um, oh, I, oh, interesting. Uh, Carg Alert version of Now nah, Thank We All Our God. I don't know what that means. Do you mean, is there an organ piece based on this? Well, I haven't got that, unfortunately. And you've put, you, you, oh, you don't know what hymn number it is either. So let's have a look. Um, I think I'm gonna to have to get to a stage where if, if, the, if the hymn number isn't provided, and then I'm not going to play it, because I can't uh, do all these things at the same time. I can't talk and play and find the hymn numbers. 413. Here we go. I'm just going to play the standard version. Maybe there's a chorale prelude, but um, Cargillette wrote. Now thank we all our God with heart and hands and voices, who wondrous things have done, in whom um, his world rejoices. I just, I just always remember hearing this um, as, a, as a chorister and thinking it was amazing. I heard it on a broadcast, a uh, TV broadcast. I think it was from St. Paul's Cathedral. There was a documentary there from there during John Scott's time. And they sang this, there was just a snippet of this. Um, and I thought it was the most amazing thing ever. Just seeing in the choristers, seeing in the choir, the choir of St. Paul's sing on television was mind blowing to me back in the nineties, all those years ago. But now of course it's standard on YouTube. The wonders of YouTube, how it's changed the world. Nundan Katale got.
fantastic stuff. I've worked out what you actually meant by the Cog Alerts version. That one, of course, Nundankas Allegat by Cog Alert, yes. I've never heard it called Now Thank You Lord God, the Cog Alert version before. That was just, it completely threw me off track. You know when someone reads back your own telephone number in a very different way, or in a slightly different way, and it sounds totally wrong. Uh, it's, it's, it's the same, you know, I just think, I, I don't recognise those words in that, in that order. Of course, Nun Danke to Alligat by Cog Alert. Um, I'm not sure we'll be able to have that. Perhaps if we have time at the end. <laughs> But it's definitely not in the hymnal 1982. <laughs> I could tell you that much. It's not in the hymnal 1982. I don't, well, yeah, I'm pretty sure it's not in there. Ian Garden, I think, are you still here? I think I've, I've got a feeling you snuck off, didn't you? Um, we're going to have your hymn now, dear friend. Um, the Royal Banners, Forward Go. This is a tune called uh, Confalon Royal. Uh, ooh, I need to have two hymn books. Darn. Um, I'll tell you what I'll do. 79, this is, this is not to be, to be recommended when playing in a church with a, with a congregation. Because I've only got one hymn book with, with the words and the tune. I've probably got it somewhere else, but I, um, in fact, no, I will. I'll, I'll, I'll do it properly. I should be setting examples. So I'm going to have the words in NEH. What I was going to do is just basically memorize how many verses there were, seven verses, and then just play the music. That's very risky uh, in real life in case you get lost. Um, and you should also um, breathe or not breathe where the commas are in, in, the, in the words. So here we go. Uh, the royal banners. Oh, hello. Hugo, wants, does he want to step in and do the, 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 do the final however many hours there are to go? Um, well, he's up for helping. Uh, uh, the next poll is uh, now live. 122, is it? Oh, good. The Baroque um, request for Baroque. 2 o'clock. Our time. Baroque bangers. It's early doors, but the arrival of the Queen of Sheba is an early leader. Oh, is it? That's surprising. Okay, well, that's fair enough. I can manage that one. <laughs> um, okay, so I've got the music ready and the words. Um, Ian Garden has requested, The royal banners forward go, the cross shines forth in mystic glow, uh, where he in flesh, our flesh who made, our sentence bore, our ransom paid. Actually, I'm not sure where the music is to that. You have to, you have to find it somewhere. The, um, if the handle wins, you have to go oh, and find I found it. it. It's here. Is it the intention? Oh, what? Yeah, I think it is actually. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Don't worry. Okay, seven verses.
Right, so we got we got there with that one. So it is really important when playing hymns in uh, even here in virtual church and in real life that as an organist you follow the words and respond to what the words are doing. Um, you know, verse five, for example, here, on whose dear arms, comma, so widely flung, or verse six, O cross, our one reliance, comma, hail. You know, it's really, it's really crucial that you respond to what's going on in the words. You can add more color, uh, add a mixture or two, add a read or two, add some boomy pedal notes for something that might um, be uh, depicting something deep. Um, so yeah, if, if, you, if like an example like that, where the, the alternative tune is on a different page or a different hymn number, you've got to get two hymn books ready. But luckily, most of these hymn books have the um, words only versions or me melody only. These, these are obviously the full uh, harmony versions, but if you get a words only, they're often much smaller, so you can pop them next to the full version uh, on the music desk without it getting in the way. Okay, so requests are still coming in. Um, but keep them coming in, guys. Keep the requests coming in. Um, today is all about uh, the, the requests. Um, I'm going to just zoom um, back up, up the list, and play a request, another request from Jerry Martin. Jerry sent in quite a few requests. Um, and I'm going to spread them out. Um, so his next hymn is King of Sunday, Come to My Aid. It's in the Veritas hymnal and it's a hymn number 50. Here we go. Oh, actually it is in it's in Gaelic, um, so it's, it's a good job that, um, yes, Jerry, thank you very much for translating it. Um, unfortunately, I can't give you any more words because Jerry's only given me the first line, I think, in English. Let's see if we know this tune, shall we? It's, it, these tunes in this hymn book are all beautiful. Just thinking about what sort of sound. Let's go for a quinty sound. There's a beautiful quint down on the lower division. Let's, Let's couple that with the beautiful flutes on the lower division and accompany that with a very soft diapason on the swell. Okay, here we go.
if that one felt like if you felt lost in terms of um, the rhythm and the time signature, I wouldn't blame you because the first two bars are 4-8, the next two bars are 5-8, the next one bar is 3-4, the next three bars are 5-8. Just a, a complete, um, complete mind, you know, playing that on a Sunday morning uh, after a late night on a Saturday might cause one or two issues. I would have actually really liked to have um, to have uh, to have been able to hear the words sung to that. The words in here are all in Gaelic, so there's no chance, no chance. I can't even begin to pronounce them. If it was German, yes, French, yes, but so beautiful tune though, I think you'll agree. Right, have we got more uh, requests coming in? And I'll tell you, you've got roast chicken. Lucky you. Very lucky you. PNF. Um, well, I'm very uh, glad that you are enjoying uh, the stream. I mean, I'm really enjoying playing uh, for you. I do this every Sunday. Well, I don't play for 12 hours every Sunday. <laughs> uh, but no, no, back in the early days of virtual church, very early days, it, we used to go for three and a half hours. We used to basically keep going until until uh, the requests dried up, which they never seemed to do. The requests were always coming in. Now we limit it to two hours, and even two hours isn't often enough. There's more than enough requests, and we have to roll over um, the requests to next week. Um, now I've lost where we are now. Sam, you've just popped off for lunch. Well, when you're back, um, I'll look out for you in the chat, and I'll play your request. Meanwhile, uh, Garrett has asked for um, one of the great hymns, Praise to the Lord, the Almighty, the King of Creation, number 440. There is actually a rather splendid uh, last verse by Noel, which you've heard me play before, um, so we will definitely have that. The uh, tune is called Lobe den Herren. Uh, where are we in here? Page 108, number 187. Uh, there it is. This is a wonderful hymn, this. We'll have uh, five, uh, five verses of this uh, hymn. There are six in here, two of which are, are starred, but, but uh, we, we will have uh, five verses. Um, Garrett, are you in? Please, uh, uh, it's half past, uh, 20 past one here in the UK, so it's about lunchtime, and we've got about 116 people watching. Um, so thank you very much, everyone. Those people who aren't in church, and the um, few people in America and around the world who are just waking up. Please do let me know. Give me a plus one in the chat um, to let me know you're in with me. Um, and it's good to be able to see the congregation um, you, you, you faceless people, but you have a big name, so I can, I can see your name, but I can't see your face. Although some people have um, your picture in your avatar. So please write plus one in the chat if you are listening. There we go. And Antino and Oprah, thank you very much, and Raphael.
One of the wonderful memories that I have of this hymn is doing the virtual choir. Um, it was around this time last year, wasn't it? I think it was before, actually, over the summer last year, possibly 14, 15, 16 months ago. It's the first time I saw, um, uh, so I, I saw you, uh, your face, and, and heard you as well, and putting it all, putting all your, you together to make this wonderful uh, choral sound was one of the most exciting things um, I've done. And whenever I play this hymn now, I always think about that virtual church, and I always think about you. Um, gosh, how many people were on that? That took, that took some doing, I tell you. 70 or so people on the screen at once. That took a lot of uh, lining up, <laughs> put it that way. Um, but it was so worth it, it was so much fun. I'd really love to do another one of those um, when, the time, when the time is right. It's just it's not a five minute job. It, it, to do a video, a video like that, me lasting four minutes or something, I'm not kidding, would take an entire week to put together. There's no easy way of doing it. You can't just put the videos in to software and it will line it all up and put it on the screen nicely. Um, I mean, I've got a faster computer now and I'm a little bit more familiar with the software, but gosh, it would still take a long time to do, but it's worth the effort. Ebibs, you are in, although I've got a feeling you just popped off, um, either to have some chicken or something. <laughs> um, what have you, you, you've asked for? Singui the king who is coming to reign. Apparently, it's, oh, you, you put the NEH, but then you put, I can't find it in Anglican books. So where is it then? Uh, sing we the king. I don't know. Um, should we have a look in in the hymnal, 1982, see whether it's in there? Well, there were there 800 and something hymns in this hymn book, so hopefully, hopefully it will be in here. Um, sing we of the blessed mother. Sing we the king. No, I can't find it. Ebibs, oh Paul, hello, thank you very much. Thank you very much. Very kind, thank you very much. Um, yes, please do, thank you. Um, Ebibs, if you're watching, um, please do give me a bit more information so I can go off and find that hymn for you. I can't find it um, otherwise. James Quinn um, has requested, I know this one, um, Gwitting Power, Christ Triumphant, Ever Reigning. Saviour, Master, King, ba, ma, ma, <laughs> number 104 in here, uh, in the complete Anglican. There it is. Quitting Power by Markle um, Sayward or Saward or something. Music is by John Barnard. Or that might be, might be the other way around. No, yeah, the music is by John Barnard and the words are by Michael Saward. Saward, Wood, I don't know. So would. <laughs> I mean, I've got, I've got I, I have a funny surname, McVeigh. People come out with McV, McVeigh. No, it's just McVeigh. <laughs> there's, there's a town down the road called Eastley, and um, the, the final few letters of Eastley are the same letters of my surname. But yeah, it's a completely different pronunciation. McV, Eastley. No, it's McVeigh, Eastley, Eastley. All right, Eastley. <laughs> that isn't how they talk. <laughs> anyway, let's let's crack on. Um, Christ triumphant, ever reigning, saviour, master, king, pop, pop, pop.
Oh, I'm muted after all of that waffle. That was the best waffle I've ever given. Huh. Um, well, what a shame. There you, did you, could you guess what I was saying? Could you lip read? <laughs> I guess not, because you were coming out of the um, shoulder camera. So, highlights, bullet points of what I was just saying. I was saying, I was saying to Sam um, that I can, we can have Sam's him because Sam is now back in the chat and he's luckily requested the correct hymn book. And I was pointed into this because it's called Hymns Ancient and Modern. And then the sub, the, the sort of the subtitle is Hymns and Songs for Refreshing Worship. And I love the idea of going to a, a service and, you know, and experiencing a refreshing worship. <laughs> I don't know, I don't quite know what that means. Um, and then what else did I say? I said, uh, Dark Magic Nine, thank you very much for your five quid. That's very kind. And then um, I hope one day you'll be able to participate in an organ workshop. Anyone who is of the young variety of organist, um, an aspiring organist, should we say, um, you have to keep in touch because there'll be lots of workshops and organ master classes over the coming months and years on the new organ given by um, world-class organists in all sorts of areas. Um, plain song accompaniment, um, bark performance, improvisation, hymn playing, all of these sorts of things that um, um, experienced organists can teach you. So that's one of the, one of the reasons why we're doing this um, and one of the reasons why we need to in, in, uh, enhance the speakers and the setup in here for when we have an audience in this room, it's really, really immersive and it sounds like the real deal. And we need to get the audio interface upgraded because I think that's the one that's letting me down by doing disco effects earlier on. If you missed that, you missed a real treat. <laughs> the organ was at the discotheque. <laughs> okay, about with me. Let's, let's hush this organ right down and start on some of the quieter stops. <coughs> Excuse me. Start on some of the quiet stops and then we'll crescendo through uh, into the final verse. So, High fives turn right up to begin with and then gradually turn it down as we get into verse 5.
<laughs> wow -y. And that was um, an ending of A Bride With Me that I've never heard before in my entire life. And I don't think you'll ever hear an ending of A Bride With Me like that ever again in your life. So at least I sincerely hope you do not. Um, that, well, the, the word is, the, the end of the um, hymn is, Heaven's morning breaks and Earth's veins shadows flee. I don't think those shadows have, had quite disappeared yet. In life, in death, O Lord, abide with me. Well, that was possibly the Lord speaking through the organ, saying, I am here, you asked, and I am now here to abide with you forever more. Well, actually, Lord, if you're going to abide with me in that way, I'd rather you just um, held fire and uh, let's, let's, let's discuss uh, ways in which you can ab abide with people. Now, um, let's see, are we back? That was um, un very unusual. So that was um, sort of um, ciphering at its most extreme. <laughs> <laughs> you've, uh, you've heard me talking about ciphering before, and some of you will be think, will have always thought it's making it up. Well, <laughs> am I? <laughs> I don't think I am making it up. Sam, <laughs> what do we do? Do you, <laughs> do you want me to uh, do the final verse again? Um, I, I think I, I think you're about you're about getting the right the sort of idea of how I was going in that final verse. The on shamards down the octave plus full organ on the on the other manuals. I think that was rather effective, actually. The first time I've ever done that. Um, I, I think we ought to really have the final verse again. Um, <laughs> I would say with or without this organ, but we can't do it without it, can we? So let's have another go at the final verse. I'll, I'll give you a little bit of a play over into it. <laughs> there we go. Forgot through the final verse. I, that, I, I must admit, I've seen this organ cipher a lot. I've seen this organ do very strange things, and I often think, is it haunted? But I think that was one of the most bizarre um, experiences I've ever had on this organ. And I'm so glad that there's um, well over 100 people joining in with that, because it was rather strange, wasn't it? I think, this, I think there, is a, there is a poltergeist in here. <laughs> uh, the thing is, the funny, you have to laugh because otherwise it just becomes daft. But um, when it happens, you think the first thing you think is, I've played a wrong note. And then very quickly afterwards, you realize, oh, actually, no, I haven't played a wrong note. <laughs> the organ's extemporizing and adding some of its own harmonies. <laughs> oh, gosh. Oh, God. Right, let's get back on track. Come on, serious now. Serious, serious. Right, here we go. So, virtual church is always, always very serious. <laughs> okay, right, um, Raphael, apparently you've sent me a high quality scan of a hymn um, called Made in God's Likeness. Let's have a look. There's an email from you, and there it is. Yes, I would say it's a fairly high quality scan. I wouldn't say it was the best scan I've ever seen. Um, I can see your cushion on the sofa behind it. Now let me, um, let me just save it into my photos so I can then um, swipe between them. I think there were two pages, aren't there? Yeah, two pages. 
Um, save image. There we go. So, well, the words are made in God's likeness, moved by the Spirit, called to create a world for the Lord, called to create a new world for the Lord. Um, I, actually, I, just before I do that, I did see a few donations come in. I just want to say thank you um, to uh, to you for doing that. Um, I think I saw a PayPal from. I, I, unfortunately, I can't always see the PayPal donations live um, because they're not in the chat. But thank you for those to those people who have, including Sam, who donated about ten minutes ago over PayPal. So thank you very much, Sam. That's really really kind of you. Um, I might have to take. I don't know whether it's worse or... Okay. Right, it's just, wow, some harmonies in here, aren't there? Um, okay, well, let's have a go at this one. Let me just have a look at the next page. Ah, this one looks a bit tricky, actually. Well, we'll have a go. The refrain is, I think, I think the hymn starts with the refrain. And then goes into the verses. Four verses. Um, the, the first verse is, Birds in the mountains sing of your praises, called in the morning to tell of your love. Um, bellbirds and whipbirds sing of creation, celebrate always that Christ is the King. And then we go back to the refrain, made in God's likeness, moved by the Spirit, etc. I don't think I know this, so... Um, apologies if I play it in the wrong order. <laughs> Are you still with us? It's the Disney film. What, what do you mean it's Disney? I don't know which Disney film. I've, I, we, actually, we were watching a, a little bit of Jungle Book last night because Hugo loves um, the bare necessities in the Jungle Book. So we were listening to that last night. I, d I don't know whether this is from the Jungle Book, though. <laughs> I need to focus. I've lost, my, I've lost my focus. The organs just completely put me off now. <laughs> The idea of having a disco walking. Uh, right, here we go.
So is that from a um, is that from a Disney hymn then? Is that what um, someone was saying? I don't know. I, I didn't recognise it. But then again, I haven't seen any of the modern Disney films. It might well be. It's called Called to, Cre uh, Called to Create, is the hymn, and the words are by um, uh, uh, Alistair Spence. Right, it's nearly time to look at this poll. Shall I go and have a look? We've got five minutes to vote. Yes, so I think um, you have five more minutes of, uh, of voting for a Baroque, banger. A Baroque piece. Um, and I'm going to have one more hymn, and then we'll have the next Baroque piece. So I think the poll is still, on in, still open for voting. If you haven't cast your votes yet, um, please do vote. Um, and then we'll have it after this next hymn, which is going to be... Oh, it's, it's from my mum. Is, are you in, mum? I saw you chatting earlier on. I think a lot of people have, have got this on in the background. I don't blame you. The brightest and best. Um, Epiphany tune... Yes, so number 49 in here. Number 49. Brightest and best of the sons of the morning. Actually, I'm a little bit biased because there is a, another tune. The first tune in this hymn book is called Wessex and it was written by Alwyn Surplis. Now, Alwyn Surplis was the director of music at Winchester Cathedral. And whenever they sing this hymn at Winchester, they always, of course, sing Alwyn's tune, Wessex. Um, however, I think um, more broadly known is this tune called Epiphany, which is what I'll play today. This is Ebib's request here. Sing what? We the King. Okay, well, what do you want to do with it now? Just, uh, just, it's in the pile to do later. And there's that arrangement of uh, Dia de Martha that someone asked for.
Well, I gathered the winner of the next poll for organ music, which actually means we've been playing for four hours, is it? Because we're doing it every two hours. Is that right? So, yes. Yes, it is, isn't it? It started at 10. And um, it feels like it's almost halfway through. Four. Six, six hours is halfway through. That's not far off, is it? Another couple of hours, that'll fly by. Two hours is like a normal virtual church. <laughs> we do that before breakfast. The winner of the poll is the arrival of the Queen of Sheba, which comes from the um, oratorio by Handel Solomon. So, as requested for by yourselves, there you go, the, the results are on the screen now in the, in the chat. You should be able to see the results. I'm seeing that now for the first time. Because on, on this screen, it doesn't, for some reason, doesn't show, doesn't show me the, um, the poll live. So 46% of you wanted um, Handel. Books oh, 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 I'm ashamed. I'm sorry, the Books Hood didn't do, didn't do quite so well. I thought you'd actually be, be voting for that one. It's a wonderful piece by Dietrich Books Hood. And the Handel, well, not too far, not too far behind the Books Hood. That handle is really wonderful. I, I would love to play. I, I, I will play that again. I'll just play it again because I think it's a wonderful piece. I'll have a sip of my Coke Zero. And then we'll crack on. I hope you're all having a good time. I hope you're all um, enjoying uh, VC today, a uh, special organ marathon, just to raise a little bit of the final amount of money for the new organ and the various bits of, of uh, hardware that it needs to go with it. Um, and it also means that we're not quite so skint for Christmas because all the money that I've saved over the past year or yeah, the past year has go, is going towards a new organ. I think you'll see when it arrives, I think, I, and I hope that you'll see and you'll agree with me that it's money well spent and it was worth it. I've seen um, close-ups of it pictures. When, when I went to um, see it in real life last time, it was actually a, 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 you know, a skeleton, a very, very little to it, basically. It's just a shell, but a lot more has gone in, and it's, I think it's almost, almost finished. Um, and, well, let's hope it's worth it, shall we, all this work? I think it will. I know, I know it will. Let's have a really sort of bright sound. So let's go for the, the diapason chorus on all divisions, up to two foot. Um, let's have the quiet mixture on the hoofed work, on the grate. Um, let's bring all that together. I think that'll about do it. So, arrival of the Queen of Sheba, as voted for by you.
that slice of pizza took rather longer to chew than I was expecting. Sorry about that. I was just wondering to myself whether I could name you another movement from, um, from Solomon. I don't think I could. I don't know, whether, are there any other well-known movements from Solomon? Um, it's a... It's one of those sort of oratorios, a lot of Handel's oratorios um, and operas um, haven't really, um, you know, I think there's, there's so many wonderful pieces of that sort of scale, like the Bach Passions, um, a few, um, Monteverdi's Vespers, um, and the great, obviously, the operas by uh, Wagner and all of them, you know, Verdi and all those sorts of people. But there isn't actually much time in the musical diary for um, operas by Handel. I've, I can't think of, I've, I, I, I think it, it was one that the, um, the choir at Winchester used to go and sing in Germany, the Handel Fest, I think it was. I used to go and sing it every year. I forget which one it was now. I think that was quite good, but yeah, I'm ashamed to say that I've, in terms of other movements from Solomon, I don't know. Um, <laughs> hey Mary, yes, well, my, this is my Sunday lunch. Look, two, two bits of um, the pizza, um, a bit of crust, and an avocado. So, can't complain. It's, I, I'm absolutely happy with that. Absolutely happy indeed with that. I'm going to have a little sip of my Coke Zero before we go into a request from Marty M. Marty M, I've seen Marty M chatting quite a bit actually. Marty M has asked for Rejoice He, Rejoice He, Pure in Heart. Common Praise, number 556. Um... Oh no, it's not the correct number I'm afraid. Uh, oh, rejoice he pure in heart. I don't know those words. It doesn't sound familiar at all. Rejoice ye, rejoice he. No, well, it's not even in there. So Marty, if you're, if you're watching, you're gonna have to um, send me a correction, whichever hymn book it's in. Paul, Paul, I know Paul's hymn is, request is correct, because this is one of Paul's favorite hymns and I play this for Paul quite a bit. Number 141 in the NEH here. Wonderful tune. This is a really, really strong and very, very serious tune. You know the tune Michael by Herbert Howells? Well, this one is by the same composer, um, but very striking, very striking. And I think, I think as good, a really wonderful tune. Really, really, really wonderful tune. And I'll, I'll, bring out, I'll bring out the tune actually on a, um, on some mutations, just so it's really clear for verse one, and then I'll leave you to it after verse one. There are only three verses. And I think it should be quite stately, actually. So it's called, um, the, the, uh, the tune is called Salisbury, and the words are Holy Spirit ever dwelling in the holiest realms of light, Holy Spirit ever brooding over a world of gloom and night. Um, so this is um, certainly one to get your fingers around in terms of harmony. Let's see if I can do it. <laughs>
You're right, Paul, it is just so, so prayerful, isn't it? It is. It's really striking. Really, really striking. Interestingly, you know, in the organ part, in Howells' choral music, as opposed to someone like Charles Villiers Stanford, whose, choral, whose organ accompaniments would largely, almost directly imitate the choral parts, Howells was very different. Even though they were contemporaries, Howells was not contemporaries, it was actually a generation apart. Howells was um, one of Stanford's pupils. Howells's um, choral writing is very different to Stanford's choral writing in that, well, not not just at least in in harmonic uh, in a harmonic way, but the way he uses the organ to accompany to a much greater effect than what Stanford did. If you think of pieces by Stanford, such as um, um, Low, uh, whatever it is. Low, uh, for low I would raise up, that's it, for low I would raise up. The organ is very independent of the choral parts. But a lot of other earlier Stanford, for example, her, his evening service in A major, the organ part is largely, um, in bits of it at least, imitating the choral writing. Stanford didn't do that, uh, Howells didn't do that. And this, the reason I'm waffling on here is because in here, in this hymn particularly, the organ part is quite independent to the tune. So if you, are pl if you are only playing the organ line, the organ staves, the tune wouldn't be there th uh, throughout. So you have to play all three lines. And there are times when the organ part actually goes above the choral, the, the, the tune. It can be a little bit confusing if you're not um, concentrating. So Paul, thank you for, thank you for that, a wonderful uh, tune. Um, and yes, it's always wonderful to play that one. Marty, no worries at all. You've corrected, I've just seen your new request come in. So let's see if we've got it right. Se second time lucky. The hymnal, um, number 556 in the hymnal 1982. Now, where's that one gone? Oh, it's there. It's under Jerry's The Veritas. 556 in here. Five, five, six. Uh, yes. Rejoice ye, pure in heart. Rejoice, give thanks and sing. Your glorious banner wave on high. The cross of Christ your King. Rejoice, rejoice. Rejoice, give thanks and sing. Uh, a request um, from Marty. Uh, Marty M. Are you, um, are you a fan of uh, Back to the Future, Marty?
I like the, the refrain. Rejoice. 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 Rejoice, give thanks and sing. I think that's really effective, actually. And um, it's not a hymn I don't think we have over in this country. Is there anyone here from England or in the uh, whole of the UK who, who has done that one before? It's not, not familiar to me at all. The music is called Marion um, by um, Arthur Henry um, Messiter. Let me know. Do you know that? I, I'm, I didn't know that. Oh, the only time I have played this is obviously when doing the complete, the, the, the marathon where we played the entire hymn book. Marty, you're very welcome. And um, thank you for your donation as well. So I hope that was worth it. We got there in the end with the, uh, the, the incorrect um, hymn book. Doesn't matter, don't worry. Um, so keep the requests coming in. Um, please keep them coming in. It's absolutely, um, we've, got, we've got hours to go yet, hours. We actually have quite a, a good backlog. What I'm doing is getting through um, today's hymns first, and then I'm also then going to go into hymn requests that we haven't yet got to from previous weeks. Okay, so before we get there, let's go on to um, Dark Magic 9. Are you still with us? Are you still with us? Um, uh, you've emailed me a high quality scan. Let's see how how high quality it is. That is a very high quality scan. That's perfect. That is excellent. Perfectly, perfectly clear. Um, there we go. That's what I mean. I need to lock the screen. Although I like to give a little bit of sort of sort of um, feedback. It was scanned the wrong way, so it, it was scanned that way. So I had to lock the screen orientation. But that's a high quality scan. That's what I'm talking about. Just make sure it's rotated the correct direction. <laughs> You're good, you are here. Well, I'm happy to play this hymn for you. Um, it's called Belfry Praise, as in the Belfry, you know where the bells are. Belfry Praise. Um, and I can see now it's based on the um, on a, on a um, uh, appeal. Um, and I think you'll see what I mean. Four verses, uh, words are by H.C. Wilder, and uh, music is by um, J.H. Matthews. Which hymn book is this from? Let me, I can't, re I don't recognise a hymn book. Let me know which um, hymn book this is.
What a wonderful, um, uplifting and happy hymn. Um, some wonderful words in here. Um, it, it's, it's all about bells, all about bell ringing. If you don't know this hymn, it's well worth checking out. Uh, verse, verse 4, our lives like bells while changing an ordered course pursue through joys and sorrows ranging may all those lives ring true. Uh, verse 2, we call from tower and steeple upon the days of days all faithful Christian people to worship prayer and praise. We ring with joyous gladness when men and wife are blessed. We peal in muffled sadness for loved ones laid to rest. Wonderful, wonderful. Thank you very much. So I hope that was okay for you. Um, Yes, no, I, yeah, I, Hymns and Nation. So the, the older version, the older version of this, not this version, to so the old version of, the, of, of that. Yes, excellent. Can you remind me, um, Archie, where you, are you in Ripon? Is that right? Am I, uh, are you in Ripon? Let me know where you are. Um, I mean, whilst you're doing that, I'm going to have a look at my spreadsheet to see where we are. Yes, are you, and you, are you a chorister? at the cathedral at Ripon, is that right? That's the problem with having an internet delay, isn't it? If it was instant, it would be much easier. Um, well, yeah, so you, you are a chorister, but you finished at half term. Okay, was that because your voice is broken? So we have a, a young guy, um, a, York, a Yorkshireman, <laughs> Uh, who's like, there's a wonderful cathedral, those people who don't know, Ripon is a, a beautiful, beautiful town in and sort of North Yorkshire uh, with a gorgeous cathedral, a very, very nice cathedral with a wonderful acoustic. Very small town, but with a big cathedral. You know, these, these towns in, in, up north in Yorkshire have um, oversized cathedrals for the size of their town. They're very lucky, <laughs> very lucky indeed. And Ripon has a very fine cathedral with a, a wonderful organ, a four manual Harrison and Harrison, and a good choir, actually, with a, a new director of music, Ronnie um, Kripner, who's just, who's just gone there. Have you rang the bells at Ripon? Let us know, and, and what are they like, if you have? Okay, it's very good to have you. I, I, I don't remember, do you play the organ as well? Are you having organ lessons? Let me know. Be still, my soul. Oh, this is a wonderful hymn. Um, Thomas Burt. I think the previous hymn you requested, Thomas, we had to um, find. No, actually, we, 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 no, it was it was right. Uh, ancient and modern. Let's have a look. Uh, number five nine four. Um, this is the wonderful tune by Sibelius, Jean Sibelius, Finlandia. I did play last year, um, earlier last year, the, the arrangement of, uh, the organ arrangement of this. I took it off. Uh, so I've got it in the background. I'll have to uh, um, re-release it, I suppose. It's a wonderful um, moment in the middle where you, it's quite loud and pompous. and cel It's a celebratory piece. Um, but in the middle, it all dies away then you have this really beautiful um, melodic tune. And this is actually um, where it comes from. So Thomas, you've asked for this. Um, Be still my soul, the Lord is on your side. Bear patiently a cross of grief and pain. Leave to your God to order and provide. In every change, he faithful will remain. The tune is called in here, um, it's called Finlandia. Um, as you'd expect, because that's what the original piece is called. And yes, I hope you enjoy this. It's gorgeous, utterly, utterly gorgeous.
such, isn't it? Just such, oh, what is, what is it? It's beautiful, but it's something more than that. It's really poignant and um, it really hits you. It really hits you. Um, now there's Finnish composers like Sibelius really knew how to write a tune which really um, strikes a chord. <laughs> Gorgeous, utterly gorgeous. In the original orchestration, um, uh, when when the uh, the famous tune comes in towards the middle, it's very very exposed. It's very very quiet, but then it becomes quite luscious and quite rich. And in the organ version, at least, um, the left hand it's in A flat major in the organ version. The left hand is doing lots of tremolo effects like that. Um, which is what I tried to do in the final verse. I have to get that score out and play it again. It's, it's de delicious, isn't it? Utterly, utterly delicious. Um, right, back to my uh, Excel sheet. Well, actually, it's not. It's a Google sheet. Um, if anyone's interested in that, I suspect not. Um, Steve Richer, you've sent me through um, a high-quality scan of God of Concrete, God of Steel. Ooh. Interesting words. Uh, let me have a look. Oh, there it is. Yeah, well, there. Yeah, that's a. That is a, 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 a high quality scan. I think that's pretty good. It's a little bit wonky. Um, it's not quite cen center on the on the screen. A little bit off. A little bit at a strange angle. But I think that's 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 actually pretty good. A good effort there, Steve. <laughs> Yeah, of course I'll play this for you. God of, let, me, let me read these words, because I don't think they'll be, be particular, uh, particularly familiar with a lot of people, including me. I've still got screen, screen on orientation lock. There we go. Uh, God of concrete, God of steel, God of piston and of wheel. Ooh, I like these words. God of pylon, God of steam, God of girder and of beam, God of atom, God of mine. All the world of power is thine. Excellent. Well, it starts in D minor and has a bit of a striking um, chord sequence towards the end. It ends on D major. So I suspect this is quite a powerful hymn. Unfortunately, it looks like it's only one verse of it. So I've only got one page. Are there more verses of that? Or is that it? Steve, are we only going to do one verse? I think that absolutely is an engineer's hymn, isn't it? Um, which, I, and I love this. I love the idea of um, pistons and steel, and I'm not so keen on concrete, if I'm honest. Um, pylons, power pylons, yeah, I can live without those. Steam, well, you've all heard a steam train go past here, haven't you? The, um, the Flying Scotsman went steaming past. Atom, well, I, I don't want, I'm lost when it comes to atoms. Um, more verses, okay, another, <laughs> okay, another page. Yes, send me another page. I'm, I'm, I'm really intrigued to know what the words are in verse two. <laughs> Is, does, it, does it completely depict the um, Industrial Revolution or something? A bit like Les Mis. <laughs> um, if you're, if, 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 tell you what, if you, you send that through, uh, you'll probably do it quite quickly because I know you're quite organized with that sort of thing. Um, and I'll, I'll play through verse one. And then we might have a little bit of a hiatus in between the verses whilst I find the second scan. Just make it really clear. And, um, and then we'll hopefully just be able to sort of flick between emails. I'll have a sip of my Coke Zero just to give you a bit more time to get it sent on email. What hymn book is this? Maybe I've got the hymn book. Um, it's, an, it's an OUP hymn book, so I'm, I, I don't know whether we have it or not, actually. Anyway. Anyway, I'm going to crack on because I'm desperate to hear what this uh, hymn sounds like.
Well, let me read, let me read these words to you. So another another um, uh, email has come in from Steve with the words. So I've read you verse one. Verse two is Lord. <laughs> these are great. These are really great. I've never seen a hymn like this before. Verse two is Lord of Cable, Lord of Rail. <laughs> Lord of motorway and mail, Lord of rocket, Lord of flight, Lord of soaring satellite, Lord of lightning's livid line, <laughs> livid line, Lord of lightning's livid line, all the world of speed is thine. That's the best line in a hymn I've ever seen in my life. Verse three, Lord of science, Lord of art, God of map and graph and chart, Lord of physics and research, Lord of Bible, faith of church, Lord of sequence and design, all the world of truth is thine. Fair enough. Verse four, God whose glory fills the earth, that sounds quite familiar, uh, gave the universe its birth, uh, loosed the Christ, loosed the Christ with Easter's might, saves the world from evil's blight claims mankind by grace divine than in capitals all the world of love is thine these are words by richard jones who was born in 1926. i'm just going to read the final verse of verse two again all the world of speed is thine <laughs> jeremy clarkson would like this hymn <laughs> all right come on let, let's have another go at this hymn with the end the, the, um, the tune Okay, here we go again. They will solo out the, um, uh, the tune on a metallic sort of sound. I couldn't think of really anything else to do to um, word paint. The congregation would have had an absolute 
people would have been livid, they would have walked out. But luckily, I can just do what I want in here. Word painting, um, my, my new favorite um, line in, in any hymn, all the world of speed is thine. Um, big Echalorando through that. <laughs> I've never heard that hymn before in my entire life. I think, I think a lot of people haven't, but I was looking at the chat. So Steve, thanks for sending that one through, a bit of fun. Um, come on, hurry up. Why isn't my thing doing what I want it to do? Double tap. There we go. Okay, so um, we've had um, we've had Marty's hymn. John has asked for Earth and All Stars from the hymnal 1982, number um, 412. Let's have a look. See if we can find that one. Number 412. Uh, oh, we've had this one already. Oh, well, it's obviously quite a popular one. Unless, am I playing it for the same person? Um, Earth and All Stars, Loud Rushing Planets. I don't think it was uh, John who requested it before. Anyway, I think we rather enjoyed it before, didn't we? So we ought to do it again. Steve, thank you so much for your donation. It's a real honor to play that, real privilege. Um, this hymn is, um, is I, I, I like this one, and I think that a lot of you like it as well. It's, um, actually these words are almost quite as colorful and quite as charismatic as the previous one. Earth and all stars, loud rushing planets, sing to the Lord a new song. O victory, loud shouting army, sing to the Lord a new song. Hail wind and rain, loud blowing snowstorms, sing to the Lord a new song. Flowers and trees, loud rushing dry leaves, sing to the Lord, etc., etc. Verse 3, trumpets and pipes, loud crashing cymbals, loud humming um, cello, <laughs> loud humming cellos, sing to the Lord a new song. Verse 4, engines and steel, loud pounding hammers. Gosh, well, you guys are very into your engineering today, aren't you? <laughs> Come on, here we go then. Earth and all stars. This is a, this is a request from uh, from John this time.
There we go, for the second time today, that was Earth and All Stars Loud Rushing Planet. Luckily it's a good hymn, isn't it? I actually lost all sense of time. Oh, it's nearly three o'clock and we've got seven hours to go. It doesn't feel like we've been going for uh, five hours yet. It feels like we've only been going for a couple. Um, so you've got lots of time to get your requests in, guys, so keep them coming. I can see them updating on this spreadsheet nicely, so keep them coming in. Um, God moves in a mysterious way. Well, I um, I couldn't... Um, I think this, this organ moves in a mysterious way, if I'm honest. <laughs> Let's have a look at your high-quality scan. Woo! That's not... Oh, there we go. Oh, it's St. Stephen. Okay. Um, yeah, that's a nice tune. You've sent it me twice. Have you sent it twice on purpose or just by... Um, let's have a look. Okay, that's, no, that's cool. You've, that's, that's a pretty good scan, that. I panicked a little bit because it had all of the... I don't even know what it's called, but the old... The alternative um, method of reading music. Can you see? The top. I don't know what that's called. Um, that it's 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 a way of reading music. Small will know what it's called. It's almost like do re mi so la fa ti do or whatever the order of those words are. Um, meanwhile, let's have a go. That's St. Stephen. God moves in a mysterious way. His wonders to perform. He plants his footsteps in the sea and rides upon the storm. It's not necessarily the tune that I would associate with these words. Um, that doesn't matter at all. Oprah has asked for St. Stephen. Oh, we've got a cat coming in. Hello, we can come in if you like, but as long as you don't walk on the keyboard, whether that's a quota keyboard or one of these organ keyboards. There's a bit of pizza there if you want it. <laughs> um, so six verses. Of this, um, of this well-known hymn. The words are very well-known and the tune is also very well-known.
that's a cat's for you, isn't it? She breaks in through the um, sliding doors behind me over there, jumps on the organ bench, walks on the um, keyboards, nabs a bit of pizza, and then walks off. She was crunching away. I hope it's not bad for her. It's only the, the crust, but she was definitely enjoying, enjoying a little bit of pizza. I did put on the picture, and then we would do it with or without Bobby. So, so far we've done it a bit of with and without Bobby. Nala has also been on, in, she was, she was lying, do you remember? She was actually lying on the keyboard which controls the streaming computer. So I'm using two computers, a streaming computer, a dedicated streaming computer and a dedicated handwork computer. Nala was laid actually on the streaming keyboard, the computer keyboard, which could have, could have done anything. I'm amazed really that we are still online, frankly. <laughs> It wouldn't be the first time that she has taken us offline. <laughs> right, so um, I think what we need to do is, um, we've got a couple of more requests from Daniel, another one from John, and uh, one from um, Hayden Payne. Hayden, are you in? Um, I, I need to know the, um, the hymn number, unfortunately, because it's, otherwise it takes me ages to find it. Um, Someone will let me know um, what number is How Shall I Sing That Majesty Kofen in one of the popular hymn books. We need to know the hymn number so I can just go straight to it. Um, Daniel Kabaki has asked for um, O Strength and Stay Upholding All Creation, number 485 in the NEH. 485 in the NEH. Actually, we've got less than an hour before the next um, organ piece. Is the poll up yet on the, for the next organ piece? I'll put it up very shortly. Okay, the next poll will arrive very shortly. Um, 485. Um, you're giving me the wrong number, Daniel. Um, o strength and stay, upholding all creation. It's four two eight. You put four eight five. Why have you put four eight five? It's four two eight. It's uh, two four eight. Come on, guys, make sure these hymn numbers are correct. There we go. Uh, tune, tune A. Okay, fine, absolutely fine. There you go, Daniel. This one is especially for you, Jerry. Thank you very much. Six six three. We'll have that in a minute.
Thank you very much, Daniel. Normally, the tune that we have over here is this one. Which, is, interestingly, is the second tune, not the first. So it's nice to play the first tune there. I've never played that one before. Um, so a, a nice opportunity to play that. Thanks, Daniel. Very kind of you to request that. Um, let's go now. Jerry found the, the hymn number for um, one of the, I think one of the most popular of modern hymns in existence. Um, How shall I sing that majesty? Number 663 in here. Co Fen. This has, it, this has its own um, Facebook group. Apparently, it's that popular. And all these, all these added notes in the organ parts are just so wonderful, so wonderful. Uh, Jerry, whilst you're with us, um, I have actually played another one of your uh, requests that you left last night, um, and I'll play another one of yours after this. Um, I panicked a little bit because the previous one that I played. Um, you gave me the first line in English, but then the rest of it was in Gaelic, and I had, we had no idea what, what the words were. Um, I know what the words are of this one. How shall I sing that majesty which angels do admire? Let dust in dust and silence lie. Sing, sing, ye heavenly choir. Thousands of thousands stand around thy throne, O God most high. Ten thousand times, ten thousand sound thy praise. But who am I? Four verses of this epic tune by um, Kenneth Naylor.
fantastic, fantastic hymn. I really love that hymn so much. I think uh, most people who um, sing it and play it and listen to it evidently uh, really enjoy it as well. So a really uh, thrilling piece to play with you guys. <laughs> Computer Nerd 80, thank you very much for your five dollars. That's really, really appreciated. Have you got a request um, to send through? Oh, Computer Daryl. Oh, you have. You sent one through. Excellent, excellent. Well, actually, you're next on the list. You're next on the list. Um, that's good timing, isn't it? I'm actually going to not play Immortal Invisible God Only Wise from the Hymnal 1982. I'm going to play it from here. Only because in the final verse, for the final verse, there's a wonderful reharmonization and, and descant by Barry Rose. And it works really, really well. Uh, 676. And I'm going to play it. Four verses. I wish there were more verses. Actually, no, I don't because it's just perfect the way it is. It's short and succinct and straight to the point. The poll is now on the screen, as if by magic. <laughs> uh, thank you, Caroline, for putting that on um, in the poll. Get, get voting. And um, at four o'clock, or in 45 minutes, we will uh, have the next organ piece. So we'll have an English organ piece next time, and then we'll have a, German, uh, a French piece, a tuba tune, and an organ voluntary coming up later. But as, as I am English, I thought it'd be rude not to have an English piece. Meanwhile, computer nerd, or Daryl, let's have Immortal Invisible God Only Wise.
Barry and Rose, for those of you who don't know, always had exceptionally good boys' choirs. St Paul's Cathedral, Guildford Cathedral, and St Albans Cathedral uh, in Hertfordshire. And just can you imagine, the, 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 the descant does this. But then... And that A flat went in all of his choirs um, would have been impeccably in tune. He uh, he was a he was a right stickler for intonation, and all of his choirs, all of the boys' choirs that he's had. Um, and then and every other choir have always sung so musically and just so so in tune, and always with a really pure, a very different sound to you know George Guest and the St John's Cambridge sound, which is very um, uh, rich, and European almost, you know, lots of chest voice. Barry, Barry's choir was much more, uh, much purer and very little vibrato, much more controlled. And it was just magical, magical. If I could, ha if I could ha have had a choir like Barry Rose, then I would have made it. I would have absolutely made it. I would have retired and retired happy. And then Tino has asked for, oh God, you search me out and you know me. Uh, hymns, ancient and modern. This is the, um, the hymn book which often trips people up. Are we going to be the correct oh jerry i need to play your hymn don't i actually um and you know i did say to jerry that i would play um his hymn next i've got your hymn and you know, ready so we'll have that in a moment in a moment just need to dig deep under my pizza dish and get the veritas back and go in at um jerry where are your requests they're all the way up at the top there they are um one two i think it's this one here Hymn number 31 in the Veritas hymnal. It is, it is, it is, it is. Ooh, it's another one in um, a language I can't speak. <laughs> Be in my heart, Jesus. Jerry, you need, you'll need you need to um, give, give us some more words than, than, than those uh, five words. Um, Be in my heart, Jesus. I'm not sure how it goes after that. And the tune is simply called, um, it's, uh, it's a traditional tune um, by Gerard Gillian, I think. So three times, three verses, um, and Jerry will hopefully just give us a fraction more text of this, um, of this hymn.
There we go. Thank you very much, Jerry, for putting the words in the chat. It's really helpful, um, not only to me, but obviously to everyone else as well. Um, be Jesus in my heart, in memory every hour. Be Jesus in my heart with speedy uh, repentance. Be Jesus in my heart with everlasting fellowship. O oh, Jesus, uh, true God, don't depart from me. So the words are there in the chat if you'd like to have a look at them. Um, and they were for that particular gorgeous traditional Irish hymn. And Lantino is next um, with, Oh God, you search me out. Sorry, Oh God, you search me and you know me. All my thoughts lie open to your gaze. When I walk or lie down, you are before me, ever the maker and keeper of my days. Uh, five verses of this, very reflective, just like the previous one actually. So we'll, let's have some of the, we might change the organ later. I thought about changing organs in a bit. Let's go to uh, the swell and uh, listen to some of the mutations up here. Uh, there we go. I think that ought to do it. That ought to do the trick. A wonderful hymn there by Bernadette Farrell, or Farrell. Thank you very much, uh, and Antino. That was, it says here, um, it's based on Psalm 139. Alfie has requested one of the all-time great hymns. No question at all. What could that hymn be? Well, it's one by the great um, English composer Hubert Parry, um, Sir Charles Hubert Hastings Parry. It comes from um, an, oratorio, an, an oratorio, which I'd be very surprised if anyone watching um, wouldn't know it. 
It is um, from his oratorio, Judith. <laughs> And it's called, Dear Lord, and, Dear Lord and Father of Mankind, Forgive Our Foolish Ways. The tune is called Repton. Uh, Daniel and Matt, hello, good to have you with us. If you are um, new today, if you're listening to the first time, we've had quite a few new subscribers to the channel over the past few weeks, so you are very welcome indeed. Um, just so you know, I don't normally do a 12-hour virtual church, not, not every week. I do organ marathons occasionally. Virtual church on Sunday normally lasts for about two hours, not 12, although sometimes it feels like it. Um, so yeah, it's good to have you with us if you are listening listen to us for the first time. You're very, very welcome indeed. Um, actually, virtual church normally starts at six o'clock, which is in two and a half hours time. So we'll be not, not long into the normal virtual church um, slot on a Sunday. Okay, so five verses of this terrific uh, tune, and it's, it has been requested by Alfie. Oh, Jerry, thank you for your um, for your donation with your dancing bear. That's ex excellent. <laughs> I love these these animations are terrific. Um, the weirder and the quirkier, the better, I think. So if you can find a really quirky animation, uh, feel free to send me through a coffee. I could actually do with a coffee. <laughs> I wonder whether the girls next door will hear me. <laughs> anyway, five verses. Dear Lord and Father of Mankind. One of my favourites.
hymns don't come much better than that. I really don't in terms of the wonderful words. Uh, I asked this last time, we played this actually a few weeks ago in virtual church. Can anybody remember how many verses there are originally? These are the final five verses of a much bigger uh, stanza. Maybe stanza isn't quite a poem, I guess. Um, these, these final five stanzas are from a much larger piece. But it's well worth checking out, actually, if you don't, if you don't know the words to the, the, um, the previous section. Well worth it. Okay, David. David Sheiky has apparently sent me a high-quality scan of Praise We the Lord, Who Made All Beauty. Let's have a look in my inbox. David Sheiky can see two emails, perhaps. Oh yes, that does look like a high-quality scan indeed. It's very straight, it's level. The words are readable. That looks really good if I turn it around. Perfect. Actually, I would say it's just a little bit too big, actually, David. <laughs> it doesn't quite fit on the screen. Just about fits if I just put it there. I'm missing the, the, the top stems and the very bottom stems. It's bizarre. I can't, I can't zoom out for some reason. <laughs> I, almost, I, I almost feel like I could read that on, on, from the street. <laughs> it's really big. Uh, praise we the Lord who made all beauty for all, um, for all our senses to enjoy. Hmm. Oh, we are humble thanks to duty that simple pleasures never cloy. Praise we the Lord who made all beauty for all our senses to enjoy. Okay, here we go then. Thank you very much, Anne, for your donation. Um, it's a real pleasure to play your hymns because you, you have obviously enjoy them and you've been a member of the BIS community for a long time so it's a, it's a real honour to play your hymns. David, here we go. Um, under 30. What, what, um, not sure what that means. People are writing plus one. Oh, that's very good of you. I, I'm not sure I, did, I asked you to do that but you're more than welcome to. If you, if you, when you arrive at VC please do write plus one. That's, I, I like to know who's in. Um, and then maybe when you'd leave just write minus one. <laughs> so here we go then. Three verses. I've done that three times now today. We're having a solo registration set up for the choir division, the lower division, but then having the wrong the hands in the wrong order. It's just Doing these 12 hour marathons really requires a lot of brain stamina. I'll try that again, with the hands in the right order.
Am I, I'm, oh, I'm, I'm, I was talking to the wrong angle again. And, and the other angle mutes the microphone because you wouldn't want me talking uh, or sniffing and panting whilst playing the organ, it'll put you right off. Um, yeah, so, uh, oh yes, that's right. The tune to the previous hymn, um, what are the um, original words? It's a Christmas carol. I can't remember what they are because I've been sat here and I've still got um, Steve's hymn about engines and going fast going through my mind. I can't remember what the original words are. I've got a feeling it's a French uh, hymn, French carol with French words, but I can't think what on earth they are. Ooh. Oh, I nearly had it then. Uh, Kelest something. Kelest says Odre Agreable. Something like that. <laughs> That's the one. <laughs> Shout up, lad. Yes. Well, it would help if I unmuted the microphone. Right, so Paul. Paul has put one in from uh, Riley and Gizmo, All Creatures of Our God and King. Paul, actually, I'm just going to take a bit of liberty here. I'm going to play it from NEH rather than the hymnal 1982. Uh, just because I'm just so used to seeing it and reading it from this hymn book. So there are 263 in here. Paul, um, I think these are, these are Paul's, are they your cats or are they dogs? Yes, I lose track of the names of your creatures. <laughs> Riley and Gizmo Larson have requested all creatures of our God and King. Uh, last uns a uh, fro uh, frauen. Here we go then. Whence is that goodly fragrance flowing in English? Of course, yes. Here we go. I'm talking to myself. Yes, uh, I am talking to myself. I've completely lost all sense of reality. I'm sat here basically talking to an empty, no, one, no one's in here, talking to myself, hoping that some, some people will occasionally hear me if I press the right button. It's a very surreal experience. <laughs>
Paul and Riley and Gizmo. <laughs> I hope that was okay for you. Our little fairy, fairy creatures are um, in the other room. I'm not sure where the cats are. <laughs> the Bobby was in here earlier. Nala was also in here, earlier, in here earlier. I suspect they're on a bed somewhere upstairs, keeping um, out of the way of noise and keeping warm. Bobby's um, taken control. Uh, she's commandeered the um, spare bedroom bed. She loves it on there. Every morning I get up um, and I look in there and I can just see these ears sort of sticking up, looking, looking out, bleary eyed, you know. <laughs> Um, and Nala always sleeps on our bed, um, on my pillow, actually, as it happens. So that's a little bit annoying. <laughs> there isn't much space on my pillow, because this is quite big. <laughs> oh, oh dear. What time is it? It's four o'clock. That means in 10 minutes we've got another organ piece. So I think we should have, I'll probably get another two piece, another two hymns in, and then we'll have our next organ piece. Oh yes, Elgar's currently in the lead. However, there is still 10 minutes to vote. What am I going to play next? It's completely up to you. Make sure you cast your vote. So we've had the All Creatures of Our God and King. And we're now going to go into, um, oh, this is a nice one. I've had, had this one for a while. Um, uh, I, the Lord uh, of Sea and Sky. I just need to find the right hymn book. It's at the bottom, I've not had it for a while. Um, oh, actually, I've gone for the wrong, after all that, I've gone for the wrong hymn book. It's a request from um, Fio, F-I-O. I'm not seeing you in the chat. Maybe you've got a different name on there. Um, let me know if you are with us. Give me a plus one if you are with us. That's the, the beauty and sound way of letting people know that you're in. Plus one, that's all it is. Um... I, the Lord of sea and sky, I have heard my people cry. All who dwell in dark and sin, my hand will save. I, who made the stars of night, I will make their darkness bright. Um, who will bear my light to them? Whom shall I send? Here I am, Lord, it is I, Lord, and so on. You know the words of the refrain, I'm sure. I am going to omit one bar of this. I hope you don't mind. I am going to omit one bar in the middle of the music. It often causes a bit of confusion, uh, confusion uh, in various congregations, whether it's in or not. I don't play it, so you'll, you'll see what I mean. Uh, Daniel Schutt, or Daniel Schutt um, has written the music to this, and it's rather good, actually. Uh, the refrain's over the page. Why do they do it on the page turn? Oh, okay, here we go. Let's see if we can let's see if we can cope without um, um, without causing too much issue. Paul plus three, yes, <laughs> I know what you mean.
It's good to see that you're all chatting away. So keep on chatting. I've got some quite long messages there. I'm not able to read all the long ones, unfortunately, without stopping and focusing on it. But please do keep chatting. It's wonderful to see um, you all chatting so uh, so nicely. Um, Anita, you've got new springs on your pedal board. Is that right? Well, uh, which made playing interesting. Oh. A couple of volunteers creeped in whilst, while hoovering with my feet. <laughs> so is the pedal board any better or, or, or worse than it was? The, the pedal board here has been fixed uh, by Viscount. They came at, um, and fixed it um, uh, the other week. And it feels really, really nice, actually. It, really, it has a really, really nice feel. It's just the right weight. I, I prefer my pedals to be fairly heavy, not overly heavy that limits, that reduces the, the risk of catching a wrong pedal note. And they feel really, really good now. Even the middle D, which was broken, essentially, has been fixed. So I, I, I'm very happy with my own pedal board. Uh, let us know, Anita, what um, is going on with your pedal board. Um, oh, okay, we've got a name here. I'm, I'm not going to be able to uh, pronounce, I don't think. Um, so... Adito Kunbo, Adito Kunbo, I, I, I'm really sorry, that's almost certainly not quite how you pronounce it. <laughs> um, I'm going to play your hymn, Let All the World in Every Corner Sing. It's in a lot of hymn books, you haven't put a hymn number, tut tut. You haven't even put, um, oh, you put any tune, <laughs> that will be interesting. Any tune to Let All the World in Every Corner Sing. We could have Morning as Broken to it. Now let's have um, the, the proper tune which is called Lookington. Uh, uh, what number was it in here? 394. Three, nine, three, nine, 394. Uh, very short um, and words by George Herbert. Two verses. Music here which we all know is by Basil Harwood and it's over before you know it. So maybe we should just make it a little longer perhaps. A little bit of something in the middle, perhaps? Don't know, we'll see. See how the mood takes us.
So that was the hymn tune Lookington. Let all the world in every corner sing. And because it was such a short hymn and the procession hadn't quite finished, the organist had to extemporize in between um, the first and second verse. It's often more effective actually to, um, to improvise in between the verses. Um, Uh, it really adds to the occasion. Oh, my next organ piece, I think, is over here somewhere. I hope it's over here. Um, yes, here it is. Good thing I've got an extra long microphone cable. So I can walk to the other end of the room and get the winner of the, um, the Poll English organ piece. An English organ piece, which actually isn't an organ piece at all. It was composed for orchestra, um, but has subsequently become extremely well known as uh, an organ piece. Um, so it's Imperial March by Elgar and has been arranged by George C. Martin. Just going to have a look at the, um, at the poll, see how we're getting on, what, what the results were. So the results of the poll, I need to lean, end poll, here we go. Show, is, is it, oh, there we go. So 46% of you wanted um, Elgar. Oh, I'm, I'm really, I'm surprised at the Frank Bridge. I love the Frank Bridge. It's, um, um, it's, it's actually a wonderful piece. Howells, third place, LG, Thalbin Waltz, ooh, second place, um, um, and 46%, Elgar, excellent. Right, um, hi boy, I'm afraid I don't not having language like that in my virtual church. So I'm gonna remove that straight away, and if you leave anything else uh, like that, um, I'm afraid we might have to block you, that's up to you. Okay. Um, uh, no, I'm not going to do Gangster's Paradise. <laughs> Even though it is a pretty good tune, uh, I'm not going to play that. So, um, off you go.
that was the Imperial March by Edward Elgar, one of the great pieces of English organ music, which was never actually written for the organ in the first place. It was written uh, for, uh, well, actually, I'm not sure what it was written for. I think it was actually just written from, uh, uh, for uh, Caracatus, Caractacus, sorry. Uh, but it says uh, here on the front of the page uh, of the book, it was performed um, at HRH, the Prince Andrew and Miss Sarah Ferguson at Westminster Abbey in, on, in July 1986. Don't think they are together anymore. <laughs> But a wonderful piece, a wonderful piece. One of my favourite organ pieces, that. Cool, right. So let's um, now go back to the, we've got loads of hymns to get through, gosh. Keep them coming in though, keep them coming in and we'll do our best uh, to get through them. Um, so who's this sending me a high quality scan from Martin. Um, the Nuden Lieben got uh, last Volten. Let's have a look at my inbox. And there's Martin. Is it, a, is it a high quality scan? It's not bad, actually. It's not a bad scan. Not bad at all. It's, um, it's landscape, which is fine. And it fits on my organ bench, organ uh, music desk extremely well. Thanks, Martin. That's a good effort. Um, looks like it's been harmonized here by JSB. You know who that is. Uh, yes. So I don't, I don't have any translation, unfortunately. Um, the Nuden Lieben Gott Last Volten und, und Hufet um, auf in um, alle Zeit, wer Gott dem alle Huch, um, Hochsen, Hochsten traut, der um, hat auf keinen um, Sand gebaut. It's the, um, it's the O with the, the umlaut, the two dots above it, which always gets me. Who is it? U or ha? If it's U, it's U, isn't it? But the how how do you pronounce um, an O with with an umlaut over it? I didn't do German at school. All the German that I've learned is sort of um, through music and having to pronounce um, you know the Bach chorales, the pa the passions, the wonderful pieces in German. That's how I've learned to, um, a, a little bit of um, I can speak German read, uh, pronounce German at a very low level. <laughs> anyway, let's have a go at this hymn, shall we? Let's find a, uh, let's find a bit of a, um, an authentic Bach plenum sound. So we'll get some, uh, a diapason chorus with, with um, um, the swell mixture is actually really big on this instrument. And let's just have the hoofed work uh, principal chorus up to the the first mixture, so the three mixtures on this organ, and on the on the on the grate or the hoofed work, we'll have the first mixture, which is the quietest, coupled with some principles from the lower division as well, to give it the richness. Okay, Martin, thank you very much for this.
Martin. I've got a feeling that I actually didn't do the repeat in the final verse. I really apologise for that and the congregation would have gone absolutely um, all over the place at that point and um, yes, so luckily um, there is a no real congregation singing with me today otherwise that would have been a little bit of a car crash. Basically guys there's a repeat and the first two lines are repeated musically um, and then the third line, third and fourth line are um, normal. The final verse forgot to do the repeat <laughs> so we actually missed we missed uh, two lines of um of text naughty boy very naughty boy indeed <laughs> let's go to the um the hymnal 1982 uh, for a request from um oh, this is the username that i always have to concentrate when i'm saying because i've so many letters in it J P B A M A. J P Barmer. That might be an easier way of saying it. <laughs> What's the meaning behind your name? What's the meaning behind it? Oh, must... there we go. Three hundred eighty-two in the in the hymnal. Three hundred eighty-two. We're actually over halfway, aren't we? It's exciting. How long have we been going for then? How long have we got left? Five and a half hours left, is that it? Gosh, that's, a, that's nothing, is it? That's just a, a couple of hymns. Brilliant, okay. Well, um, King of Glory, King of Peace, I will love thee. These are wonderful words by um, George Herbert. We know these words extremely well. Um, to a different tune, mind, but I'm happy to play this um, version here. So keep your requests coming in. Keep your requests coming in uh, on the BIS request form. Um, we're actually getting towards the end of um, requests that have come in live, as it were, and we we'll then need to go back to um, hymns that have been requested previously, for previous days, which I'm happy to do, but the chances are people who made, it, made those requests are not in the chat. So it's always more fun to have um, requests from people who are live in the chat so we can respond and have that live interaction. Tune here is called um, General Seminary. Seminar, seminary by David Charles Walker. I think Mark Barcher did a tune for this, to these words. I think it's in, um, in that red hymn book. Hmm, I think that's rather good actually. I think we had, we've played that before. The cat has just appeared. Bobby, are you going to um, nab some of that pizza again? Or are you going to walk on the keyboard? Basically, whatever you're going to do, you're going to cause trouble, aren't you? <laughs> She's purring away like, oh yes, daddy, you know me too well. King of glory, king of peace, I will love thee for J-P-B-A-M-A. -A. J-P for John Perry, uh, first middle name. That's easy, isn't it? J-P Barmer. Hello. I can't really play the hymn like this, look.
so Bobby did get involved in that one. That was her, that wasn't me. That wasn't me just completely going off on a tangent and adding a descant. That was Bobby adding her own descant. Um, I would say it was far from perfect, to be honest. It needs a bit of work um, in, in the harmonic progression there, Bobby, I think. <laughs> Let's just pause for a moment and think about where the harmony is going. <laughs> Anyway, uh, thank you very much, um, um, uh, JP Barmer, for requesting that. JP Barmer, that's easier to say, isn't it, than JP B A M A? JP Barmer, easy. Right. Um, where are we going to go to next then? Where should we go next? Let's have a look at my sheet. So what I'm going to do now is actually remove uh, the filter, which e bibs is e bibs with us. Sing we the king. Oh yes, okay. I'll play this one. I had a request from e bibs who um, this, I don't, I'm not quite sure how this has happened, but I've ended up with it printed off here. It is sing we the king who is coming to reign. Uh, glory to Jesus, the Lamb that was slain. Life and salvation his empire shall bring. Joy to the nations when Jesus is king. I've got a little bit of handwriting here, I think from Caroline, saying, note, they like it quite rapid. Exclamation mark, exclamation mark, exclamation mark, exclamation mark. So, we'll see what we can do. It's in 3-4, so I think if we have a maybe a gentle one on the bar, perhaps. See how we get on with that. So if it's too slow, let me know and I'll just speed it up.
<laughs> Greg, I don't know whether you're being serious or not, but you said that's almost fast enough. <laughs> Does it get faster than that? Really? Could do. I mean, it's... Yes, I suppose it could do. I mean, you'd have to get your, your mouth around those words, but it could go faster than that. I think quite easily, couldn't it? Interesting. Um, oh, look, I had a, an awesome request from Dark Magic Nine, our Rippon um, X chorister. He wants to have one of the great hymns here, uh, here in England and did those feet in ancient time walk upon England's mountains green and was the holy lamb of God on England's pleasant pastures seen and did the countenance divine shine forth upon our clouded hills and was Jerusalem builders here among those dark satanic mills now I have an arrangement of this and I wonder whether I should play it I've not played it before um Let's have a look. It's quite tricky, this arrangement, which is why I'm a little bit hesitant to sort of do it. But, oh well, as they say, you only live once. So let's have a go at this arrangement um, of this. Um, this is actually sort of a, a more orchestral arrangement of this um, well-known piece. So if it doesn't go quite to plan, just don't say anything. <laughs> Here we go. Yes, that's a rather different arrangement than you um, would have probably ever heard before. Lots of uh, notes and lots of interest in the organ parts. You actually really need the choir or a congregation to sing the tune uh, because the organ part doesn't really play the tune at all. It just has all this sort of, uh, it's all over the place basically. And um, it would help if the, if the page turned, one of the pages didn't turn and I got a little bit lost. <laughs> one of the page turns. Uh, but it's the first time that I've ever played that, so it's, um, yeah, those rapid bits were a little bit um, more rapid than I was expecting. 
<laughs> this is an arrangement, incidentally, by um, a young chap called Joseph Wicks, who was organ scholar at St John's, Cambridge. Um, and they recorded it, and it actually sounds, um, it actually sounds really rather exciting. Um, so it's, it's well worth checking out, but it does need looking at. Um, there's also quite a lot of, so there's a harp um, there where he spread, spread the chord. Um, like that, and actually the harmony is a bit different. The, the bass line, which we know so well from the, the normal organ arrangement, is a bit different in this. Uh, so some of the chords, uh, the inversions of the chords have just changed, you know, from second, uh, um, from, sorry, from a root position to a second inversion in here, which is interesting. Um, so yeah, it's up, there we go. So that, that's what that piece, what that arrangement sounds like. <laughs> Hard work, hard work. Um, okay, we had, uh, during that, we just had a few more requests come flying in. Um, so I'm very happy to keep going. Well, we need to keep going. We've got another another five or so hours to go, haven't we? Oh, Jesus, I have promised has come in from Valerie. Um, Valerie Fargo, 420. This is a busy hymn as well. Lots of notes in this. Wolvercoat by William Ferguson. I remember being a young, younger organist, younger, and struggling with this hymn, um, working out the fingering, and it's definitely one that will cause issues to some, um, to some, you know, amateur organists. I, I do remember struggling with this hymn myself. So, if this is one of those sorts of hymns that you struggle with, uh, I, I, I sympathise. Actually, interestingly, it's a question uh, over to you: Which hymns, the, the people who are, are uh, organists in the chat? Which hymns do you struggle with? Which ones do you find um, challenging? Um, be very interesting to know which hymns you struggle with. This is one of the ones I um, used to struggle with um, and hopefully don't anymore, but we'll, we'll see if I do or not. Jesus, I have promised to serve thee to the end, requested by Valerie Fargo.
and about eight bars worth of extemporization at the end, maybe four bars ex uh, of extemporization at the end, just to mask the fact that for some reason I added a D sharp into the final perfect cadence, which is very unusual. So um, you, you, you would have had no idea because I extemporized and just made it sound intentional, like the music had to flow on. That's the thing about when, when, when doing music, when playing music live, um, you know, these hymns or playing organ music, whatever you do, if something goes wrong, you have to make it sound intentional. Make it sound like you really, really meant it. <laughs> that's, the, that's the art of playing live, hiding, that's the art of hiding all of your, um, your bomb notes, basically. Make it sound like you meant to do it. And then do it again. So a, a, a trick in, in, in improv, in improvisation, is if, if you do something really obscure, like if you add a note, um, which just doesn't fit in the harmony, do it again. So it makes it sound like in, it, it was intentional. Um, Rejoice the Lord is King is up next. David Beckman has requested this from the, the hymnal 1982, which is over on this side, and it's uh, number 481. 481. Has this got the twiddly bits in? The hand Handel's own twiddly bits. I seem to remember it. Yes, it has a few of them in. It does. It does indeed. Excellent. Rejoice the Lord as King. Your Lord and King adore. Mortals give thanks and sing and triumph evermore. Lift up your heart. Lift up your voice. Rejoice again. I say rejoice. Four verses, including the twiddles. <laughs>
Uh, my trumpet on the choir just seemed really quiet. I thought it was louder than that. It was one of the verses where, where I went for the twiddly bits in the middle. Um, I couldn't hear it. That was unusually quiet for the trumpets down there. Interesting. Thank you very much, David. Um, th and thank you for requesting it. <laughs> um, actually, it's very different to what I'm used to. Actually, it's, it's written out in a very different way. Um, to this, the, the, the final twiddle, you know, the bit, um, lift up your, lift up your voice. In the NEH it goes, uh, but in here, lift up your head. And then it goes, if you the difference, as opposed to, I don't know why um, it was changed in the NEH. Um, I, I guess this one's correct because this one has all of the extra little bits that Handel wrote. That's really interesting to um, to see that and to to be able to incorporate them. Are you having, are you all having a good time? We've had um, gosh, I don't know how many hymns we've had now, but we are over halfway. You've got five hours to go. Um, I hope you're all enjoying yourself. How many are we? 155. Um, another hour to go, and then it's um, virtual church time. So I think we'll have. Our, our, our usual virtual church crowd at six o'clock. Although a lot of people, a lot of a lot of names in the chat I recognise now, but there's a few I don't recognise. Um, um, why has uh, Zayad Ali Hassan had lots of messages deleted? I hope you're being appropriate. Um, okay, All right. There's been quite a few deleted messages. Well, luckily we've got. Um, Caroline on hand with her spanner to make sure everyone's behaving themselves. Um, oh, we need to stay in, in that hymn book. Um, <laughs> Paul, Paul Larson has requested a hymn called Chill Out, My Soul. <laughs> Is that a typo, Paul? That's six, let's, let's see, 659. 659, well, it's not even, uh, not even the right not even the right hymn number. Uh, it's not, it's definitely not Woodlands. Can you try it, Paul Eastley Woodlands? I don't know what you're uh, asking for there. Um, is it the wrong hymn number? Uh, hymnal uh, 567, uh, request from Bobby. Um, uh, Thine arm, O Lord, in days of old was strong to heal and save. It triumphed over dis uh, disease and death, over darkness and the grave. To thee they went, the blind, the deaf, um, uh, the pal side, and the lame, uh, the leaper uh, set apart and shunned, the sick with f um, fevered frame. Gosh, they're, they're a bit of a that's a bit of a mouthful, isn't it? All of those words. Um, music is called St Matthew, and it's been requested by Bobby. Keep the requests coming in. We're going, we are going to go back to um, we're going to back, work back through the work through the backlog um, shortly. So keep them coming in.
fantastic, fantastic. Um, just a really um, wonderful music, good tune with a um, modulation halfway through to the um, um, harmonic minor. Uh, sorry, sorry, to the relative minor. Right, here we go. We're going to go into the, I'm not, we haven't used this hymn book yet. Is this the Evangelical Lutheran Worship hymn book? And it's a request from Ruthie. Ruthie, are you with us? Ruthie, 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 give us a shout. Eric Eagle is actually, uh, Eggline, sorry, is actually minus one off to actual church. Um, are you playing or are you just going to um, be in the congregation? Um, I'll be here when you get back home, so feel free to tune in when you get back. <laughs> right, Ruthie, you've asked for a mighty fortress is our God. A sword and shield victorious. He breaks the cruel oppressor's rod and wins salvation glorious. The old evil foe sworn to work us woe. With dread craft and might, he arms himself to fight. On earth he has no equal. Um, Ein Fester Berg. Words are by um, uh, Martin Luther, as are, as are, the words are by uh, Martin Luther, as is the music, is what I was trying to say. Um, and, uh, the rhythm is not necessarily what I'm used to, so we'll see what the, um, what the rhythm is like. I'm going to change the organ shortly, guys. I'm going to, I think we'll zoom over to Doodle Lounge, where there's a very, very um, nice symphonic organ with lots of colours on it. It'll be, it'll be nice just to um, have a little bit of variety, so perhaps in a moment um, we'll change the organ. Uh, whilst the organ is loading, I might have a quick comfort break.
can't understand the rhythm of that. So I don't know how, is that, is that rhythm correct, Boothie? That, that, that I played it exactly as it's printed. I was just not sure whether that's how I'm supposed to play it, because this didn't feel like I was doing it right. If I go over the page by one, let me play you, I'll play you a, a verse of this version. Listen to this version. That one just feels like it's um, a little bit less fraught, perhaps. What are you saying in the chat? Um, which version? <laughs> James ended up, <laughs> ended up quite liking it. Uh, yeah, Keith, well, that's what I thought. It would be quite difficult to sing to. Um, less vitality from um, our, uh, our Frederick. Uh, yeah, so I... I must admit, I personally prefer the, the more straight uh, version. I think it'd be easier to, easier to sing. Actually, there's a bit more, I don't know, that one, the, the, the rhythmical version just felt like there's a lot going on. And I don't know whether the congregation would be able to keep up with what's going on there in terms of the rhythm. But I guess if you're, if you're trained to do it, if you're used to doing it, then it'd be a, a, a very straightforward. <laughs> Right, I think we, what, what I'm going to do at this point, it's five o'clock, is I'm actually going to click a few buttons and we're going to risk loading up a new organ um, just so we have a bit more um, variety. We're going to take us, we're going to hop on a plane from the Netherlands, beautiful Netherlands, beautiful Rotterdam, uh, over to Luxembourg uh, into a church called St. Martin's Church and it's in Doodle in Luxembourg. In this church is a rather large four manual um, organ, I think, which has been um, messed around with by quite a few people. So it's got lots of different styles of, uh, of organ in it. It's very Germanic, uh, it can be very French. The reeds are very, very French. Um, but yet it has things like a tuba and lots of diapasons on it. So it's good for English music. Lots of strings, lots of mixtures, lots of mutations, lots of clarinets and um, solo stops like that. So it's a very, very um, diverse and capable organ of, uh, of a lot of repertoire. However, the only downside of it is, is because it's uh, quite large, it doesn't fit on this particular organ. So there are some stops which we're not going to have access to unless I click around with a mouse, which is not ideal, is it? One of the, one of the reasons of getting a newer, bigger organ is so we can actually have um, large organs like this one um, loaded with physical stops and I can just easily pull out the stops without having to um, look at the screen longingly wishing that I had a stop for that beautiful gamba or something but no it, it would be right there okay so whilst that organ is loading up I'm just going to quickly pop um, over to the boys room and I will um, be very quick, very quick, and we will, what hymn shall we go into? Um, there's a wonderful, David, I'm gonna play your hymn here. Um, um, he who would a valiant be, the new English hymnal. David, I'm gonna make a deal with you. I'm gonna pop to Baloo. Can you please give me a, a number? You haven't put a number in the request form. A number in NEH, please, that will be really useful. It won't take you long to find it. Um, when you've done that, 
I'll be back and I'll play He Who Would Valiant Be. Right, I'm back. <laughs> Good. So, have you given me um, 372? Yes, Mary, it is, isn't it? 372. I recognise that number as he who would valiant be. Let's go straight to it. It's called Monk's Gate. And let's fire up um, um, Noel Rawson's last verse. See what he's done with it. Not played much Noel Rawson today, so he's feeling left out. Oh, where has it gone? I've lost it. I've, I've, I can't even find the um, book. Right, not there. Not there. Not on there. Not here. Where in the earth has it gone? Guys, I've actually lost it. Is it on the pedal board or fallen off? Oh. In, it was visit, right in plain sight, <laughs> uh, at Monk's Gate, and oh, after all of that effort, I've actually, do you know what I've gone and done? I've actually loaded up the same organ again, and we'll, I'll have to chat with you. I was trying to take us to Rotterdam, uh, to Doodle Lounge, and I've taken us on the airplane, and we've landed back in the Netherlands, and we've gone back to Rotterdam. Back on the plane if you want, back on, back on. <laughs> <laughs> um, Monk's Gate, there it is. So this is actually um, the organ that we're, we're going to fire up now is my favourite uh, organ in the Hamptwerk fleet. 
um, the only concern and worry that I have with it is it's just not available in surround sound, so it's only available in stereo, which just makes it a fraction less immersive in here. Um, I don't know whether it makes a difference over the internet to you, but certainly in here it's just it's just not quite as immersive as I, I might like. However, when I'm uh, recording, particularly recording um, and getting all the audio together, I can then add some um, special BIS effects to it to make it sound uh, very, very exciting. And once I've done that, it is um, by far one of the most thrilling um, organs that is available on the, uh, on the market. So, are you all enjoying yourselves? Please do let me know whether you're enjoying yourselves. Um, uh, those people who have, who have literally just clicked on the video, I can see the numbers going up and down all the time, which is um, worrying and exciting at the same time. If you've just clicked on um, and I'm not playing, it's because we're actually just on the airplane now going from one organ over to another organ. <laughs> we're going from Rotterdam to Doodlange uh, to another four manual instrument which as I was saying earlier, has a lot of colors, a lot of flutes, a lot of diapasons, a lot of strings, gosh, at eight, 16, eight, four, and even two foot um, at strings, mutations, um, small reeds like oboes, clarinets, big reeds. It, it basically does everything. It's even got a big tuba and um, on shamard reeds. So it has tubas and on shamards. So organs don't really come much better than this. So we're just um, almost, actually we're pretty much landed now um, in, in wherever the nearest airport is. And we're just um, hopping on the bus to everyone. Pile on the bus, it's a big bus, lots of space. Um, and then we'll be zooming up the motorway uh, to St. Martin's. The virgins will be there to let us in and the organ will be fired up very shortly. In fact, the bellows, the bellows look like they're filling up full of air now. <laughs> um, Let's have a look at the chat. Who have we got in the chat? Give me, give me a plus one if you're still with me and I can see who's in. Uh, Haynes Hobbies, are you, are you, I think you, um, are you a new person? Uh, yes, no, I know. That's exactly why we, we will be leaving, finishing just before the 12 hour mark because it will, the video will get lost. So I need to make sure that we do finish just before 12 hours. Don't, please don't feel shortchanged. It's because the video will just, be deleted, I think, by you, well, or you, by YouTube, and will be invisible. So we need to, we need to finish at about eleven hours fifty-five. David Paul, um, favorite way to spend a Sunday afternoon? Well, that's very, very kind. This is my favorite thing to do on a Sunday afternoon: playing the organ um, for you guys. It's really wonderful. Oh, Caroline just put a, a new thing, a poll on. So get the vote, votes in. Which trumpet or tuba tune would you like me to play at six o'clock? That's the um, basically the pre-service music for virtual Evensong, isn't it? We normally start VC at um, six. So am I gonna play the Norman Cocker tuba tune, the C.S. Lang tuba tune, uh, John Stanley's Trumpet Voluntary, or Henry Purcell's Trumpet Tune? The, com the, the choice is completely up to you. Um, thank you for saying uh, plus one. It's good to, good to see so many people in with us and good actually to see lots of names that I don't recognize. I mean, Caroline watches the chat far more closely than I do uh, during VCs and live um, things. So it's, I, there was some names there that I don't recognize. Oh, a bit more pizza just arrived. Thank you very much. <laughs> um, okay, well, we are, I think we're all actually, uh, take your seats in virtual um, uh, doodle launch. We are all in now. I'm set up the organ console. And once you're seated, we'll crack on. <laughs> Get comfy. There's plenty of space up in the organ loft with me. And we'll have he who would a valiant be against all disaster. I just need to switch gear now and um, go into a different organ mode. Let's see what happens. Oh, are we loaded up? I think so, yes. Okay, here we go.
Now the reason that the organ is quite low is because, remember earlier on we are having just some clipping issues of Rotterdam, I've had to turn the organ right down. Now um, we are at the opposite, so let, let's just do a couple of sound tests together, okay? So when, when, I, go to, when I go and record to the, the cathedral organs, um, it's a really thrilling experience hearing these cathedral organs. Uh, in a closed cathedral at night, you know, there's me and the organist in, and hearing the organ um, played just, you know, so loudly, it's so, so exciting. One of the things I asked the organist to do, the very first things I asked them to do, is a, is a sound test. And what's the best way to test the levels on when recording a, a, an instrument like an organ, is simply to ask the organist to play as loudly as possible. Okay, um, so what I did in St Edmundsbury last week is I asked Richard Cook to play a big C major chord on full organ with all the octaves for 10 seconds. So full, full organ, as loud as it will go, for 10 seconds. So I can just tweak the levels and make sure that there's no danger of the audio clipping. Let's do that together. So I'm going to just go back to the organ screen and play a chord quite loudly and see if we can get those levels. You might just need to turn turn your volume down whilst I'm doing this. Well, you might not. You want to turn them up to test your systems. It's up to you. But I've warned you, this might get a bit loud. This might get a bit rowdy. So I've got the tubers on and the chamards on, and uh, let's have some octaves as well. So this is, this is a live sound test. This is what happens. Right, so there should be no danger now of everyone, anyone saying that it's too loud. So people are saying louder, louder, louder. <laughs> well, it won't go louder than that now without it, without it clipping. So that was that was all, that was full organ with the um, tubers and shamards, which actually in reality it won't be that loud anyway. So we should be we're now at the limit basically. So it should be a bit better. So that was well done. That was a live sound test. Thank you for joining me on that. <laughs> right, where's this bit of paper gone? Um, we've got a, a, some printouts here. Um, Caroline's just disappeared. I'll have to ask her what they are. <laughs> um, right, where are we going to go next then? Josh Wilson, Josh Wilson, uh, by any chance, are you in with us? Because um, I'm gonna play your request that you, you made a few days ago, actually. It's from the Evangelical Lutheran Worship book hymn book and um, it is it's called O Day, F o, o Day Full of Grace number 627 okay oh, I need to know what this be told what these um, bits of paper are for here I've, I've lost who they're who they're for okay. let me know in a second yeah. 267 O Day Full of Grace that now we see appearing on uh, on earth's horizon Bring light from our God that we may uh, be abundant in joy this season. God, shine for us now in this dark place. Your name on our hearts um, uh, emblazon. Okay, Josh, here we go.
I love it how you're complaining when it's too quiet. <laughs> I, think that, I, mean, I think that's genuinely hilarious because uh, Rotterdam is quite in your face. And I, I, I guess there's a bit of a, um, a sense of, you know, when um, you've been hearing something at a volume for a, a period of time and you just get used to it. Like when you get into a car and you've, the radio comes on at the previous volume and it's so loud, you know, jump out of your skin. Actually, the volume for this is, it, it, it's perfectly normal. I think, <laughs> I don't know whether my voice is too loud. Perhaps I could turn my voice down. If I turn my voice down like this, and then you guys can all turn up your systems um, to make the, the balance better. This organ actually is, it, it goes very quiet. It does go quiet. If it's an issue, then we'll have to hop on the plane <laughs> and go somewhere else. Look, face, let's face it, we've got loads of organs, loads of organs that we can choose from, haven't we? So there's, there's, no, there's no shortage. We've got a plane, you know, it's full of fuel, and we can just hop on the plane and go wherever, wherever we like, basically. Although I haven't got any American organs yet. We need to fix that. <laughs> uh, all has one, two, three, yes, more reads, please. <laughs> okay, well, let's, um, let's go on. Let's keep going to, through these, um, uh, these, these wonderful requests that you're uh, bringing in. So diligently, thank you very much. Um, Julian, let's go, and someone called Abbots Lee has requested Abbots Lee. Okay, hmm. <laughs> well, I don't know who, 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 who's requested Abbots Lee? Sing we of the Blessed Mother. Come on, fess up. Who's, who's requested this one and put in the name of the hymn tune into the name of, of your own name? <laughs> uh, 185. We'll definitely have this one. This is a good, this is a very good tune. Sing we of the Blessed Mother, who received the angel's word, uh, word uh, and obedience to his summons, uh, bore in love the infant Lord. Sing we of the joys of Mary, at whose breast that child was fed, who is the Son of God eternal and the everlasting bread. Got some more pizza here. Okay. Well... Adjust your volume a little bit. I think it's okay in here. You, you tweak your volume.
you can't now be saying that, that was too quiet because I could see the levels, they were pretty much in the red. <laughs> I think the thing is, um, this organ does, because it's so big, um, it, it takes a huge journey from very quiet to very loud. And I think that's, in a real church, don't forget that if I, if I was just playing on, you know, some of the, the choir flutes, um, the great flutes and the, maybe the swell flutes as well, after just, you know, imagine sitting in a cathedral and the organist going absolutely full pelt, like, just like that, with a 32 foot read on. And oh, we're getting really excited. You know, you can feel it through you, feel it through the floor, feel it coming at you through the air. And then all of a sudden, the next hymn, starts very quietly, you'd be like, oh, that's really quiet. I can, really, can barely hear that. I think that's what's going on. I think there's a, there's a sense of you getting used to it being quite loud. Um, and then, but anyway, how, how, is that any better? Is that better or, or I really want you to be able to feel this music. That's so important to me. Let me know. Uh, good, right. Gosh, we've got ugh, an, an infinite amount of requests. This is just so, so wonderful. I'm so grateful um, for you sending all of these requests in. Um, wh what was that one? It was um, Abbott Slade. Oh, did the person come forward who, who requested it? Because um, I, I, I don't know who requested that hymn. <laughs> now, the next hymn is one of those sorts of moments where you, you, you will say, um, can you turn this up, dear? Well... I might not have to turn this one up because it is a quiet one. It's just as I am without one plea. Number 308 in common praise, I think. And I hope yes, it is. Well done. Julian, um, I'm not sure which Julian. Um, there's a few Julians in our, um, in our congregation. Julian has asked for just as I am without one plea uh, to the tune uh, Saffron Walden, the usual tune. And I will play this on a slightly quieter registration because um, it is such a beautiful, um, oops, a beautiful um, hymn. So let's just have a look at, what should we try? Let's just try the um, mutations on the choir. Uh, so a bit of a cornet sound. We'll have, the, um, like I said earlier, the, the flutes on the other two manuals. So here we go, this is Just As I Am Without One Plea.
I'm just, I was just reading the, um, the chat as I was playing that, and I can just see where you're all, um, where you all are. We've got, we got um, uh, Washington, um, the Wirral, up in the um, northwest of England. Um, all the people tuned out into and Tobago, uh, Devon, Loughborough, Pennsylvania, not uh, Northamptonshire, uh, Buffalo. Look at all this, Columba, Columbus, um, um, North Andover, Virginia Beach, oh, all these places, Munich, Munich. Um, oh, it's just wonderful. It's so wonderful to see people from all over the world uh, joining in. And can it be that I should gain an, in, an interest in the Saviour's blood? Died he for me who caused his pain? For me, um, uh, who him, for me who him to death pursued? Amazing love, how can it be that thou, my God, shouldst die for me? Uh, this has come in from uh, Marty M. Another request uh, from, uh, from Marty. So, you know, your requests are getting... Um, you, you, they're certainly coming in thick, uh, thick and fast, so keep them coming in, and I'll do my very best to work my way through them all um, today. We've got a few hours left, haven't we? We've got a couple of hours left, I think. <laughs> um, so, and can it be that I should gain? I'm not going to play this one quite so rapidly as we sometimes do. I'm going to just take the edge off it a fraction. I think actually this one. You quite like it when I play this one a bit slower than normal. Let's see. If you say faster, faster in the chat, <laughs> we'll go faster. Slower, slower, and we'll slow down. I'll keep an eye out.
Dark Magic, or Archie, that was, um, and can it be that I should gain an interest in the Saviour's blood? How was the volume? How was the volume? We've got about um, 10 minutes left until we um, have, our, have our next organ piece. This is going to be an English piece. It looks like, it looks like the uh, Norman Cocker is in the lead, which is just as well, because in Doodle Lounge there is a, as you know, there is a rather epic tuba. And um, I, was, I was wanting to load up this organ um, for this English section because uh, this is, I think, my favourite tuba on, uh, out of all the organs that we have in the fleet. So it would be rather good to play um, the Cocker tuba tune on this tuba. So that was a request from Andrew Morrison. Andrew, hello. Um, very good to have you with us. Um, thank you very much for your request. Um, David Poole has asked for a piece of Bach. Wacket auf, ruft uns die Stimme. Well, we might just have that, because I do love it. Um, and this time next week will be in Advent. And I wonder whether I might make you wait until next week, so we'll definitely have it next week. David, I'll think about that. I'll think about it, because we're not quite in Advent yet. Uh, yet. Um, Ships Bells has apparently emailed me a high quality uh, copy of something which I don't seem to have in my inbox, so I can't play that. <laughs> can't play that. Um, the, the, the trick is, um, Ships Bells, if you, if you say there is um, um, something in my inbox, um, make sure you send it. You've, you've put, actually, interestingly, you've put, you've put a hymn number there. What hymn book? Did, did, you, mean to, did you mean to write a hymn, uh, a hymn book there? If you did, put it in the chat, and we'll see if we can uh, find the hymn book very quickly. Um, have we got King Loudrup's, um, what do you call it, one? Are, they all, are the pages all in order? Uh, I think so. We'll just have a look, that would be a nightmare if they're not. I'm, I'm going to have to just take, whip them off. Oh, God. We'll have this organ piece, and then we will have the winner of the next poll, which um, looks at the minute to be... Um, a, a, a close call. Well, okay. Okay, interesting. Uh, okay, interesting. Right, I bind unto myself today the strong name of the Trinity by invocation of the same, the three in one and one in three. Um, here we go. This is for King, uh, for King Laudrup, who requested this a few days ago, actually. Um, Ship's Bells, if you're still with us, I need to know what hymn book you're, uh, you mean. In Christ there is no East or West. I'm sh that is in a hymn book, I know, because I've played it before. Uh, so if you just let me know where I can find it, then we'll have it. Anyway, before we get to that, let's have this, um, this wonderful tune uh, called, the tune is called St. Patrick. And Jerry, if you are with us, I know you are having a family day today. Um, um, you'll enjoy this.
volume okay? That was quite loud actually. It's amazing, you know, when, when this, with this organ, if you get the swell boxes open, it really growls. It really, really does growl. But then when the boxes are closed, and it's all rather quiet, actually it's very hush hush. It's almost like when you open the swell boxes and open the shutters, all the bats sort of fly out and it's whoa, really quite exciting. But you need to make sure the boxes are open. And that, for organs like this, this uh, SWS button is very useful because what it does is it means I can control both the choir and the swell uh, divisions, which are both enclosed using one pedal. So I can make sure that they're both open. We've got time for one more hymn before um, our next organ piece. Um, so if you haven't voted for, your, for the organ, next organ piece yet, please do vote. You can only vote once, obviously. Um, but if you haven't voted, I suggest getting in a vote. So before we get there, uh, to the, the next organ piece, we'll have a hark the glad sound, the saviour comes, the saviour promised long. Let every heart prepare a throne and every voice a song. This is a request from Ruthie. <clears throat> Right, well, it looks like we have a winner for the next organ piece. Um, Caroline is about to... Um, Roger, you need to click vote. You can't just stay personal. <laughs> um, let's have a look. 20... Oh, it was close, wasn't it? It was close. Uh, nearly two, 160 votes, which is interesting because we had over 200 people watching. So there's some people who didn't, some people who didn't vote for some reason. Um, it was there a late search for the Stanley? Oh wow, it was actually quite close, wasn't it? 29%, 27%, 24%. Um, well. They all love a trumpet tuba tune in virtual chat. Yeah, well, so does Hugo have a look at me. He's come, he's come in, come in to have a, have a bit of a, a go with the tuba. 
We're going to have a go at the tuba, mister. I've not seen you all day. I've really missed you. I've really missed you. Just, do you remember me? <laughs> I've been sat here all day. Here we go. We need to play this tuba tune. <laughs> yes, are you excited about that one? Right, so where's that tuba? I think it's that one. It says trumpet on this on tube this tube. organ. Oh, everyone's oh, here, look. Well, tuba. look, there's bits of pizza, that's why she's come. <laughs> I'll take them. Can you take them away? She might like crisps as well. Well, she does like crisps, you know what she's like. Dried apricots. She likes those as well. Does she? Well, she likes everything, our Bobby. Right, so, tuba tune by Norman Cocker. Um, uh, oh, with, with, uh, with Bobby on the organ console. I don't think Bobby will um, behave herself. I think she's just got, she's got, a, have you fed her for lunch? Maybe she wants a bit of lunch. Bobby, do you want some biscuits? Come on. Do you want some biscuits, Bobby? That's the key word in this house. They say the B word, biscuits, and they, they flock. They know what that word means. Right, so what have we got, uh, registration wise? So we've got the tuba, that's all set to go. Um, uh, we got some a 16 foot on the swell, that's fine. We'll have the mixture on the swell for good measure. Um, it's not going to be an entirely authentic um, registration, but let, well, let's just see what happens, okay? Cool, so Norman Cocker's tuba tune. Wish me luck.
There we go. That was the Tuba Tune by uh, Norman Cocker, written originally for the Tuba of Manchester Cathedral in the UK. Um, rather fun, isn't it? It's very, I think it's the best Tuba Tune in the repertoire. I think it is. I think it is. I think it's a wonderful piece, that. Wonderful piece. Certainly keeps the organist on their toes with those infamous um, harmonies in the middle section. I have a question for you. Yes? From Ian Garden. Oh, yeah. Do you play Pian by Percy Whitlock? Um, I do, but I'm not, uh, not without having a little look, look at it beforehand. That's fine. So I've put the poll on for the next French lot. Yes, indeed. Several folks in the chat said, yep. play them all, play them well. all. And I said, I'm sure we could twist your arm with appropriate sponsorship. Exactly, yes. <laughs> The whole one of the one of the reasons for doing this organ marathon is to raise a little bit of um, some funds um, for the organ and just for the hardware and also to live. We need to live. Um, so if you're willing to sponsor those organ pieces, then yeah, it's the same with the voluntaries as well. If you want to hear all the voluntaries, then and all the other pieces of Bach that I didn't play, let me know and uh, sponsor them. And I'll, I'll play them for you. Because I am today a performing monkey. <laughs> Bobby Maguire. Let's have a piece by uh, a request from Bobby, because our Bobby was here a, a moment ago. Let's go into the hymnal 1982 and let's go to number 324. 324. For oh, the wonderful um, Let All Mortal Flesh Keep Silence. Um, I wonder, what, is this the harmony that I know? I'm not sure it is. Um, I'm actually just going to open the NEH book as well because the harmony in the Green Hymn book, my, the English hymnal, is is just phenomenally good. It's, it's Vaughan Williams. It's rock solid harmony, basically. Ooh. Hugo would like to show the congregation his turtle. Why? Because it's his favourite toy. That's Hugo's favourite toy. Turtle, Merkel the turtle. It sort of, you can't, it crawls, but I can't do it on the organ, unfortunately. He loves it. His favourite toy. Right. And with that information, <laughs> let all mortal flesh keep silence, and with fear and trembling, sand, uh, trembling stand. Just like that turtle, you can hear it trembling around. <laughs> It's all gone. It's all gone wrong in here. It's all gone. It's all gone to all gone to carnage. <laughs> it's like that video. We've seen that viral video on YouTube of that um, uh, correspondent over in down in the Middle East, I think, and his on, on the BBC and his two children um, come in. <laughs> One comes in in his buggy uh, really quickly, and then his wife comes running in to grab them, and then t ducks down like that as if the camera can't quite see her. But alas. The, she is in full display. It's a little bit like that. I've got Hugo sort of running in, making all sorts of noise. <laughs> he loves it in here. So do I. This is the place to be. Anyway, uh, Bobby, Bobby, waiting for Let All Mortal Flesh Keep Silence and with fear and trembling stand.
Now, you can't complain that the organ was too quiet there, surely you can't complain. Um, that was tuba and shamard all at the same time in the right hand. Uh, Hugo just banged his head on the door. <laughs> I wish you could see what I could see. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> Basically, we have um, over on that side of the room, which I've never seen before, there are two sliding uh, doors. You know, this is an 80s house. So if you imagine an, Engl an English 1980s house, which is why we've, got the, we've still got the original 80s carpet down there. It's going soon, don't worry. But we also have these sliding doors with um, sort of uh, patterned glass, you know, so it, it's, um, it's not see, it is see-through, but do you know what I mean by a sort of, um, I don't know what, it's like sort of uh, not straight, basically. Anyway, Hugo was uh, right up against the glass like that. And every time he moved, it just distorted his face. He was grinning away. It was just the funniest little sight I've seen in a very long time. And this reminds me of why, how much I love being a father. <laughs> right, hope that was okay for you, Bobby. <laughs> Great hymn choice there. Great hymn choice. You're, no, Bobby, you are welcome. I just saw, by the way, a couple of um, donations um, um, come in on PayPal. All I see is um, you have received a donation on PayPal. I don't see how much or I don't see who it's from. If, uh, without going into the app, if you've made a request or if you have sponsored um, one of the organ pieces uh, and you've paid, paid the sponsor via PayPal, just let me know in the chat um, and then we will do something about it. Otherwise, I won't, I won't see it, unfortunately. Unless you want to leave a donation in the chat and I will see it because it highlights you know, it comes up as a really bright colour, like Greg, who was just given $20. Um, Greg, no, you are amazing for donating, so thank you very much. Thank you. Um, I think frosted here, yeah, but they're not, it's not frosted. It's, it's sort of, um, I can't show you because the cameras are fixed, but it's, it's sort of like distorted glass. It's sort of, it has, uh, come on, someone will help me out. Try, and, try another word. <laughs> and Lee, Lee, thank you very much. That's, Lee, that's amazing. Yes, you've actually just given me a request in the in the in the um, form. So I'm gonna. I was about to play it anyway. I was about to play it because you're the next one after Bobby. And um, when morning gilds the sky, I'm gonna. I've gone a bit hyper. <laughs> when morning gilds the sky, that's what having um, Hugo does. It just sends you hyper. <laughs> when morning gilds the skies, number four hundred and twenty-seven. Um, this is you know watching an organist go crazy, just gradually going crazier online, live on the television. <laughs> uh, okay, when morning gilds the skies, my heart awaking cries, may Jesus Christ be praised. When evening shadows fall, this rings my curfew call, may Jesus Christ be praised. This is a, 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 a hymn which takes me back to my choristership at Chesterfield. Um, so thank you, Lee, for requesting this, and also thank you for your donation. I think it is, I think wavy glass, I think wavy is nearer to what I'm trying to describe. Um, Doug, I think that's better than frosted. Strained, I don't know what strained means, strained glass, I wouldn't know what that, what, what, what that would mean. Um, but yeah, I'm sure you know what I mean anyway. Here we go.
now this, this mysterious glass phenomenon. Well, what else have we got? We've got, um, it's not frosted, uh, patterned, it could be patterned, obscured, textured. Yeah, it could be textured. Uh, stained, I don't think it's stained because stained, would, wouldn't that mean it's normal straight um, glass, but just uh, a bit discolored so you wouldn't be able to see through it. It's not stained. You can see right through it, but it is just a little bit patterned and textured. Um, opaque, well, okay, that could, that, that could be it. Um, oh, James Palmer has also written opaque. Yes, that, that could be, that, that could be it. Smoke glass, it's, it's not, it's not smoked. Although we do have a log fire in there and there's a little bit of smoke in there last night from the, the log fire. Did that really annoying thing of, um, you know, putting, putting the um, lighters in, getting the heat up the chimney, um, then putting, putting the logs on and then the, um, the kindling. And then the smoke decided, oh, I don't want to go up the chimney, I want to come into the room. <laughs> Luckily, I only did it for about 10 seconds before, uh, before then the heat managed to get up. Do you get that? Do you ever get that, uh, experience that? Uh, it really irritates me. I, I, I'm sure it's because the chimney is full of cold air and the hot air can't get past the cold air. Obviously hot rises and cold um, doesn't. Um, but what I do is I leave the fire lighters going for about a minute in the, in the log burner itself with the door shut uh, or just a jar. So the heat goes up without any smoke, just, just pure heat to get the heat up Maybe it's just not long enough. I mean, maybe we should be doing it for two or three minutes. Um, perhaps, I don't know. Jerry, G-E-R-R-Y uh, -R -R rather than J, G. Holy God, we praise thy name from the Veritas hymnal. Well, another person who is requesting something from the Veritas, absolutely. Absolutely. Um, number 44 in here. Yeah, I thought it was. This was, this was a, a, a nice, well-known hymn. Holy God, we praise thy name. Lord of all, we bow before thee. All on earth thy scepter own. Um, all in heaven above adore thee. Endless is thy vast domain. Everlasting is thy reign. Um, Jerry, um, I assume, are you Irish, Jerry? Are you over in Ireland? Because um, this, this is an Irish hymn book. Beautiful tune this. I think a lot of you will uh, know it. The tune is called uh, Te Deum.
Do you mean like that, Jenny, just repeating the last line, or is it, is that, is, is something a bit more musically appropriate? <clears throat> yeah, um, um, our, our Frederick, I, I have tried using a hair, one of Caroline's hair dryers, actually, just holding it up there and blowing it up. The only problem is, um, the first time I did it, I didn't quite get the angle right, and the air came back down and blew all of the, <laughs> blew all of the ash all over me. So it wasn't entirely successful on that front. Um, but that's an idea, the, 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 the vacuum cleaner in reverse to blow the cold up. Hmm. I've got one of those uh, leaf blowers, which is, is, it can either suck or blow. Um, I could try the leaf blower, but of course that's just blowing cold air, isn't it? That would be utterly useless. But a hairdryer might, might do it. Ah, gosh. Nick McGuire, you've sent in a request. Hymns Ancient and Modern. Oh no, it's the infamous hymn book which could go either way, it could either be this correct hymn book or it could be another, another version of this hymn book. Number 752. Yes, well done, Nick. Um, oh, love that wilt not let me go. I west my weary, weary, weary soul in thee. I give thee back the life I owe, that in thine ocean depths its flow may richer, fuller be. Just what's whilst it's in my mind, uh, Advent is obviously um, next Sunday, and we always make a big thing of Advent Sunday here on Beauty and Sound. Uh, last year we had a, a virtual church uh, with readings given by members of the BIS community, lots of organ music, lots of hymns appropriate for Advent, obviously, and choral music and plain song. It's my intention uh, to repeat that um, next year, uh, next year, well next year, yes, but next week, uh, so. If you'd like to be involved um, with um, doing a reading um, for next week, for the, um, for the Advent Sunday, um, um, uh, well, I used to call it a carol service procession from darkness to light. It'd be quite a big virtual church. Um, so if you'd like to, um, if you'd like to um, appear in front, of the, uh, in front of the whole community, potentially thousands of people, uh, let me know and um, we'll see if we can get you involved. Need about, I don't know, 10 people at least, um, 10, 10 volunteers to do the readings and we'll also need someone to give the, um, the closing prayer at the end. So if you are um, of, um, if, you're, if you are ordained or if you're a minister um, and would like to give the closing prayer at the end and the closing, uh, the final blessing, Send me, send me uh, details, send me, get in touch on the email, um, richard.beautyandsound at gmail.com. This week I will be putting that together um, with or without the new BIS organ. I'm going to go and see it on Tuesday um, and we'll see whether it's going to be a bit delayed um, or whether it'll be on time. There is a possibility that it, it might just be a little bit late, so we might not have it in time for Advent Sunday, unfortunately. Um, but it will be very shortly afterwards. Um, it could be ready, but what it, what it might mean is they might not, they might rush it, basically. More information to follow on that um, in due course. As I say, I'm going over to see it on Tuesday uh, and I'll take my camera and um, I will do a, uh, an update video, just like I did a, few, a couple of months ago, um, to bring you guys on the journey with me. I'm really excited and I can't, it, the photos that I've seen look fantastic. They look really, really awesome. Right, Nick, should we get on? Oh, who's this? Um, um, easy, oh my gosh, it's an IHC1. That's a great name, but uh, thank you very much for your donation. Um, you've been thoroughly enjoying the music, um, and that's such a relief. Thank you very much for, uh, for that. Would it be possible to play Sing to Him in All Creation, NEH 1142 um, to the tune of St. Martin? Okay, well, I can do that. Um, you haven't put it in, in the... Um, could I ask you to put it in the in the request form, in case that goes off and I can't and I can't see it? Put it in the in the request form, and then we'll make sure we play that um, very very shortly. Let's go. Let's go on to this one. Oh, love that wilt not let me go.
if Bobby stays there, then and that's absolutely fine. <clears throat> the thing is, as you heard, she pressed some of those low notes as she was jumping up, which is not so fine because <laughs> she was playing notes which weren't in the harmony. Bobby, I've told you before, if you're going to play notes, play notes that are in the harmony, okay? <laughs> She's licking her paws. She's pausing for thought. Um, I just saw quite a few um, requests come flying in as I was playing that um, from Richard and from Ben and uh, from Theo. And I also need to do this one for easy IHC1, um, which I'll, I'll do that now actually. So sing to him in all creation. I can't think which tune that is. I know you want a different tune. Number 142. Um, 142, let's have a look at the words. Okay. And then you want um, St. Helen. St. Helen, well, let's go to a different hymn book and find St. Helen. And then we can have them both together. Oh, no, I'm in the wrong part of the index. It's tunes, tunes is always at the, fir the front, isn't it? Tune index, here we go. Uh, St. Helen, uh, 390. Uh, let's see if it's the right, the right length, the right meter. Yes, I think it is. There's it's 878787, wonderful tune. You'll know the tune. I, I didn't know it just by the name. Um, you, you guys probably will. Um, so, sing to him in whom creation found its shape and origin. Spirit moving on the waters, troubled by the, wo uh, by the God within. Source of breath to all things breathing. Life in whom all lives begin. There are six verses here. We'll, we'll only have, um, they're quite long. Let's see how we get on, all right? We might not have all six, only because of, only because of the length of them. The tune is called um, Finian, and it's by, no, it's not. The tune is called St. Helen, of course, as I said that before, and it's by George uh, Clement Martin. Hands in the wrong order. Get the hands in the right order to get the solo on the melody. <laughs> Just try that again.
There we go. Thank you very much for requesting that. I'm just checking to see whether we received um, uh, Lee Merritt's request. Um, oh yes, so you sent a request. You are the ever living Lord, Jesus in the Prince of Peace. And you said that you emailed a high quality scan to me. Um, and I think the, the problem is we didn't receive the scan. Oh, there it is. I found it. I found it. Here it is. You are the ever living Lord. Got it now. So we can have it. Yes, Lee. I think we, I, I couldn't find it for some reason. Uh, I've got it now. Oh, okay. So the tune is by Lee Merritt <laughs> and A.M. Mason. Um, well, there you go. So you're having your own composition played um, on B.I.S. in front of um, a, quite a large number of people. So let's see how uh, we get on. What I'll do is I'll sell them out the tune. So it's obvious. Three verses. Hello, Scallywag. Well done. That's right. If you walk on the key cheeks, because the key cheeks don't make a sound. <laughs> so we've got the cornet on the grate. Let's have some, um, uh, what do you call them? Choir stops. <laughs> and some swell stops. I wish I had all of these stops, some physical stops, because there's so many stops on the actual organ that I can't access because simply I haven't got them set up on on draw stops. I just, put, I just use my mouse a little bit because there's, there's various flutes and like flute harmonique that I haven't got set up. That's very irritating. Uh, uh, um, there we go. That one that should that should work quite nicely. You are the ever living Lord. You are the Son of Righteousness. People of the world shout, Alleluia! Jesus is the Prince of Peace. So if your heart is sad or you're lonely, your prison door awaits release. And all you have to do, let the Lord come through since Jesus, Christ, Jesus is the Prince of Peace. Okay, well, here we go. Let's see, let's see how we get on with this.
Thank you very much, uh, Lee, for requesting um, your own hymn. It's actually uh, rather nice, genuinely uh, nice. Um, I really enjoyed that. Some nice uh, cycle of fifths in that. Um, very pleasant, lovely words. Um, mem memorable tune, very singable uh, in a nice key. And the, the fact that you repeat the words, um, people of the world shout, Alleluia, Jesus is the Prince of Peace. Um, numerous times um, it, throughout each verse I think is is a really ingenious idea because it uh, people like familiarity so well done hope everyone else enjoyed that as well uh, Lee where are you please do um, uh, take a bow as it were <laughs> and and um, and yeah good so I think Maureen we need to play one for Maureen I, where are you Maureen are you here with us uh, you were a short while ago, okay. You need to keep chatting so I can see, so I can see your name. Apparently I haven't played uh, your request, which you made today. I made it on the 17th. I made it on the 17th. Oh, made it on the 17th for today, I see. Oh, crumbs, well, I, that's, that's quite high up um, in the list. <laughs> right, so we'll, we'll, we will have that. Maureen, we will go into yours, which was, um, um, I've lost it now. The Lord is my shepherd, um, I shall not want. Oh, where is it? There it is, the complete Anglican, 654. Oh, that's, no, that's absolutely fine, thank you. Another hymn book, it's the same words. Um, the Lord is my shepherd, I'll not want. He makes me down to lie in pastures green. He leadeth me the quiet waters by. My soul he doth restore again, and me to walk doth make, within the paths of righteousness, even for his own name's sake. Uh, Psalm 23, um, to the tune Crimmond, as requested for by um, uh, Maureen. I remember enough, I played some of your requests, because I remember looking at your Maureen Daniel Brave Boy, I think, and that's a, that's a um, I wasn't sure how to, you know, get those words in the right order. I'm sure I've played something by you. I don't, I'm not sure how, how, how what something's gone, got modelled up there. Okay, right. Um, where are we then? Yes, yeah, so Crimmond, the Lord's my shepherd, I'll not want.
I've got a feeling that we've, we, we have already had that hymn. I can't remember. Maybe, I've, maybe I'm remembering it from last week. Something's telling me we've already had that one, but it doesn't matter at all. It's a beautiful hymn, beautiful words, and I'd happily play it again, to be honest. Um, funny enough, actually, Ben Parry has uh, asked for the same words, but a uh, different tune. Whilst we're in sort of Psalm 23 mode, let's do that, actually, shall we? Um, the Stuart Townend version of this of the same same text the lord the lord's my shepherd i'll not want um this is a well-known uh well-known uh chew in this this is doing the rounds as it were the lord's my shepherd i'll not want he makes me lie and pass your screen you know the words um garrett thank you very much uh okay well that, that's very kind thank you very much for that it's excellent um, if you want to request another hymn, put it in the in the in the form, and we'll make sure we get round to it. Um, Roger, that, Roger Nightingale, um, I think you, I just saw something saying that you've sent us an email. Can you send it to the Richard Beauty and Sound email, please, so Caroline can see it and then tell me what you've said. Otherwise, I I, I can't see it, unfortunately. Um, he's has he sent it to that email? Roger. <laughs> All right. So, guys, look. One one of your fellow listeners has sponsored, potentially sponsored, three of those f four French organ pieces. <laughs> I don't think it's anything potential about it. He has. Oh crumbs. Okay. <laughs> right. Right. Okay. It's going to be a late night. <laughs> oh yes. Yeah, so we need to finish. We need to finish at ten, don't we? So I need to stop talking. I need, I need to have a, a, some French, some up. French fancies. Yes, the Lord's my shepherd. Come on, let's crack on. Stuart Townend, focus. <laughs> it's been a long day. It's been a long day. Um, how many have you got watching? Two hundred and twenty-four people are currently putting up with me rambling on like a lunatic. <laughs> God, I don't, I don't know why, but I am very grateful that you are here. I'm very grateful indeed. It's just the best thing ever, a aside from family.
Poole, the Lord's My Shepherd, um, the Stuart Townend version there. I just saw someone in the chat, David Poole, working on your own virtual pipe organ project. Tell me more about that. Very interested indeed to know which organ you are sampling and or are you doing a composite or what. Um, Samuel Sleeth, who uh, you may know, who I don't know whether he's still in the chat or not, but if you're uh, doing a VPO of your own, um, Sam is the man to talk to about it. He's he's well into um, virtual pipe organs and does a lot of his own stuff. So hook up with him. Okay, let's go. Let me go back into the sheet to see what's just come in. Oh, 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 good one. Someone um, has asked for of the Father's heart begotten. Now this is a really excellent hymn, although it's a bit naughty to request this one because it's, it's an Advent hymn and you really should be waiting. I should really make you wait until next week for the Advent Sunday virtual church where you will have all of these corkers. Um, uh, I, you put it in common praise, but I'm not gonna play it from common praise. I'm gonna play it the proper version, the David Wilcox version um, from here. Um, if you like this particular hymn, I do also play this on the organ of St. Edmundsbury Cathedral. I must, I must say it sounds rather epic on that organ. <laughs> so here we go. We'll um, three verses. No, we'll have four verses. Uh, the final verse will be with Descant. Okay, four verses. Who, who requested it? Um, Theo, again. Some really good requests coming in, Theo. So keep them coming.
I don't think Advent Christmassy hymns come much better than that one, to be honest, particularly the final verse where the, the entire choir, S-A-T-B, are singing a descant in harmony against the tune. They come in a bar later than the actual tune. It's very, very exciting. Um, verses two and four, basically I only played one, three, five, and six, but verses two and four in this edition are scored for, is scored for uh, sopranos and altos um, with a sort of a very light accompaniment. But just for today, I just give you the loud verses. More of that sort of stuff next week at Advent Sunday, next week, virtual church. Um, you don't want to miss out on that one. It's going to be very, very exciting. Um, uh, Richard Sedding has requested um, one of my favourite hymns. We had this in Gloucester Cathedral uh, a couple of weeks ago. O Thou Who Camest From Above. The wonderful tune, of course, by Wesley. And uh, 258, I think, in here. Is it, Richard? Let's have a look. Um, yes, excellent. Good work. I always get nervous because this, this hymn book... Ancient and Modern, there are a few different variants of a hymn, hymn book called Ancient and Modern. So you need to be careful that we choose the right hymn book. You've done, everyone's done really, really well so far. Um, o thou who camest from above, the fire celestial fire to impart, kindle a flame of sacred love on the mean altar of my heart. Tune is by S.S. Wesley um, and it's called Hereford. Um, nothing more to say. It's just beautiful. This I really enjoy this. Thank you very much, Richard, for requesting a really, really nice hymn. I'm just going to have a quick nibble of some pasta, if you don't mind.
not ideal really having to um, draw stops <laughs> using the mouse. It's one of the things which just takes us, as an organist, takes me out of the immersion, you know, completely and utterly having to look at the screen and find a stop with the mouse whilst trying to keep it in time. Not ideal at all. I should also say that we actually have a very good cook in the house. Caroline has um, cooked some really, really, just very uh, wonderful, wonderfully straightforward, but gorgeous uh, pasta. Which is good to keep me going for the next, um, gosh, only just over two hours, isn't it? I think we, you know, for the next organ, the next organ slot, we have, um, um, we have a new, sort of a new organ in the fleet. And it's um, an organ based on, it's actually a, a, a combination of three different organs. Notre, Notre Dame de Metz, uh, Caen, and another organ which I've forgotten. Um, combined to replicate the organ of Saint-Ouen in Rouen in, in France. Perhaps we ought to fire that one up um, for the French session in, well, what, 45 minutes time or so. I think we ought to do that, don't you? Um, gosh, where are we up to? Where are we up to? Got so many things to, to, to play. Um, I've sort of lost where we are a little bit. Uh, oh, here we go, Stuart. Stuart has asked for Longing for Light. Hymns Ancient and Modern. Oh no, here we go back to the red one. No, drum roll, is, the, is it the right hymn number? <laughs> you should all know by now. I think I've mentioned it enough times. Yes, it is. Excellent. Stuart, thank you for choosing the right hymn book. Longing for light, we wait in darkness. Longing for truth, we turn to you. Make us your own, your holy people. Light for the world to see. Christ be our light, shine in our hearts, shine through the darkness. Christ be our light, shine in your church gathered today. Okay, so let's let, let's get some uh, nice stops on this organ. I have to use a mouse because I haven't got access to all of the stops, as you as I keep saying. Um, but it's true. Uh, there's a beautiful flute in the choir, which I haven't got access to on the physical stops. There's a, a gorgeous flute harmonique on the swell, which we've got open now. Uh, some choir stop. Some sorry, some pedal stops. There we go. Longing for light, we wait in darkness.
the clarinet on the lower division is really quiet down the um, octave. Quieter than I was expecting. But actually beautiful nonetheless. Okay, so Paul Cooney has just left a request. Lead on, O King Eternal. Let's have a look. So this is now in the hymnal, 1982. It's number 555. 555, all the fives. Lead on, O King Eternal, the day of March has come. Henceforth in fields of conquest, thy tents shall be our home. Uh, through days of preparation, thy grace which uh, thy grace has made us strong, and now, O King Eternal, we lift our battle song. Three verses of this um, particular hymn, and 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 uh, and Paul. Paul, thank you very much. Uh, thank you very much, Stuart as well. Thank you very much, um, everyone who is donating. So thank you all so much indeed. Uh, I hope that you will uh, over the coming weeks and months see the. Um, um, the fruition of your donations. <laughs> I have seen um, the fruits of your of your donations. I won't say your, your creation, but it's not your creation. I suppose it is your creation. Without without your support, we wouldn't be able to do it. So you, you've allowed me to create it. So for the fruits of his creation, <laughs> I will show you the fruits of your creation next week, and it's really really exciting. Um, okay, here we go. Good stuff. I, no, I, I played that one once before in my life, and it was during the, the previous marathon when I played the entire hymnal 1982. Um, I haven't played it since. 
or, or, or even before. Um, so it's there's a lot of good stuff in this um, in this hymn book. Lots of hymns that I've never heard of. A few hymns which I never want to hear again, frankly. Uh, <laughs> um, naming no names. Let's go into now the Evangelical Lutheran worship um, for a request from Ooh Panlo Panlomito number two hundred and two. Uh, Panlomito has requested a pretty good hymn, a banger of a hymn, a corker. I hope it's the right number. Oh, it's not looking good. It's not looking good. Oh, you've given me the wrong number. How, how has that happened? Well, luckily, it's a quite a popular hymn in a number of hymn books, so I'm going to make an, an exception for you, because it is a good hymn, but you need to make sure you give me the right hymn numbers, otherwise it gets me caught out and, wa and um, wastes time. But, um, uh, Pan Lamito has requested, Oh Lord my God, when I an awesome wonder, because it's such a good tune. Um, I know you'll like it. I like it as well. I'll, I'll find it for him or her. Um, oh Lord, where is it? Oh Lord, oh Lord, oh Lord. Oh Lord, my God. 511 in here. Hello, mister. It's really quite sweet, actually, because Hugo is making um, is making some sounds today that he's never made before. It, apparently, I don't. You probably couldn't hear that when I was talking, but he was making a he's making a sort of a sound um, of, of consonants, which is a very which is a first for Hugo. You can hear that. That's it's never done, never done that before, and it's just a small thing like that, which is just like really a proud moment, isn't it, Hugo? Are you learning to talk? Hey, you've heard me waffling on all day, haven't you? That's why. Are you going to become a waffler like your dad? Like your, like your dad? Like your dad? Like your dad? Like your dad. <laughs> oh dear. Well, I'm going to play this next hymn. It's, it's going to get rowdy in here. So if I was you, I'd take him out. <laughs> I'll, I'll, I'll just be in the next room. Don't worry, I'm not going far. Oh Lord my God, when I an awesome wonder.
It's the cat. Uh, Bobby certainly added some interesting harmonies there, more so than me towards the end. I just couldn't quite keep her off. I was just trying to push her over. <laughs> Stay on the key cheeks. But alas, she was just adamant that she was going to come onto the, um, onto the keyboard itself. This one's coming from Ben Wallace via email. Mm -hmm. um, well, I can't play it from that email, no. I don't think he put it on the list. It came in, on, it came in yesterday. Okay. Um, yeah, I've put it there for you. Thank you very much. I'll play it next. Lovely. Mmm. Um, Fiona, is that right? Fiona Reed? No, we haven't had Guide Me with our Great Redeemer yet. If you'd like to sponsor it, I'll happily play it. It's a, it's a, an absolute fantastic hymn that one. So, please do. Mm. Excuse me, I'm just finishing off my tea. I really ham, ham up the final verse in Guide Me with our Great Redeemer. Hmm. Great cooking, Caroline. Thank you very much. Right, so the next hymn, Spirit of Faith Come Down. This is from for Ben. Oh, Bobby's still there. Hello, Bobby. I thought you'd gone. Ben, are you still with us? I think you are still with us, aren't you? We're just lurking. Um, Spirit of Faith Come Down. Reveal the things of God and make us um, and make to us the Godhead known and witness with the blood. Tis thine the blood to apply and give us eyes to see, who did for every sinner die, hath surely died for me. Um, this is a Charles Wesley hymn. I'm not sure when I know it. So let's see, let's see if we know it collectively. It looks like it's, it's not a particularly rowdy hymn. So I'll use some of the um, um, more gentle, um, mu mu oh, here she comes again. More, the more gentle mutations <laughs> um, on all divisions. I wish I had these stops, you know, guys. These physical stops would just be so easier. <sighs> soon, soon. What have we got on the grid? We've got a beautiful flute. You've got two really wonderful flutes on the grate, eight foot flutes. One, uh, I've only got one set of a physical stop. Mm. Okay, here we go. Ben, if you're in, say hello. Craig, that's very kind. Absolutely brilliant. Well, thank you very much. That's, that's so kind, so generous, thank you. Here we go, spirits of faith come down.
Well, not a tune that I um, know, uh, neither do I know the words, um, even though it was um, a, a Charles Wesley hymn, not one that I know. So, uh, Ben, um, thank you. Here you are with us. Um, let's have a look. Considering the hundreds of hymns that Charles Wesley wrote, none of us... Um, exactly. Exactly. That's, that's, what, that's exactly what I just, I just said, uh, considering it's Charles Wesley. I, you know, he wrote some wonderful hymns. Um, I guess there's quite a few of them that we don't know, you know. Um, so it, it would be it would be really interesting actually to have the complete volume of Charles Wesley hymns. But thank you for for, for bringing that one to our attention. Ah. Right, so we've got about 25 minutes until um, the French organ pieces. I think we'll probably have quite a um, a few of them. <laughs> I think they've been sponsored, so that'll be fun. Um, and so where should we go next then? Let's have, um, in fact, what we, what we really ought to do, if we're going to have a French organ piece or two or three or four, depending on how many you want, we really ought to get used to the organ that we're going to use. So guys, come on, everyone be upstanding. I know you've got warm in your seats, in your pews, but follow me. Let's head out of the church. Let's head back to the airport. Um, it's not far. It's just just a little bit, um, a little not not too far in the air and in the airplane. We'll head over into France, into into uh, into Rouen, and we'll, there's a wonderful uh, Kvaikal organ there. Very famous Kvaikal organ. Some say um, this is the most famous and uh, I guess the best um, organ Kvaikal organ in the entire world. Now that's going up against Sassel Peace, Notre Dame, all these wonderful organs, Madeleine, etc., etc. Um, the organ in Saint Ouen is Saint Ouen is fabulous, fabulous indeed. And we have a luckily for us we have a, a Hauptwerk version of it, um, and it's called Aristide Number no. One, basically. So let's get used to it because I'm not used to it at all. I've only ever used it once. And that was for the organ Compline on Thursday. I was playing it for about 20 minutes beforehand just to get used to it. Um, so I'm not used to it. <laughs> it would be good to get used to it before we um, put, it, put it through its paces um, in the French organ section. Hello, Gerald. Hello. Hello from Middletown, PA. Where's PA? You'll have to help, help me out. I've seen a few people, actually. When, when Amer You Americans, when you write where you are, you write like a familiar, I mean, I, I haven't heard of Milltown, I'll be honest. But you, you might, uh, there was some um, earlier on who write, um, I don't know, Philadelphia, for example, and then we'll write two letters. What does that mean? What, I don't know, I don't know what it means. I'm, I'm, there you go, PA, Pennsylvania. Thank you very much. So why, why does PA equals Pennsylvania? How, what, is it Pen, P, Pennsylvania, ah, ah, PA, I don't know. Um, uh, right, Bobby, don't please don't walk on something you shouldn't. I need to see actually that screen. The problem with cats is that they are wonderful, but they really, they really get in the way. Come on, can you? I don't know what to do with you. You're stuck. Come on, come this way. Oh God! Well, the organ is loaded. Let's just uh, do it, some sound tests. Yep, those are the swell strings. <laughs> um, now, we're just going to have to do a, 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 another live sound test. Okay, I know you enjoy this, so I'm not, I'm not sort of uh, uh, afraid to do it. A sound test is, I need to make sure the levels are going to be okay. I don't want the organ to clip when we get loud. Hmm, we've got a, we've got a rather large Kavai Col under, under our fingers. Should we go loud? Ooh, I think it'd be rude not to, wouldn't it? So. As I said before, we're going to play a, a loud chord, um, so you might want to turn me down just for a jiffy, or for those of you who are, who are so inclined, you might want to turn me up for just a jiffy. <laughs> Regardless, I'm going to play a C major chord and then we'll just make sure it doesn't distort, basically. So here we go, bear with me guys.
cool. Well, I think that is, uh, we're safe now to play loudly without it breaking the internet <laughs> and breaking your hi-fis. Um, so if we now go back uh, to, I haven't got anything ready to play. What am I, uh, earth am I going to play next? G oh yes, yeah, so some quiet hymns. So Jesus, you lover of my soul. Um, this is coming from ben, uh, Brian uh, Aberystwyth, a great hymn, the great Welsh tune. Um, and it's number, yeah, it is, it's number 383. Thank you for requesting it from this hymn book. So we're now going to explore this organ together. It's not one that I know particularly well, um, and it's not one that I've got uh, all on um, as, as, as before with Doodle Launch. It's too big for my console, so I'm having to sort of use a combination of, of, of a mouse and uh, physical draw stops. Anyway, let's, let's have some fun with this organ, shall we? Jesus, you lover of my soul. Oops. Oh, gosh. Hang on. Just doesn't, doesn't, there we go.
Well, it's rather exciting actually, isn't it? It's quite loud. Um, it's, um, yes, um, considering it's, yeah, it's, it's actually really good. Again, there are various stops on, on the screen that I, I, I can't touch because I haven't got physical stops. For example, on the, gr on the Grand Org, there are three, three 16 foot um, flues, all of which together sound like this. But I only have one physical 16 foot double diapason there. We've got, have we got mutations down on the uh, positive? We haven't, actually. The only, the, the only mutations are on the, on the Reci, I think, aren't they? Um, there is a cornet on the Grand Org, uh, actually in the Bombard. We'll use that in the next hymn, actually. We'll use that in the next hymn, which um, David Beckman has requested. The hymnal in nine, in the hymnal 1982, um, 692. Uh, so let's have a look. I heard that. Oh, this is the ha, oh, David. Thank you so much. Do you know that? Do you know I like this tune? This is the uh, Thomas Tallis. Um, um, this is you know the, the famous piece by Vaughan Williams, uh, Fantasia on a Theme by Thomas Tallis. It's this one. It's the, this is the theme. Um, a wonderful sense of going from minor to major, minor major. Mi the 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 formal Williams is in G actually, so it goes G minor, G major, G minor, G major. Listen out for those false relations between in this in this key, G sharps and G naturals. It's very very special. Let's fire up a really soupy sound. Let's find all of the the fond, the the foundations on this instrument. Um, there are quite a few of them actually. Um, where's the Grand Org? There it is. So the five eight foots on the Grand Org. That's incredible. Let's see what this sounds like. I think it will sound rather rather sumptuous. Let's have sixteen as well for good measure, and some pedal stops. Yeah, here we go then. So uh, I heard the voice of Jesus say, "Come unto me, and rest."
<laughs> Very exciting sound. St. Charles. Hello, everyone. New subscriber. Well, you are very, very welcome indeed. Thank you so much for joining the BIS Club. I'm just looking actually at the subscribers' numbers. We started off um, VC today at 73,000 and um, I think it was 59. Um, we're actually just 73,092 now. So we've had uh, uh, over 30 people join us um, since this stream went live. So if we can get to 73,000, 100 by the end of this VC, that would be incredible. Please do tell your friends about this channel. What a sound. Okay, so this, this organ is rather, rather tasty, isn't it? <laughs> what have I got on? I need, to get, I need to make sure that these buttons are set up for the organ pieces later. Um, we actually have, this organ has, it's interesting. Um, and it is interesting because when you think of a bombard division, what do you think? You think of basically loud, exuberant shamards and basically lots of fanfare type stuff, right? I think that's fair to say. However, on this organ, on the bombard, the reeds are quieter on the bombard than they are on the grand org. <laughs> Eight, four, and two. However, on the Grand Org, there were two reeds. There's a trumpet and a clarion. Now, these reeds, I've, I've turned these reeds down. That's unlike me. Now, simply because they are on Shamard, like, um, like the Rotterdam reeds, the, the on Shamard reeds. But imagine Rotterdam having those Shamard reeds as the, as the hoofed work, as the great reeds. They are epic. So I, I've tried to just turn them down so they actually, they blend better into the, uh, the chorus. Let's have a listen. So this is a, a, a few chords um, without the shamard reeds. Now this is um, those similar chords with the eight and four shamard reeds. And originally, um, they are significantly louder than that. So I'm, I'm toying with the concept of whether they should be turned down a fraction like they are, or I should put, should put them back up. I don't know. What do you think? I know, I know you'll all say, louder, louder, louder. <laughs> um, yes, I've moved on from Rotterdam um, since last night. <laughs> so, were you watching last night and you've woken up again? Uh, yeah, we, are, we, we went to went from Rotterdam, got on a plane, got off a plane, went back to Rotterdam accidentally, got back on the plane, went up to Luxembourg, um, and then we're now in um, St. Ouen in France for this new organ. Um, right, someone has sent me an email with joy to the world. Now, I, I just have terrible memories of this hymn, uh, Chris, because I, I was once asked um, to play it um, as the um, processional, no, the first hymn at a wedding. So they had, they had the processional uh, played by a very, very fine string orchestra, as well as a string sort of, um, I guess, quartet, string group anyway. They played the bride and the bridal party into the church. And the very first thing, um, once the bride got to the front of the church, um, unusually, um, was the hymn. The first hymn was Joy to the World, The Lord is Come. It was um, a wedding in December, so it was a Christmassy themed one. So obviously this is a, a joyful hymn, uplifting, and all of that sort of good stuff. And actually a good way to start a wedding. However, I hadn't quite turned the organ on properly, and therefore, Basically, there wasn't enough air in the bellows. Uh, and what happens um, when you play a chord an organ, on an organ and you turn the power off and the, the air gradually deflates? Can you imagine what happens to the sound? Yeah. 
So imagine the scene, you know, this um, beautiful wedding, everyone's looking their best, string, string orchestra have played the bride in really beautifully, uh, I'm there on the organ about to play Joy to the World, The, uh, the Lord Has Come, on basically a full organ, a two manual track of action organ, um, which wasn't turned on properly. It had just enough air in the, um, in the bellows for the first few chords, and then the opening phrase is this, isn't it? So a, de a descending scale, octave. The, uh, so and the, the, this descending scale of D major ended up being the longest and biggest single octave scale of D major I've ever heard in my life. So it started pretty much there, and then ended up going all the way down into the depths down there until there was nothing left. <laughs> I just looked at the bride with a, um, a panic on my face because that's never happened to me before. Luckily she laughed, the vicar laughed as well um, and said oh you've got to turn it on. <laughs> I have turned it on. I pressed the button, he said press the button harder. I pressed it and Doof! it came into life and then we were full of air. So. This organ has a lot of air, uh, so let's, let's, let's have a listen to Joy to the World, the Lord is Come, with plenty of puff. <laughs> Here we go. Should say that it did not sound like that in the slightest when I played it in this relatively small intimate church on this uh, two manual little tracker action organ. <laughs> it was one of the one of those experiences um, of my organ career that I don't think I'll ever forget. <laughs> and it was, it was quite fun so I actually um, I'm, I'm, um, I'm quite happy that yeah, I had that. You know those experiences make us, they make us who we are today. Right well it's eight o'clock which means a poll results. So the winner, we had I think 250 votes, the winner with 34% of the votes. Well I can, let me close the poll and we can have a look. Let me, let me close it and then it'll come up on the screen won't it? Um, or will it? However, you will actually be playing three out of the four because they've been sponsored very kindly by Roger. Oh Roger, well thank you very much. And also Jerry, just whilst I'm here, Jerry, thank you very much. I, I have played um, three out of your four hymn requests. Um, I don't think you were in for the, th um, the third one. Holy God, we praise your name. But I have played it, and we will have your fourth one as well. So here are the results. Look, the Guillemot is um, in, in, for, in, in the lead by 33%. Um, this is really interesting. This is like good market research, this. This is like, what do you actually like? Um, Jigu, um, second place, well, that's not surprising. Carter. well, I am a little bit surprised by the Dupre, Cortege Litanie. 
um, in being in third place because I thought that, that was quite a popular but piece. The others are so popular, aren't they? So well, we'll have to play them. So, which ones have uh, as Roger's ones at all so those actually, top, it's three? The top three? Well, yeah. okay, well, we'll have to have all three of them then. And when Richard's um, finished playing the third one, yes. I will put the poll on for the final voluntary tonight. I can't even remember what they are. The big one at 10 o'clock. <laughs> some French in there, some English. Is there? Is there? Crown Imperial. Oh, yes. For Christ the King. Can you remind us what they actually they will be? Well, well, actually, no, let, let's wait. Let's, let, let's wait, because I can't remember what they are. Let, but let's just have the French. They're all loud. Let's, let's do French first. They're all loud. Thank you. Let's do French first. And, and two um, of them are French. And yes. Oh, yeah, that's right. Yeah. No, three of them are French, I think, aren't they? Uh, oh, yeah, three of them are French. <laughs> They're all French, apart from um, Imperial. Where's the Guillemot gone? It's on here somewhere. Um... So we'll have this. Here it is. It's and March. Uh, you guys got hiccups. That's really exciting. Um, <laughs> March on a theme. Uh, um, March on a theme by Handel by Alexandre Guillemot on this organ. Yeah. So the first time that I ever played this piece on this organ. Hopefully, it should sound pretty authentic. I haven't got any anyone to do the ventils or uh, pull out stops for me. In Sassel piece, uh, Daniel Hrotz has a, an, an, an assistant on either side of him doing all the work. I've got no one. <laughs> I'll have to work it out. So um, at the beginning, he just wants eight and four on this on the uh, swell. That's a bow fons aeon. Um, on so we've got all of that. Uh, yep. Uh, he wants great eight and four. Well, that's dead easy, isn't it? Eight and it's just over all the eight foots. And there we go. Put that that choir. Well, yeah, eight and four again. But let's just pop out. Uh, I think everything, <laughs> including the trumpets. Let's not be too uh, precise. That's boring, isn't it? Let's. They're the couplers. He doesn't want great. To, he doesn't want any um, pedal couplers. There we go. So Alexander Gilmont's March on a Theme by Handel on this organ, which um, emulates the fantastic cavalcade of Saint Or, Saint Or, in France.
How was that? Was that all right? It's quite lively. I tell you, in here it is. Uh, whew, what's next? The Jigu Tokata. Play that, just about. It shouldn't be an issue. Uh, okay, so let's just set it up. Well, I say set it up, let's wing it. That's what I like to do, isn't it? Wing it. So we've got 60. I think that's, okay, that's fine. So great six is basically full grand org. Um, actually, apart from the big, oh, let's bring on the um, Ishimar trumpet, shall we, as well. Um, yes, so even louder. Right, are you ready for a bit of a laugh? So here's the Jigu Takata in B minor. Wish me luck.
sorry, I was just looking around, looking at the screen to see if there's anything else I could add with, with the mouse whilst playing the organ. And, and there, was, there was, there was a furniture on the bombard which I didn't have on. Um, oh, we'll have to make sure the fur why doesn't that, that should come on. Oh, well, I'll put it on, I'll put it on um, grade six, so it comes on in grade six. Um, I wasn't entirely convinced by the trumpet coming on in grade six, if I'm honest. It, just, it sounded a little bit uh, nasally in that final sort of um, arpeggio section. Okay, so that was a jiggy. What else have you asked for? Have you asked for the, the bow element as well? Oh my god. Right. Where's that? Is that here somewhere? Um, it must be here somewhere. I haven't got this set up in four score, so I'm going to have to put up with me turning the page as well as doing all of the stops. <laughs> so let's just get rid of that for a moment. Yes. Um, what do you think about the organ? How does it sound, the, this French organ? Let me know. Does it sound all right? Oh, people have been very generous. Thank you. That's very kind of you to um, say, whoa, bravo. Rapturous applause. That's very kind. Thank you very much. It really is uh, very generous of you. Uh, oh no, Garrett. Oh no, is it? Oh, well, do you want to play it then? <laughs> this, is one of, this is one of those pieces that I just hold up my hands and say, I don't practice this. So anything can happen. And I actually know this piece um, far less than the, um, the Jigu. I've, I've been playing the Jigu since I was about 13, I think. So I can play that in my sleep. But this, I can't. I've only learnt it like five years ago. Okay, anyway, so enough excuses. Let's get on with it. <laughs> Where should we start? Let's start on the, on this, on the Resi with all the pedal couplers on. Um, yeah, we've got the positive set up. Let's just see what happens. Close that box. Here we go.
Well, there we go. That was the Boelman um, <laughs> French organist. I'm sure Olivia Latry wouldn't have to, um, you know, before that final, this final four chords, have to quickly grab a mouse and pull on the chamards using a mouse. <laughs> I've just about managed it, and then find that next F minor chord. What a laugh! What a laugh! This organ's rather fun. I think we should stay. We should stay here for a while. I think I'm rather enjoying this organ. Um, <laughs> thank you very much. Let me take my virtual bow. <laughs> thank you very much. <laughs> oh dear. Right. Um, Okie dokie. Let me get my sheet back, my spreadsheet. Oh, you've been so in enthralled with all of that French um, stuff that you've actually, I've only had one request since all of that. Dave Mitchell Wright has requested, Christ has made a show of our nation, uh, Westminster, <coughs> Westminster Abbey it's called. Very, very happy to play that. Um, uh, where is it? Oh, here we go. Uh, 291 in the NEH. No, not, not 291 in this one, the red one. Uh, a hymn's ancient and modern. Um, Christ is made, here we go, yes. A wonderful tune, a wonderful tune. So the, the tonight's voluntary is now, um, <laughs> if anybody wants to sponsor all four, then uh, be my guest. Um, Otherwise, we'll have one. Let me know if you want to. If you want to sponsor them, the whole idea uh, of this organ marathon is to raise money. So, if you'd like to, spon if you'd like to sponsor anything, then please do uh, sponsor away. I think I need an apricot, a dried apricot. Sounds like someone's playing the piano next door. And it sounds a bit like Hugo. Four more, four more subscribers to go until we get to seventy-three thousand one hundred. So. If you are um, the seventy-three thousand and one hundredth subscriber, you'll get the next. You'll get the next request. <laughs> it's getting to that stage now where my brain is just um, fried, basically. <sighs> oh look, there's a actually there's a nice um, arrangement of this in the final verse. I didn't realise that. Excellent. Christ has made the show foundation uh, by uh, requested by Mitchell Wright.
Oh, to have a, a wonderful Kavai Kol uh, in Westminster Abbey. Can you imagine the organ in, uh, in, in uh, an organ in Westminster Abbey like like this with that acoustic? <laughs> Wouldn't that sound amazing? Luckily, over in France, in these their wonderful cathedrals, they have amazing acoustics. Some of the nicest cathedrals in Europe, I think, over over in France. Very very lucky. Um, unfortunately, over in this country, we lost a lot of ours um, thanks to. Um, dear Henry, um, but there are some really wonderful churches and cathedrals and abbeys and uh, and some monasteries still around. A lot, a lot of them um, we've lost, unfortunately. Hey ho, wonderful hymn, wonderful. That's one of my favourites, Mitchell. Thank you for requesting that. Right, where are we up to now? Um, um, so Daniel Kubaki has requested. You like making requests. Uh, Daniel, and you, you actually request good hymns as well. So you've asked me to go into the hymnal 1982, which is here, and all the way to number 700. Okay. What is it? What is it? Um, oh, love that casts out fear. Oh, love that casts out sin. Tarry no more without, but come and dwell within. Actually, it's quite a short one and quite a quiet one. So what I'm going to do is find the, the Resi um, Quint uh, and the flutes as well. Um, sounds nice. Um, and then let's have accompanied that on the, on the, I think possibly just the positive. Yeah, that'll do, just, just the positive for now. Are you, all, are you all still awake? Um, where are we up to? 240 odd people, um, um, 240 odd people. Yes, you are all odd, aren't you? Uh, still watching, um, very good to have you with me. Uh, please do uh, give me uh, a plus one uh, so I know who I've got as I'm playing this next hymn. It's good to know and it's good for the motivation to keep going as well. But I've only got an hour and a half left. That's basically a virtual church, isn't it? So this is um, very nearly there. So here we go, thank you very much. Plus one, I can, I can see names coming in now, some very familiar names there, look. Um, Curtis, you're in, thank you very, for joining us. Uh, oh, it's too fast to go. David, uh, Ben, Keith, Kathleen, uh, Richard, Jerry, Mary, uh, it's fabulous. It's wonderful, just to be, I wish I could just see you all lined up. You know, what does 250 odd people look like in a, you know, in a room? Quite a lot, I imagine. Here we go. Um, oh, love that cast out of here. Ginny, I know what you mean, yes, a plus one, yes. 
me and plus one at a wedding. But it's, it's, it's a nice way to, uh, to see who's in rather than saying hello or I'm here or yes sir. <laughs> it's actually just a nice, a nice way to, to, uh, to see. It's, it's so wonderful. Thank you very much guys for your, all of your support. Not just tonight, but over the past, you, you know, we've, I think I did my very first live stream in January 2020 last year, um, long before COVID um, was a thing really. Um, and then it really took off in, obviously, um, in COVID because people um, saw an interest, saw uh, the numbers went up and it became really quite, um, really thrilling and enjoyable experience doing it with everyone. But it was actually before COVID that I was doing it. It, was, it wasn't called Virtual Church, it was just called Live Hymns. No, Live Requests, that's, it, that's what all it was called. <laughs> um, I've still got them. They're, they're actually rather funny to watch because, well, let's just say, I think, I think it's fair to say that we've come on a little bit since then. We've got a bit of paper here. I don't know whether, um, I don't know whether, where is it gone on here? Philip Powell, um, are you still with us? Have you come back? Are you, are you there, Philip Powell? Um, there is an, an arrangement here of um, uh, ooh, ooh, ooh. what is it a arrangement of? I think it's an, an organ, an organ version of crowning him with many crowns. Oh, I thought it was, I thought it was the actual hymn, but, um, with, uh, uh, I don't, I, I, to be honest with you, I, I have no idea what it is. It just looks like, um, it starts off with crowning him with many crowns. It looks like it goes from crown him with many crowns into something different. <laughs> I don't know. We'll be the judge. Let's let's just let, let's just um, uh, let's just smash through it and um, see what it sounds like. So it's, uh, it's basically an arrangement for, of diadometer, crown him with many crowns. Of course, perfect for today. Um, Christ the King. Philip, are you in? Have I missed you? Um, I'm not sure you are, but um, well, you have to. Watch it back. <laughs> I think this is going to be, just be a bit of fun, basically. Uh, so let's let, let's take off the mix the, the reeds for now. Let's have the mixtures on because that I really enjoyed that really French uh, sounding uh, pl uh, planjou a minute ago. So all the mixtures are on, um, including the nazard, uh, the quint on the uh, on the resi. Uh, we'll not have the cornet on the yet. Okay, here we go. Wish me luck. I have no idea what it's going to sound like. The third note is not a G sharp, it should be an F sharp.
I did play that right. I did play that the, the, there were some A flats in there, which I wasn't really expecting, and some G flats as well, which I wasn't really expecting either. Um, but I think the harmony was largely correct. It's interesting, isn't it? An inter interesting arrangement uh, there. It was quite specific about having the third two foot on the, um, the pedal point and the dominance, the B flat. Philip, I don't know whether you're with us. Um, I, don't, I have not seen your name, but I was requested quite a while ago, so um, possibly not. Um, let's have a look at the poll to see which organ piece is currently in the lead. Oh, there's the air, uh, carry on to Westminster. Ew. Okay, we'll have that if you, if you like it. Uh, oh, Nala's made a request. Nala, we'll have to play a request from Nala. Ye who own the faith of Jesus. I wonder why Nala's requested that. Um, ye who own the faith of Jesus. Uh, 188 in the NEH. Does anybody know how many hymns we've got through today? Is anybody going to volunteer to count how many hymns we've got through today? <laughs> um, here we go. Ye who are in the faith of Jesus, sing the wonders that were done. When the love of God the Father o'er the sin, the victory won. When he made the Virgin Mary mother of his only son. Um, yes, okay. Well, seven verses, so we won't have seven verses. We'll have about four verses of this. Otherwise it goes on forever. Let's try this um, Shamard read as a solo stop. Um, a couple accompanied by the other two manuals. Here we go.
<sighs> right. <laughs> Um, Tim, if you want to leave a donation, uh, pop it in the, um, um, I'll tell you what, I'll be able to find that. So worship the Lord in the beauty. Just normally the requests going in, go into the uh, BIS requests form. It's been work, uh, working uh, really well, but as, as I've just seen that and it's in my mind, yep, yeah, I'll, I'll just find it in NEH. Worship the Lord in the beauty of holiness. Good hymn this, this is a terrific hymn. Let's fire up that um, Shamad read again, along with the other uh, eight foot. And uh, actually, I'm actually ra uh, rather enjoying this organ. It's rather good. Do you like it? How does it compare to the other French organs that you've heard um, me play and other people play? The so, Caen, uh, Nancy, uh, Saint Maxime, uh, other, and other French organs. How does it compare? Let me know in the chat. complaining earlier about um, basically it not being loud enough do you think now we're actually making up for that <laughs> uh, Cheryl you've just literally made a request and um, when I first saw your request the hymn number in here is a uh, 543 and I thought you were requesting the a minor bark BWV 543 I was about to say hmm I'm not sure I'll be able to uh, to muddle my, my way through that one uh, without practicing it. The fugue particularly. 
<laughs> uh, worship the, uh, sorry, oh praise ye the Lord, praise him in the height, rejoice in his word, ye angels of light, ye heavens, adore him by whom ye were made, and worship before him in brightness arrayed. A wonderful uh, last verse, um, uh, organ parts. This comes from his anthem, Hear My Words, Ye People. Um, goes on for about 12 minutes or so before you finally get to the, the hymn. You could say it's the longest organ introduction to a hymn in existence. <laughs> but when, when you ar finally arrive at this well-known bit towards the end of the anthem, it's really quite striking and it really, you know, it's such a well-known tune. And the anthem itself isn't that well known. It's wonderful, it's, but it's overshadowed by I was glad. However, the anthem as a whole is really, really terrific. It's very virtuosic, uh, virtuosic uh, for the organist and for the choir. There's a wonderful bass solo in the middle. Clouds and darkness are round about him. Uh, and then at the very end, you get this, um, this hymn. If you haven't heard the anthem, Hear My Words, Ye People by Parry, very, very uh, worth checking out. Recommendation here and beauty and sound from me to you. Before I play this, I just want to see whether we've got over the 73,100 mark. Yes, we have, 73,100. Uh, you, if, if you've clicked subscribe in the past 10 minutes, give me uh, a big hello uh, and I will give you a big shout out. <laughs> Let's go to Charles Hubert Hastings, pa Charles Hubert Hastings Parry's him. Oh, oh, praise ye the Lord, praise him in the height. I'll get my words in the right order at some point. Uh, 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 well, I hope I can get my notes in the right order, put it that way.
<laughs> having to get those shamards again with the mouse. It's just, it's not ideal, is it? I, I, how can I get them set up somewhere else? I've just had a brainwave. I've literally just had a brainwave. I, I've got two stops here, which I don't use, and they are perfectly usable. I use them in, in Rotterdam for the shamards. Why on earth shouldn't I use them on this organ for the shamards? Come on, set up. Oh, maybe it doesn't want to do it. What are you playing around at? Come on. Let's try again. Auto detect, on, off. There we go. That's one shamard. One, off. That's two to my, two shamards set up. So I can press. Yes. Excellent. Well, Garrett, I've actually. I know you. You. You, you like this organ. Do you have it? Question one. And question two is. What have you done with those um, two reeds on the um, on the Grand Org, um, the the trumpet and the clarion? They're massive, uh, straight out of the box. I think they're almost too loud. Have you left them as they are, or have you turned them down a little bit? So we can turn them up very very easily if you want me to. If you want me to, that is. Shall I turn them up? Shall I be outrageous and just turn them up? <laughs> oh no, I'm just turning them up. Oh god, it's going to get really rowdy. There you go, I'll just turn the shamards up a little bit. <laughs> um, right, some more requests have just come in. The Angel Gabriel from Heaven Came. Now that one, that one is in, uh, that's in the, the, um, the hymnal 1982. I know that because I played it in um, St Edmundsbury last week or the other day and I, we used a scan from from here 265 um, let me find it is it over is it behind me no it's not behind me it must be in front of me it's not in front of me either is it to the side of me yes it's to this no it's not to the side of me either. oh it is to the side of me oh do you know what I forgot the number 292 no, it's not. Oh no, I've forgotten what number it was now. Can someone tell me what number I've just said out loud? Um, uh, uh, I found it. 265. Oh gosh, guys, I'm actually I'm losing my mind. 265. There it is. Um, who requested this? I've got a pile of hymn books down here which you can't see, which is looking very precarious. Um, the Angel Gabriel from Heaven Came is a request from Bobby. Uh, a tune. Oh, crumbs. Um, oh, hang on. I'm just going to check and play the right tune here. Uh, six, three, four in here. Do you know something I don't? Six, three, four. No, it's the same, just in a different key. And actually, I prefer this version here, so we'll have this one. Let me get the, uh, the beautiful uh, little uh, mutation on the swell prepared, um, accompanied by the, uh, just the Borden on the, on the positive. That's all there is to it. Bobby, here we go. This is um, uh, the Angel Gabriel from Heaven Came. We are really in Christmas when we have this one. <laughs>
Let's have a look at the, um, how many votes have we had yet uh, for the organ voluntary? It needs to be careful because I absolutely cannot go over two hours. Um, if I go over two hours, but I'm, not, I'm not trying to, uh, to shortchange you at all. If we go over 12 hours, so not two hours, 12 hours, the video disappears into the ether, basically. You can live stream for 12 hours um, and then the video will appear on the channel as normal. But if you stream over 12 hours, um, uh, there's a danger that it just won't appear. It'll just disappear because there is a time limit on 12 hours. I could go forever, literally, literally forever, but you'll, you won't see the finished product. <laughs> you know, if, if this had gone really, really badly today, I could have gone on for 13 hours and then the video would be hidden. <laughs> Okay, Andrew Hammond, he requested, O oh, Strength and Stay. Um, which hymn book have you requested that? So, so the Ancient and Modern, the red one. Oh, drum roll, drum roll, is it the right hymn book? Number 21. Yes, it is. Everyone's doing so well with this hymn book. We had a, little, we had a, a phase when we first started using these, this BIS request form. This hymn book was catching people out. Luckily, I think you've actually got the hang of it now. What sound should we have, guys? Um, a quiet sound, yes, good idea. Let's have the eight-foot fawns then, shall we? Um, what mouse am I using? Here we go. Uh, there's loads of eight-foots on the Grand Org. I love them. There's eight-foots on the Resi as well, luckily. Um, and then let's have the eight-foots on the, uh, the Positive. Bring all that together to make that really sumptuous sound that this organ can do really well. Uh, okay, so who has requested this one? Andrew Hammond, um, O oh, Strength and Stay Upholding or Creation. We need to get this, start those voluntaries soon. If anybody wants to sponsor all the voluntaries, then I'll start playing them now. <laughs> Brian has requested Word Supreme, the Chivatune Grafton 202. I'm just trying to think which, which hymn that is actually. 
in here. Okay, yeah, I'd know it. I just didn't um, recognize the name. Ian Garden, well, that's very, very, very kind of you. What's the animation? It looks like um, an avocado dancing around some, um, some skyliners. Doing it, certainly doing a good a good dance there, isn't he? <laughs> okay, word supreme before creation, born of all, born of God eternally, uh, who didst will for our salvation to be born on earth and die. We'll have this, and then we'll actually have a think about the voluntaries because I'm a bit itchy about the time. Um, how long have we actually been broadcasting for? Eleven hours and three minutes. Okay, we've got time uh, to have a few more hymns. Just thinking about a sound. What sound should we have for this one? So this is, I saw someone ask, and um, Jerry, thank you for answering. It is indeed, it's an emulation of the St. Uh, uh, Ouen organ in France. Obviously, it's not the real thing. I say obviously, but the real organ hasn't been sampled. But a team of dedicated people um, have spent a very, very long time using existing organs at Caen, uh, um, Notre, Dame, Notre Dame de Metz and another one, which somebody will um, remind me what it is. It's one of Sons Paradisi's organ. They combined those stops, the, the best of those three organs, and, and voiced them into, uh, and actually got this, the, the same specification as the, the organ in Saint Ouen. And it sounds rather good, I think you, you might, uh, might agree. The only problem is, it's not in surround, it's in stereo. So I'm not, I'm not feeling the full immersion in here. It's only coming out of these speakers around here, not the ones over there, which is a shame. I think if it, if it wasn't surround, it would be, dare I say it, one of the best Kawaii colors you can get. Anyway, let's have a look um, at this next hymn, Word Supreme Before Creation, uh, requested by Brian.
these reeds on the on the swell on the resi on this organ have much more bite and <coughs> excuse me um, authenticity about them than um, uh, con and uh, and nonce. Listen to them with the octaves. French reeds, uh, cavaille coal reeds, are like that. They are really um, not aggressive, not aggressive, that's not the right word, but they're rich. Um, and they really, particularly, you know, the, a cavaille coal organ, uh, the reeds, and, and most of the stops, um, will, as you get lower in the compass, down towards the bottom of the keyboard or the pedal board, they will get louder. The reeds do that particularly well. So if you play at a 32 foot, for example, quite high on the pedal board, it will actually be a, a very delicate sound. But the lower down you go, the, the, the more you approach that bottom C, it then really like opens a swell box and becomes a monster. It's, like, it's almost like go, going from a little lion cub on the top end into a fully fledged um, you know, king of the pride at the bottom. This is what the, these, 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 these uh, reeds are like. And actually, I would say these are really quite, um, in here, even with this, uh, the limited speakers, it sounds very good, very good indeed. Um, are you thinking of getting Nancy? Well, yes. I mean, Ian, I, I've got I've got Nancy, uh, as you know. Um, I haven't played it for a while because I haven't had the opportunity to play it. Um, what I would say about Nancy is, as as good, I think that is in full surround, which is and it sounds amazing in surround in here with the speakers uh, lined up properly and at the console, it sounds utterly fantastic. It really, really like nothing else. On YouTube, on, when you bring all of that stuff together, eight channels together, it doesn't sound good on, on YouTube. Um, when I hear other people playing it, it's like, oh God, what are you doing? It sounds like a, it doesn't sound, um, it doesn't sound like I hear it in here. Um, which is why I'm a little hesitant to play it live on on the internet because I think it gives a real uh, I think it gives a false impression um, as to how good that organ actually is um, which I think is a shame um, I, don't, I don't quite I can't quite put my finger on it I think it's because uh, when playing it online you bring the, you bring the rear um, and the other the, the distant ambience um, channels into the mix and they get in the way and it just sounds a mess basically um, so I'm, I'm going to play a round of Nancy or Nancy Nancy a little bit more um, online just to try to uh, try to find in fact I might do even do a video on it uh, find that really authentic French uh, sound it's got lots of cavicol in it but it's got lots of other things as well so it doesn't growl like some of these other organs um, but I mean, Ian, if, if, you're, if you've if you got some money kicking around and you're up for a, a bit of a laugh, it certainly, it certainly is very exciting. It really is very exciting indeed. Oh wow, look at this. Uh, James, um, Jerry and Ken. That's wonderful. Thank you all um, so much. Oh, can someone block uh, that bot, please? I'll do it. Um, Unless Caroline can, unless Caroline's looking at the chats, I don't know. It's a bot, do it. It's not a real person. Um, oh, Caroline's already doing it. Thank you. Okay, so what, what are we going to go to next? I think we should have a really quiet one. Drop, drop, slow tears. This is one of my favourite hymns. This is this is um, a hymn for um, the season of Passion Tide. On the way to all four volunteers. Well, <laughs> you should be lucky. <laughs> I don't know whether I've got time. I have to start playing them now if, if, if you want me to play all four. Um, song 46, this is called. Um, oh, hang on. Caroline's ringing me. Hello, Caroline Balfour. You're on speakerphone. Oh, God, right. Um, and we basically raised the 200 just now. 
Um, but I thought I'd let you know because I know they've oh, probably Christ. got about a 35 minute run time. Okay. Well, we'll have. Um, oh, that's very kind, people. Thank you very much. I'm going to have to, yeah, okay, well, I'll, what I'll do is I'll play the final hymn then. Uh, what are we going to have for the final hymn? Um, oh, my God. What final hymn? Is the choice ours? Um, well, we've got a few hymns in the backlog. Oh, well, go on then. Take but back. I was about to play a really quiet one, but I think we should end with a banger. Um, we end with a banger. Yeah, let's, I'll tell you what, we, I know what we'll have, because we've got most, um, let's have two national anthems. And we'll have uh, we'll have I'm ours, going to hang up now, but and I we'll have news. yeah we'll have the American national anthem, and we'll have our national anthem, only because only because um, limited time. Okay, thank you. Okay. <laughs> okay, so uh, two national anthems coming your way. Um, I'd love to have more. I'd love to have Austria, the German national anthem. That's one of my favourite national anthems. Um, but uh, let's just see. Uh, let's let's start with ours, and then end with um, um, bombs bursting in air. Um, ah, I need to find the um, the big um, fanfare uh, type introduction by Gordon Jacobs for our national anthem. Um, two national anthems, I think, would be a good way to finish the, the VC, uh, the VC, don't don't you? Uh, so if I just search for Jacobs or Jacob, uh, Jacob fanfare, here we go. So two national anthems back to back. Um, uh, Philip, I did play it. I did play it. I, I forget when it was, but I did it uh, probably half an hour ago or so. Uh, but yes, I did have it. You, you did have it. Here we go. National anthem for, for us in England, a national anthem for you in America.
Right. Right, let's quickly get through as many, <laughs> as many volunteers as we can before um, we get cut off. So the, 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 the critical time I need to stop playing is 11 hours and 55 minutes, okay? When I get to that point, you've all got to say stop, and we'll have to stop. Um, apologies if you didn't have your national anthem played tonight. Um, we should have a VC where we play all national anthems um, because that would, be, that would be a wonderful thing to do. Meanwhile, we're going to have these organ voluntaries. Um, we can click end poll, and then we can actually see which one, um, which one won. We're going to have them all anyway, so it doesn't make a difference. I'll have a quick sip of my Coke, and then we'll have a, a voluntary marathon. <laughs> Wish me luck. Oh, the um, Fidal from Symphony Number no. One came last. That is a surprise. I thought that would be that would be first or second. Anyway, come on, let's go, let's go. So let's take the mixtures off. Um, let's have just have the growly reeds for now, and then we'll bring on the mixtures uh, and uh, etc. Et al. Later on. Vidal first.
Well, definitely, definitely now you can't complain that I wasn't playing loud enough. <laughs> there. So th that bit in the middle, uh, when you said, it, oh, this has gone very quiet. Definitely, are you not going to say that? Uh, I, I'm not sure it would it would have gone any louder. Thank you all very much for all of your applause. Um, I think we're actually now at the 12 hour mark, pretty much. I can't quite see the screen over from this over here. Um, so I will. I'm going to actually sign off quickly. Okay, 27 um, seconds. Oh wow! Is that what it says on the um, countdown? On my countdown. Okay, fab. Well, I'm going to, um, before YouTube deletes the video. <laughs> Is it going to delete any I'm... of the countdown? Because Ian Gardner wanted a rendition uh, no, uh, of Old Lang Syne to say farewell to your console. <laughs> and I thought you might have I time. don't think we have time. Oh dear. Uh, I don't think we have time for that, unfortunately. Streaks are high um, to lose the stream, Ian, sorry. I know. <laughs> so I am going to sign off very quickly. Um, and I'm going to say thank you all very much for your support, yes, thank for you. your donations, and for your company. Um, and for voting and for, for everything, uh, really. Thank you for Caroline for doing everything behind the scenes. Thank you for Nala for not being naughty, for lying on the keyboard, but not taking us off the air, incredibly. Um, and Bobby, who was a bit naughty today. She had some um, pizza. She nabbed some pizza, indeed she did. Um, added some harmonies. And yes, so there we go. Thank you all very much, everyone. 30 seconds yeah. to go. So, we've done it. Thank you very much for your generosity, and I hope those three volunteers were um, enough for you. Well done, Richard. <laughs> um, yes, well done. Should we carry on for another 12 hours? No. Sam <laughs> Sleeve suggested that, actually. I know. Well, he said, how much would it have to we, take to get you to carry we on? We have to do a 24-hour one next, uh, in one go. I'm sure we could. <laughs> stop. Everyone's saying stop. Hurry up. Right. Stop. Enough waffle. Good night, everyone. Have a nice week. I'll see you very Bye. soon. I'll give you an update on the New Organ. I'm going over to see the New Organ on Tuesday. I will um, give you the, the update ASAP, I promise. Until then, I will say cheerio. Goodbye, everyone. Cheerio. Take care and stay safe. Bye-bye.